Join us for our early bird special. Every day at 8 a.m. we will offer you an incredible saving on a fantastic product. This offer is for one day only and while stocks last. So join us early to not miss out on some incredible savings. Oh, good morning. It must have rained a lot last night. The roads were dreadful when I came in this morning. Uh, anyway, fabulous show lined up today, but we can't do it yet because we have to do the early bird. Three, two, one. There you go. Look, 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 look. Oh, take the graphics out. Boutique ribbon bundle, tin and five ribbon reels at £12.25, pence, saving £10. Saving £10, you up at £12.25. It's the early bird special. It's lovely. Look at this. Because you get the tin with it, look. Get the tin and then you get your ribbon. Somebody's already opened this one, I noticed, this ribbon. No, I was, I was, I was winding it up, wasn't I? There you go. All those gorgeous ribbons. For £12.25 and, and the tin, saving £10. Saving £10. £2.95 post packaging all day long. Give us a call 0800 112 33. Or of course, you can come in on the website quarter.com. But you do need to check out your baskets if you definitely want it. Um, and that's your PP paid for for the day. So whether you come in and buy anything else during the day today, um, that's it. All done and dusted. At twelve pounds and twenty-five pence, plus two pound ninety-five post down packaging. They're gorgeous. Shall I take you through the ribbons? Look, you got this lovely um, uh, bronzy brown one with your hearts on it there. Then you've got oh look at that one, cute little cupcakes. Then that one's got little birds on it. Look, birds and gifts. Then you've got spots. Cute, isn't it? Then you've got. Owls. Now, does it say how many meters you get in total? I can't see it without my glasses. It's written on there. Look, hang on. Oh, there you go. Five meters on that one. Oh, five meters on each. Five meters on each. Blimey. Loads. Five meters. Twenty-five meters of ribbon. Loads in baskets. Uh, twelve pounds and twenty-five pence. Uh, very, very bad. I can uh, both of you are very blurred in my earpiece now, and I should have. Um, I don't know if it's. Uh, 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 no, no, I can. <laughs> you have to shout. <laughs> You're both there, but <laughs> and I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll see. I'll deal with it, and then I'll see what happens. It might click in. It might be an air bubble stuck in my ear or something. Twelve pounds and twenty-five pence, saving ten pounds. A member for your new buyer, you get a free gift. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to uh, fill in a form, you don't need to um, put a code in. You get two meters of fabric. Rand uh, Christmas fabric, by the way, Christmas fabric, randomly selected, four half meters you get, just as a free gift from us to you becoming, to become, for becoming a new buyer. Blah, 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 blah. Is it one o'clock yet? I did have a, I dreamt that, um, oh, I dreamt all sorts of things last night. It was going on and on and on. Uh, yeah, it was, all, it, it, was, um, it was a friend of mine who used to play, after, after um, Andrew Lloyd Webber's wife, Sarah Brightman, left Phantom of the Opera. I'm going back like 30 years now. She played, she took over the lead role in Fa Phantom of the Opera. Um, and uh, I, I, we chat every now and then. Don't see her very often. And then last night I was measuring her for costumes. And she was like, oh, I've put on so much weight. And I, no, you haven't at all. It, it went, went on and on, this fitting, went on and on. Anyway, £12.25 pence for these gorgeous ribbons. Right, now please make sure you check out. There's lots and lots and lots in baskets. Just fit, fiddling with my earpiece, sorry. No, it's both of you, both of you. 12 25 I'll, I'll be all right, I'll be all right. Just remember that I can't hear you clearly anyway. And then I'll, at the air break, I'll put some air through my um, pipes, as it were. Right, let's have a look at today's menu. Coming up today with me, John Scott, now got such a gorgeous show, as I said. We've got Design and Fabric Showcase at 8 o'clock. That's me on my own. 9 o'clock, Victoria Peters here with four different creative grids on how to use them. 10 o'clock, uh, Anna Saunders is here for the Dresden Fan Quilt Part 
two. But if you missed out, we've also got part one as well. Then at 11 o'clock, brand new one, half apple core quilt with Victoria Pete. And then at 12 noon, we've got the Alice Caroline kits and fabric and gorgeousness coming up at 12. So let's have a look at some pictures. So uh, the first one will be the 10 o'clock, the Alice Caroline. We're doing the middle we're doing the middle row. Actually, can I have the different one? Because I can't hear anything now. It's a middle row one we're doing. Uh, so that's those three there. So now that's block four, five, and six. We've done block one, two, and three. But um, one, two, and three will be available again uh, today. And then next time we do it, uh, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Just talk to me upstairs. It's the same. It's, it must be my. It must be my earpiece. Okay, and then uh, we've got the half apple core quilt. Apple is the multicolored one. You know the one with the. Um, there you go. The one you can make is much much bigger than that. Comes with a pattern and it comes with a ruler. That one. Oh, there you go. Then I've got three bundles to show on that one. Then in the last hour I've got this beautiful Alice Caroline blue quilt. It's gorgeous. Look at that. And also, oh, no, not, not, and also, and also, look, they're Victoria's little girl, look, little backpacks we're doing, oh, first day of their holidays and she made them get up at five o'clock, what a mother, eh? I think I might report her, anyway, what was I going to say next, oh yeah, you can get in touch, this is how you can get in touch. Go to the website, www.sewingquarter.com. You click on watch the show live. The screen will get bigger. You can, sc oh, no, yeah, it's got, you can scroll down the page. And there's a box there that says Message Studio. Click on there, write your message, uh, keep it to 140 characters or fewer. Uh, Chris Day will go through to producer Chris and producer Chris will send them through to me down here. Uh, if you scroll down the page, you'll see products today show. Oh, now, look, there's still some of those fabric panels from yesterday. From my, they're originally from my birthday show. And then we relaunched it. There's a few of those left if you want those um, from yesterday. But there's the early bird. When they sell out, they won't be there. But if you're tuning in later and thinking, what's John had on the show today? Everything that I've got, unless it's sold out, will be there. You can click on it and pop in your basket. Or, of course, while we're doing a live sale or a live auction, click on the one on the right-hand side there saying, add to basket. Uh, you can check out as many times as you like during the day. It's one PMP of £2.95. That's a four to six working day delivery. Do not include Saturdays, Sundays, or bank holidays. And you can check out as many times as you you want. You can also send me an email, studio at sewingquarter.com, studio at sewingquarter.com. That's uh, if you want to send me a longer message or if you want to send me a picture. Uh, I'll talk to you later about Festival of Quilts and I'll talk to you later about nothing else. I'll just witter it. But I'd love to hear from you. It's a Saturday morning. Let's have a bit of fun, shall we? Uh, what's the weather like where you are? Hmm? I'm going to start with some Tula. Tula Fat Quarters, very, very, very limited. This is from Pinkerville. Oh, I can tell you, I'll tell you, there's only six of these left. Six of these left. Fat Quarters, beautiful. There's Imaginarium. That's the one with the unicorn hidden in the leaves. That comes in those colours there. No, because it can make a noise, won't it, I think. Oh, go on, there's some in my dressing room. Have you got some there? While I fan these out, they might, they might have to switch my mic for it. Um, Tom will have to fan them out. And I'll, you can't be seen, just get your hand in there. Let's take my mic off. Seamless, you wouldn't have known that, would you? You wouldn't know that I had to go away. Oh, actually, I've just moved the tin of, I'll take the tin of air. <laughs> um, no, I'm not selling the tin of air today. Just to explain to you at home, right, I've got an earpiece here, right? And it has a, a curly thing and it goes down, and it goes into my thing here, right? Every now and then, a, an air bubble gets caught in the, in the coil and I can't hear it. All I hear is like, Chris and Andrew sound like they're underwater. So I've just put a bit of air through and it's kind of worked, but you just saw Tom's hands just hand putting that thing. Uh, Veronica says, good morning, John. Good morning, Veronica in Lincolnshire. Was the one before that, by the way? Oh, look at my hair. 
Oh, so there was one there. It must have been left from yesterday. Right. Eight, six pounds and nine, ten pence. There's only six left. Uh, now, you know what a fat quarter is. If you get a metre or a yard of fabric and you cut it down the middle and then you cut it across the middle, uh, that will give you a fat quarter. Now, some of these fabrics aren't available by the half metre anymore. This is lovely. I love this. There you go. Look. There's your fat quarter. It's gorgeous, isn't it? That? Right. I've got four left now. That's it. Also, we move on, don't we? When... Um, when they've gone, we'll get her next collection. So um, please be careful if you love that collection. And then all, the, if you've got any Tula uh, fabric, they'll all go beautifully together. Imagine that with the spots or the stripes or whatever. Uh, you've got Gatekeeper there, the swans. This is all, like this, the Pinkerville is all the story of wandering through the mind of uh, Tula Pink. It's beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous, lovely colours. No brown, she doesn't do brown, does Tula. There's only three left now. Three of these left, and then that's it. So you're getting 21 fat quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 of them. Aren't they lovely? Look at that one there. I love this one because it's got that Loch Ness Monster on that one. But there's also a unicorn drinking water on that one somewhere. Look. Yeah, and there's a swan. Look, swimming. Swans are swimming there. Nice, isn't it? Beautiful fab quality is fabulous as well. Okay, so I'll just fold that up because only a couple of those left now. I'll come back and let you know how we're doing on that later. Oh, sorry, my bad. Okay. Right, okay, right, so that's there. Put that there. Um, I haven't got a WA. I've got FMR and I've got... Oh, sorry, I have got WA. Sorry, my bad. What was I? Oh, but it's not... Oh, yeah. <gasps> you see, I just read fall, thinking, oh, it's fall. This one, not night. This one's called night. Now, this is lovely because actually zebra skin. Now, I've only got five of these, just so you know. Paint pots. Your lovely Missoni-esque zigzags. What I call the disco zebra. That one's there's your um, diamond stripes, brassica. Beautiful, aren't they? Oh, these are disco pebbles without the disco. Oh, feathers, I love that one. I'll put all these together, actually. Paint pots, baby paint pots. That's lovely, isn't it? That's folksy art, that one, or folksy flowers. So this one's called Night. There are 20 fat quarters in here. Aren't they lovely? Oh, my favourite fabric, I'll show you that one in a second. I love this. It comes in different colours. I've only got, I've only got it in this colour, way in this bundle, but look. There's your fat quarter. It's beautiful, isn't it? Comes in brown and it comes in a red and blue and um, fuchsia colour as well. It's lovely. Five left now. Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. There you go. 100 cent cotton, 89.99. Just 20 fat quarters in there. And there's only a handful left. Okay, I've got another, I've got another uh, cave one now. I'll tie this one up a bit quicker. I was a bit tardy on the last one, wasn't I? Right, here we go, the other cave one. Oh, tell me, does this day then? This is day. That was night, this is day. So the same sort of prints, look, same prints. There's your Miss Sony. There's what? 12 of these. That's feathers, I'll show you that one in a second. Then you've got your brassica there, then you've got your zebra, more brassica, paint pots. I'll keep that one out for now. Folksy art, these are lovely. There's your zebra. So some of them are the same. You see, that wasn't that one in the last one as well. Oh, there's that one. Was that one not in the last one? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so the, and that one there, you cross over. Yeah. Sorry, everyone, we're just trying to sort something out for you. I just fold that, folded that one up. Just pop those away. I know what you're thinking at home. We'll sort it out, don't worry. Chris is onto it. Oh, here we go. What have you got there? Yeah, right. Oh, let me look at that one. I'll look at the message from Karen here. A morning, John, just watched, I just switched on and thought my telly was faulty. Been messing with the volume, we returned to full volume, I'll wait now. Oh, Karen, I'm so sorry, there was a bit of an issue, wasn't there? No, I, I, um... So that's the same as this one. Right, hang on. Yeah, I, I'll just explain what's happened at home. I think they've got muddled up. Right, so this, what's this one I've got here? This is night, and that wasn't in either of the ones that I just had. So I'm really, really sorry about this. If you came in and bought night you'll be getting this one. So if you've already bought night, you'll be getting this one. This one I'm showing you here is day. So this is right for this graphic, but if you came in for the, for the one before this, this is the one you're going to get, which is slightly different. So, yeah, I'll show you in a second. So this one here is definitely day. That one there is definitely day. But if you came in to buy the one before that said night, you'll be getting this one. It's the same patterns, the same patterns, just a few of the colours are different, aren't they? Look, look, because that one wasn't in day, was it? That one wasn't in day. Here we go. So this, if you wanted night, this is what you're getting. Oh, yeah, because there you go. Look, there's the dark feathers. That's what threw me. So this is, so if you, there you go. There's the one that Chris loves, you see. So this is night. So I'm really, really sorry if you bought the one that said night, this is the one you'll be getting, not the one we showed you. Look, because that one wasn't in it, was it? That wasn't in day there. So this, I'm ever so sorry. Look, 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 right? So this, it, it's nice. I'm going to say it's nicer. I'm not allowed to say that, am I? Um, right, look. So that one there is what you're getting for night. So if you came in a minute ago when I was showing you that last bundle, that was day. So, do you see what I mean? So if you ordered night, this is what you're receiving. Sorry about that, everybody. Okay. Now I've sold that. It's just I was unfolded, I was thinking these are a bit bright for night, aren't they? Anyway, never mind, done now. So that one's definitely, definitely night. Right. Oh, well, as in fabric, fabric. Yeah. Now, half of this I haven't seen before. This is from the new Anna Maria collection. Uh, 
design, some design, but I think these are all by Natalie, aren't they? Or Natalie. I'll show you them. Uh, Natalie Lette. Uh, anyway, look. Lette. But they're gorgeous, these. They're totally, utterly gorgeous. Look at this. Let me make a bit of space because I'm going to be doing wafting a bit. Right, look. Natalie Lette. Um, well, I'm saying it like that. She might be just called Natalie Lette or Leet. For Arna Maria, now it's the um, Aubergine Sunny Village, this is. It's, you know, they do the collectives. You know, we did the um, ones before where she had two other people help working with her alongside her. Well, so now this is, this is another one, but she's now working with uh, Natalie Lette, I'm going to say, because it sounds nice, doesn't it? Uh, look, aren't they gorgeous? It's like a village, sunny village from the souvenir range. Big, big sunflowers there. Wouldn't it be lovely if everyone's houses were colour? Mind you, when we uh, lived in Mamby, REF Mamby, they painted the houses. You either had a yellow house, a green house, or a yellow house. They're all REF quarters. And they all had um, contrasting front doors. So I lived in Gauntlet. We lived in Gauntlet Road, Gauntlet Avenue. Number 15, Gauntlet Avenue, I think it was. Anyway, um, and our house was white with a red front door, but next door was, uh, the house was yellow with a green front door. So the whole RAF camp were all painted lovely bright colours like that. Seven pounds, I'm going back quite a few years now. Seven pounds and 49 pence. The half a metre. Remember, if you buy this, they obviously come joined together. So if you want three metres, you'll get three metres. Okay, that's lovely. Oh, got the same one in a different colourway, if that's a bit too bright for you. Lovely. You love a what, Chris? He likes the little villages, the little towns. Look. See, that's very different. Same pattern. Same pattern. This one's C. The C. It's just called C. Sunny Village. So that colour is obviously the C. It's nice, isn't it? I love the, the way the two colours pop from each other, don't they? And then the houses aren't quite so bright in this town. In this village, Viage. Love the leaves on the sunflowers. Now they. St oh, I wonder if they. I don't know if they are sunflowers. Now I've said that. Well, no, yeah, yeah, I think they are. Beautiful, aren't they? Seven pounds and forty-nine pence of half a meter. I've not seen these before. Chris has seen them once before. Gorgeous. Totally gorgeous they are. Do what that? Oh yes. Got an email. There you go. Good morning, John. Uh, all alone this morning. The whole household is still asleep, including Reggie the dog. I'm looking forward to a quiet morning, make a selection of ties, watching and listening to my favourite channel. But first job of the day, I'm ironing outfits for my godson's wedding today. Oh, Looking forward to wearing my dress and carry a little bag made by little old me. Oh, except for the shrug. Uh, is that shrug from Autonomy? I sell, uh, when I do Paver's fashion, we do Autonomy fashion, uh, Paver's shoes, I do Autonomy fashion as well. That's lovely. That's Carolyn, <coughs> who, um, when she sends in a message and Hannah's here, she goes, oh, it's Carol with an N. And then she says, no, it's Caroline. And then she thought it might be Carolyn. So we're calling her Kate from now on. Oh, that, you're going to look lovely. And I hope the weather cheers up for them. So, well, they keep saying it's going to be boiling hot, but, you know, whether it is or not. I've got Cherry's wedding ne next weekend. Right. Have a lovely day anyway, Carolyn, Kate. Sorry, my bird upside down. Oh, nice. Oh, this is nice. Well, the background, I mean, obviously it's just... Um, very what? Hamlet as in the Shakespearean play. Oh, oh, that's so obscure. Right, so Chris just went, this fabric, the background, reminds me of Hamlet. Andrew thought he was meant the little cigars. That shows how old Andrew is. Uh, don't hit your microphone when you laugh. And then I said, what do you mean Hamlet, the Shakespearean play? He went, yeah, one of the adaptation films, they have a fight in the last scene and the floor was like that. As if we're going to get that. I thought it looked like tweed myself. 
love them, don't love them. So it's called Jewel on My Way. So Jewel must be the colour and On My Way must be the fabric. How lovely is that? You see, I don't think I'd want to cut that up though. I think I want to keep that as whole. Got butterflies and birds and flowers and trees. All the um, proportions. Oh, look, a great big daffodil down there. Is that a daffodil or an orchid, do you think? That one, I would say that. I've got this one in my garden, whatever that one's called. I've got that one in my garden. I think it's called something like Bleeding Hearts or something like that, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Oh, moving on. Oh, 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 oh. So what floor does this one remind you of then, Chris? Isn't it funny? Now, the back is exactly the same fabric, but how different does that look? Picnics, he's thinking now. Water, this one's called. Water, I'm on my way. Oh, you see, they're both beautiful. Very different, but they're both beautiful. See, that's definitely a daffodil on this one, isn't it? Or a narcissist. Oh, look! I didn't see the person on the last one. She doesn't look very happy. Is it Little Red Riding Hood? Maybe it's Little Red Riding Hood on her way to her grandma's. I don't know. I'm making it up now. It might not be. There's what? A frog? I don't remember a frog in the story. Look at the detailing though. Isn't it gorgeous? There she is again. Lovely. Moving on. Oh, now I wonder what the next one's called then. No. Oh, so this one's in my garden and the colour is perfume. Random. Let me put it down. Let's see what we got in, what she got in her garden then. She's got a huge cat. She's got a mushroom. She's got a gnome. She's got a squirrel. She's got an apple. She's got those porcini mushrooms. Funny mix of garden. Oh, hedgehog. Bird. Rose. Oak leaves. Pumpkin. Where are you, Andrew? The gnome. The grey one. The gnome. Hannah's got a gnome in her garden now. Good morning, John. Great fabrics. You could tell a fabulous fantasy tale about them to a young child. You could, Marilyn. You could indeed. See that... Well, I'd have to make it up as I went along, I suppose. Oh, look, there's even a ladybird. I don't know if you can see it. There's a ladybird here. And where are you to, compared to me? The there, uh, uh. Look, it's a little ladybird. Well, aren't we expecting swarms? Oh, no, no, not ladybirds. We're expecting swarms of a certain um, butterfly that haven't been here for years, aren't we? And they're saying there's swarms of them coming over. And I want to say painted lady, but I don't know if that's right. Oh, paint, it was painted lady. It was painted lady. But the thing is, I thought butterflies only lasted for a day. So how are they flying over from the continent? They won't get here, will they? I don't understand. I'm a bit confused. Anyway, this one's the same in my garden, but a different colourway. Aqua. Now, you see, that one there is saying furnishing to me for some reason. It's not saying fashion, saying furnishing. Kitchen chairs, dining room chairs. Um, Little curtains, a blind. It 
seven pounds and 49 pence for half a meter. Remember, selling half meter increments. 100% cotton machine washable, 44 inches wide, by Anna Maria Horner for the Souvenir Conservatory. Nice, that's Chris's favorite. Yeah, usually means no one will buy it when I say that. Oh, oh now, somebody hasn't put these in the right order. I've got mushrooms on lilac now. I don't know if that's the right name. Heather. Mushrooms on Heather or toadstools on Heather. Oh, it's just called Heather. Oh, beautiful mushrooms. It's nice, isn't it? Do what? They look like fun guys. Is it little Paul in the gallery? Jesse in the gallery? No. Yeah, you keep the, those jokes to yourself. But I love the colours in there. I'd say they look more like toadstools than mushrooms myself, but I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert fungiologist. Fungologist? I bet something like that, is it? Oh, I don't know what the actual to difference is. I just always thought toadstools were coloured and mushrooms weren't. I don't know. There must be something, mustn't it? Must be like frogs and toads, mustn't it? Uh, now, I'm going to jump a couple of fabrics because I've also got that one in another colourway, which I'm going to show you next. Which is this one. Same fabric, but like in a coral colour. <gasps> oh, now... It's called lipstick. It, on your telly, it's looking more pink than it is. It's more of a, like a, sa it's a salmon-y coral colour, this one. Oh, that's nice. I am, oh, look at that. I'm loving that one. That's my favourite, I think. There you go. That's the more of the colour it is. There you go. Lipstick for beautiful mushrooms. Oh, apparently there's no scientific difference between the toadstool and the mushroom, I've just been told. Oh, yeah, I, th oh, I was going to say that, and then I thought, I oh, won't. Well, toadstools are normally poisonous, but then some mushrooms are poisonous, aren't they? Tom's nodding. He's an expert in mushrooms. Next. Right, now the next one, like birds. Birds. It's called what? Cheeky, is that the colour? Birds in love is the fabric. Oh. Now they look like Tilda birds, don't they? Cheeky birds and love, not in love, and love. Because you've got butterflies on there, you've got little birds looking very cheeky. Cherries, there's cherries on there. Beautiful. So what colour was that one? Cheeky. No, no, the birds aren't cheeky. It's the colour that's cheeky. The, co the, co the fabric's called Birds and Love. So it's the colour that's cheeky. Right? What? No. This next one's called Jade. That's a pure emerald green, if ever I saw. Oh, maybe not emerald. No, um, I'll show you on this, uh, this camera because it looks better colour on this camera. Which is the one with the better colourway, sorry? There you go. So I wouldn't call that jade, but... Beautiful, gorgeous, but I wouldn't call it jade. It's P, I'd say it was pea green going into emerald. But then the blue and lilac of the birds are beautiful, aren't they? Work really well together. Seven foot ten. Right, now, yesterday, I can't remember what time of the day it was, and I saw Haley's gone on the holidays and she's left a special deal for you. I walked over there and she'd forgotten to make the special deal for you. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Haley's gone on her holidays. She's done a sp What?
Ya. Are we, are we able to do it? Oh no, man, I'm not able to do it. <laughs> uh, right. I was going to go over and steam in and do this one, but I don't know if I can do it now. How funny. Is it all right, Christopher? Oh, it's not on mine. Yeah, it's not on mine. Mine was printed, yeah, mine was printed yesterday. Oh, I've got a very creased, haven't I? This shirt's creased badly this morning. Go on then, am I going? Right, so Hayley's gone on holiday and she wants to leave a special deal for you, so she's discounted something for you. If you bought it yesterday, you will also get the discounted price, but I don't think you had really time to see it yesterday. Come with me. We got it back in stock and it's the fantastic fabric steamer. Now, I've not got the box here, because it's got all the instructions on the box. I was going to show you all the instructions, I think. So, what you do is you put your water in here. Look, you plug it in, obviously. Then you um, put all your water in here. You fill your water in there. You have your litre of water in there. And then you choose here. You switch it on here to your different temperature that you have. Now, I, when I have a steamer, I always keep it on the same... Uh, same temperature the whole time it doesn't I don't really change the temperature on my steamer at all and what happens is it literally takes a minute to warm up if le if that and then the steam travels up the tube here they've put the big spirally thing on here so that the um the oh yeah do it do it do it sorry I didn't realize look there you go was 49.99 Haley's not 10 pounds off while she's on her holidays 39 99, and she has today. Yesterday it said, was 49.99, save 10 pounds, 49.99. But you're saving 10 pounds. Anyway, so the steam travels up here, and this tube is a really, really good quality rubber tube here. But as I say, the spiral will keep the, part, the tube so it's not full, because when that gets hot, obviously, with the steam, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna steam over, is it? Then we'll carry on all the way up to the top there. Now, I don't know if this might be a bit high for you to see. You've got a telescopic, I'm taking it lower and then I'll show you how high it goes because it always goes over the top of the wall. So the steam carries on up here into this um, base here. Now this is where you steam your garments. Now you can also oh, you can keep this on or you can take that off. Oh, he says, oh, come on, John. That hasn't been used for a while, this one, is it? There you go. So you can have it like that with a flat surface or you can have a little brush on if you've got a fab, like if you're doing your curtains or something like that or something with a pile. Uh, then this, I'll just show you here, right? This is the telescopic. This is how, how to, I think it goes the same height as little Paul, doesn't it? Does it go 165? Right, watch. Look, that's how high it goes. And you just clip these in. I'm, I'm only doing like that because if we go with it, it goes above the wall and you'll see that we're not in a real room. This is a set. And then on the top here, what you've got on the top here is you've got this lovely little bit where you can either put hangers, hang hangers from there, or you can put a jacket or a blouse over there, or you can clip on there. But if you don't want that, that just folds in like this. So you can just hang hangers over there, and then that goes. But, you see, look, well, I'll show you. I'll show you, right? Look how tall that is. You can go up, Andrew, and show how. We will go over the top of the set. You ready? Up, up, up. Oh, there's the back of the set. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, can't go any higher. Can't go any higher, can you, Tom? So while you're up there, I'll just get the box. I know, the magic of telly. Did you not know it was a set? Right, so it's um, one litre detachable tanker, told you that. Red shoes in under a minute, told you that. 35 minutes of continuous steam, I didn't tell you that. Powerful vertical steam, three settings, 360 rotating hanger, adjustable height for easy storage. I'm sure it used to say, how high it went because we used to joke because it was taller than little Paul. Half. No, it's not. We'll have to measure it. How funny. Anyway, they're brilliant. It's £10 off. Uh, Natasha's got one of these. I know. I know. Isn't it brilliant? 
Uh, well, the thing is, uh, when I did costumes for films, you always had a steamer on the go all day, every day. And I was the one who shut down the whole of ITV live during this morning for leave, by leaving a steamer on in the war. We weren't in the wardrobe department. We were doing a fashion item from there. And they put us in this room and I put the steamer on. Then I'd gone on air to do my little, you know, my intro and everything, but left the steamer on. And while I was there, the steamer set the fire alarms off. So we had to va vac vacate the building and live on air. 39.99. Who's used one? Oh, oh, another job, Chris. Chris, you. Well, I can't imagine Chris working in a men's clothes shop somehow. Italian fashion garment store. How long did you last there? A couple of months. I can't see him. I can't see him being subservient or, you know, kind of, oh, yes, sir, anything. Oh, yes, sir, it'll ride up with where I can't imagine that at all. Oh, how long have you been here? He's been here two years. He said he can be polite when he wants to be. Have you seen it yet? No. Have I seen it yet? No. He doesn't want to be, he says. Anyway, look, £10 off. £10 off. £39.99. Right, OK, I'm going back on to that one. Loads gone into baskets. Well, take advantage of the £10 off. I would, and also, maybe you only pay one pin piece. If you've already bought the early bird, or if you've already bought a fat quarter or something like that, then it's still only £2.95 post packaging to your house, 46 working days. Right. Well, I've got some, I've got, let's do this. Because this is back in stock, and this is fantastic value for money. You get 50 spools in 50 different colours. Right, now, before I go do what Chris wants to do in a minute, right? Oh, hang on. Even if... Now, oh, that's how you open it. Somebody put it on Facebook this week, they couldn't figure out how to open it. And they went, yeah, John had trouble doing that as well. Um, can I just say there's 50 threads in there, and it's £50. That makes them a pound each, doesn't it? But we're not taking into effect the box. We sell this box for 14 99 right? So take 14 99 off that price there. And that means that each spool is 70p. Each spool of thread, 500 metres, is 70p. 14 pence per 100 metres. So that's brilliant, isn't it? And they're all different colours. All, and look at them, aren't they gorgeous? Now, you must be thinking why it looks funny, because what you do is when you store it, some are up and some are down. But you get all, all those gorgeous colours. Look. Oh, let's go back in order. Yeah, of course. Blue, red, dark pink. But look at all the colours. Look at all the colours you're getting in here. You get your beiges, your whites, your O'Donnells, your silvers. That wasn't a very good idea. What, what? Oh, you have to put them all the normal ones in first. Oh, that's no, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's no, right. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Look, aren't they? Oh, that's a lovely colour, isn't there? This is very boring for you all now when you sit and watch me do this 50 times. I'm getting confused now. Angela's messaged in. John, looking forward to seeing today's show. Loving your shirt. A bright spot on a rainy day. Oh, Angela, thank you. The shirt's got really creased very quickly, though, Angela. And a bit... Oh, no, hang on. I've done this wrong, haven't I? Chris thinks it's a cowboy shirt. I might have to change in the break. Uh, well, I'll stay where it is, but it just feels a bit creased, and I don't like it when I get creased. Is it Shelley? Good morning, John. Got my steamer. Been waiting for this. Two weeks to go. Love, Shelley. I see it's Festival of Quilts. Two weeks. Isn't it? Come round quickly. And two weeks today, it's Clay's first birthday, which means it's also Chris's 47th birthday. No, it's not 47. How old are you? Oh, yeah, 36. Still younger than little Paul. No, that'll never change. And little Paul hates the fact that it'll never change. He's in tomorrow, I think, isn't he, little Paul? Is he directing or is he producing tomorrow? Oh, he's directing tomorrow. Uh, come on, John. Sorry about this, everyone. Right. Oh, uh. I thought I'd lost one then. Now there they are. 
That was fascinating telly, wasn't it? There you go. 49.99. Make sure you check out your basket, though. It's hundred percent polyester. Now, oh, it's called embroidery. Uh, uh, right, they're calling it embroidery machine thread and thread organizer. So you don't just use it for embroidery, do you? What weight is it? Let me just check. I haven't read that bit before. Forty weight. Oh, it's fine. It's forty weight. It's forty weight. Brilliant for embroidery, but you can use it in your sewing machine for normal as well. Forty nine ninety nine. But how brilliant! I hadn't even thought about embroidery. That's fantastic, isn't it? All those colours. There's different colours. 50 different colours for £50. Pounds, and you get the box as well. Carolyn, on this, on a ploy this weekend, if hubby can walk a... F hang on. If hubby can walk a food fest on his crutch, to a food fest tomorrow, on his crutch after the wedding, he can... Walk oh, yeah, right, OK. So, Carolyn's husband, if he can walk to a food fest on his crutches tomorrow, then he can walk around the Festival of Quilts in two weeks' time. Of course he can. Of course he can, Carolyn. Don't let him out. He, you need him there with, the, um, with his trolley for, the, for your shopping and his wallet to pay for it all. Loads of those in baskets. Loads of those. Where should we... I'd like to go home now, if that's all right. Could we go via Costa Coffee? Because I fancy a Costa Coffee as well this morning. Michael Miller. Now, Chris adores this fabric. What, the country? Uh, there's the bundle, you get half a metre. Now, if you multi... Have I got these fabrics on their own as well? Right, OK. So if you want just a taster, you get half a metre of each of these, right? I've, uh, there's only six of the bundles left, but I have got these fabrics by the half metre if you want them. So you get half a metre of your otters, half a metre of your whales, half a metre of your lobsters, and half metres of your fishes. Little fishes. Michael Miller. Gorgeous cotton, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, half a metre of each. Now, if you buy two, they don't come joined together. I know you're sick of me saying it, but we have new buyers every day. Let's do them individually now. So, I'll start with the otters. This is fun, this one, isn't it? Look. Are they called cheeky? No, they're just cheeky otters, apparently, but they're not called cheeky. Otter Assembly in navy from the Arcadia range. Which one's waving? Oh, yeah, look at it. <laughs> oh. 7 99 for half a metre. There's only seven metres left. Apparently, put Laura, Laura bought a lot. She's making blinds for one of her bathrooms in this one. Is it all blue and white, then, the bathroom? She hasn't decided yet, she said. You're going to trim it in another colour then? Sure. She's annoyed because her Wi-Fi hasn't arrived. Don't... Yeah, Chris, you, Chris didn't help matters, right, this morning. So Laura, Laura's obviously upset that her Wi-Fi's not arrived, but they're coming on mon Monday to fix it. They said Monday they come to fix it, right? Chris went, they won't, they won't. Took me six months to get mine in. Of course, that sent Laura through the flipping roof, didn't it? She's just gone, oh... Enjoy Monday, that's what you should have said. Then you wouldn't have had to worry about it. Seven ninety nine. Might not be the same company. Didn't you buy don't you buy a dongle or something like that? If you haven't got Wi Fi. I can't remember. I remember when I first moved into my own. No Wi Fi, no nothing. You couldn't get any what's on your phone where I lived. Right, here we go. Pod in navy. Aren't they lovely? They're having a nice time. They're happy whales, aren't they? I'll pop it down. That is lovely, isn't it? The colours are lovely, isn't it? I have no idea. It's a whale in the water who's happy. Happy and free, that's what they should be. I went to, um, years and years ago, I went to one of those... Um, it wasn't abroad, it wasn't like, it doesn't matter where it is, but I went to like a safari park in the United Kingdom and they had performing, and I burst into tears. <laughs> I just hate, I hated it, absolutely hated it. These poor, they weren't whales, they must have been other, dolphins, I suppose. Oh God, I was upset I had to go home. Anyway, so I wasn't a child, it wasn't when I was a child, I was on a date. 
thing of the past. Okay, moving on. No sympathy from Chris, just move on, John. Next one's lobster claws. Oh, we were talking about those yesterday, weren't we, in jewellery? Lobsters. No, wrong way up. Well, yeah, yeah, we have a loose and iron lobster because we have it on the, um, when we do the odor coat, we get it out every time, don't we, show you how the odor coat works. I like that because it's got seaweed as well. Yeah, seaweed. Fresh, oh, that's not a nice name. Fresh catch. Oh. I ate those restaurants where you go and you choose your lobster in the tank. That's, I think that's... Ugh. When I was... Fil oh, well, I've no, I don't eat meat or fish, so I haven't tried it. But um, when... Uh, what I was on a Bond film, and we were filming in Monte Carlo, and we used to go to this restaurant every night, and it, there was a big tank in the corner, you picked your f thing that you wanted to eat. In fact, when I did um, Celebrity... Ready, steady, cook, me against firm Britain. We had to hold up filming because she had a lobster being delivered for hers and it didn't arrive. So we had to hold up filming while we waited for our lobster. Yeah, I did the Christmas special. Hang on, it was called, it was with uh, 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 Ainsley. Yeah, 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 that's it, yeah. Oh, you must have seen me then, I did the Christmas special. She won by two points. I was not happy. Neither of us did tradition. It was supposed to be Christmas dinner. She did lobster and champagne, and I did um, butternut squash or something like that. I think enough vegetarian. I, had, uh, I know I had um, didn't have chickens' eggs. I had ducks' eggs. I think asparagus. There was asparagus in there as well. It was delicious. Anyway. Leslie Waters was my chef, and she's gorgeous, isn't she? Right, Michael Miller, Jordan Pool. This is pond, not pool, pond. This one's called? I don't know why, they call, why it's called Jordan. Is that a fish? Or is that when they swim in circles like that? Seven ninety nine for half a metre. Designer's fabric showcase. Oh, what's the matter? That's pretty, isn't it? Is it here or is it there? Morning, John. Love today's shirt. Oh, didn't like yesterday's. Oh, thanks. Yesterday's. What was yesterday? I can't remember what I had on yesterday. What was I wearing yesterday? I thought it gave you a bit of a. I thought it gave you a bit of a non-existent tummy. Oh, well, no, attractive. I was a bit bloated yesterday. Um. Which shirt did I have on yesterday? Well, you, you weren't in yesterday, were you? Laura, what shirt did I have on yesterday? It was an old one, anyway. Carolyn, why did the beach blush? Because you saw the seaweed. Don't know. Don't get that. Seven ninety nine. I'm more concerned about the shirt that gave me a big fat belly yesterday. It's on the floor in my dressing room waiting to be washed. Okay, do, 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 which one? Oh, crikey, is that all? Waffling away. The Tiny Whelans. Now, how many minutes have I got, to say? Oh, blimey. Got to, now, I'm going to have to romp through these. This is obviously a metre. I don't know why they've given me a metre of each of these. That's nice. Stags and leaves. What's it called? Tiny Wheel and Pink Deer Floral Fabric from the Darling Meadows range. That's a metre, so that'll be your £15. Oh, yes, I wore purple and blue flowers on a white background. That's one of my oldest shirts as well. That's one of my skin. This is one of my fat shirts, a tractor. That was one of my skinny shirts yesterday. Anyway, never mind. I like that one as well. Never mind. All different, aren't we? Right, same thing, but in green. Oh, it's a lovely green. And now I'd call this a tilde green, you see. And she wouldn't call it green, she'd call it sage or something like that, wouldn't she? Meter again, that's two units at £15. Olive, she's called it. 
Now, if you add all, oh, well, I suppose that Nocicelli olives can be that kind of colour, can't they? It's lovely though, isn't it? The pattern. Oh, he's talking Italian to me. Anyway, moving on. This is nice, but this is very Tanya Whelan, this, this one. Well, it is designed by Tanya Whelan, but it's very, you'd, no, you'd look at this, you go, that's a Tanya Whelan fabric, wouldn't you? You look at that one, Joelle, I'll fold that last one up, because people get upset when I don't fold the fabric. Have a look. It's nice, isn't it? It's Tanya Whelan, ivory, little bouquet from the Darling Meadow range, 749. 100% cotton, machine washable. Quilting weight. They say wash it at 30 degrees, but I was washing my cotton at 40. This next one's nice. It's like songbirds, this one. I'm not going to get through all of these. Oh, okay, we'll keep going. Victoria won't mind. Pretty, isn't it? That's a meter again. That's your two units, so that'll be your £15. Darling. Aqua Darling Meadow, that's called. Nothing to do with songbirds. It's pretty there. I've not seen that one before. It's lovely. I am romping through because Victoria... Pete is waiting by the side here. Uh, now, this is this one. Again, I'll just show you. This is Darling Meadow again. Little Roses, this one's called. Teal Little Roses. Got a little spot background. You might not be seeing it on your telly. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh. Okay, moving on. Now, next one, I've got bunny rabbits in circles. There we go. Pretty, isn't it? It's like a green background with like pink rabbits in circles, in medallions. Graphics coming in. Uh, olive. Oh, it's olive again. Bunny fabric. Oh. The olive background with the pink bunny rabbits. Okay. Then I've got, this is pretty, it's like a pink background with a floral, with a bit of ochre in it. Oh, it's Bitty, is it, this one's called? Well, where I come from, Bitty's not fabric, is it? Bitty. Anyway, it's pink Bitty, this one. Lovely fabric, gorgeous. There's, oak, there's oak in the middle of those flowers. I don't know if you can see that there. And then last but not least, I've got like daisy fans. It won't be called that. Oh, aqua fans, nearly. Look, but the fans are made of like daisies, half daisies. That's beautiful, isn't it? Aqua fans, 749. Lovely for little girls' dresses, like Chris is saying. Anyway, um, I better go, better go. Victoria Pete is up after the break. She's doing a masterclass in creative grids rulers. She's got about four different rulers that she's going to show you how to make gorgeous blocks. And when you've wondered how to use them before, today's the way to find out. We are so excited for this year's Festival of Quilts. Sewing Quarter will be there for all four days, and I will be too. This year we are going bigger than ever with Sewing Quarter Live. We will be broadcasting from Festival of Quilts throughout the four days. Visit Sewing Quarter Live for demonstrations from top quilting experts such as Kate Fassett and Lynette Anderson. Then, over on our other stand, we will be holding workshops with industry experts. We will have book signings with Kate Fassett and a section for you to buy some of the products from the show. You can buy tickets on the Festival Quilts website and if you use our code SQ19, you will get £2 off adult tickets or £1 off concession tickets. Keep an eye out for more announcements on who else will be joining us and to buy tickets for Sewing Quarter Live and the workshops. And don't forget to visit the stand to say hi to the team. In the run-up to our second instalment of Christmas in July, we have a few non-Christmassy treats for you. On Monday the 22nd of July, Fiona Hesford is sharing her tips and tricks for making our new and exclusive carpet bag. Fiona will also be sharing her expertise for making her brand new tunic design. Anna Alicia is with us on Tuesday with her new book, Bags, so 18 stylish bags for every occasion. Then on Wednesday, Debbie Shaw is back with her hints and tips for window dressing from a half yard sewing book, as well as a technique based show on skills like piping and zip insertion for your soft furnishing mates. 
Catch all of this from Monday the 22nd to Wednesday the 24th of July on Freeview Channel 73, Sky Channel 687 or online at www.sewingquarter.com. In honour of Christmas in July, our free gift for all new customers is two metres of Christmassy fabric, perfect to add a festive feel to your Christmas makes. You will receive a bundle of four fabrics with your first order from Sewing Quarter. Simply make your first purchase with us from www.sewingquarter.com or from products shown on our TV channel on Freeview 73 and Sky 687. Travel to far off lands from the comfort of your home with Sewing Quarter for a Round the World event. Starting on Wednesday the 31st of July, we have nine days packed full of international makes with top industry experts from all over the globe, such as Lynette Anderson, Kay Fassett, Jill Rep, Joe Avery and Gail Pan. We have makes from the Far East with Susan Briscoe's Sashko panels. We'll also have the Riley Blake Arrows quilt and so much more. Stay tuned for details and watch the Around the World Week from Wednesday the 31st to Thursday the 8th of August. Oh, I know. There's lots of, there's lots of um, new faces coming up, aren't there? One of those ladies from Australia. You should know her. Oh, yeah, I know everyone. Every, she knows everyone in Australia. <laughs> uh, anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, what are we doing? Creative Grids. Victoria Pete. Uh, these are the rulers we're going to be doing. Oh, I'm not. I'm just going to be standing watching. <clears throat> Let me take you through the rulers first. Let me take you through the... I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to all the rulers. I'm not going to do anything with them. And then Victoria's going to show you everything that she's going to do. So I'll start with... This one, which is called your non-slip circle savvy ruler. Thirty-seven pounds and fifty pence. And you get, oh, very importantly, you get your um, instructions in there. Right now, I know I should really be telling you what it's for and everything like that, but that's not my job. Then we've got now. I've got two of these. Uh, I've got the three inch one first. Three inch non-slip wavy border ruler. Yeah, I'm trying to read, try and read, look and hold at the same time and I can't multitask. That's the three inch one. I've also got that in the two inch version. Graphics have been a bit slow today. There's your two inch version there. 20 pounds and 99 pence. Then I'm moving on to a hexagon trim tool, non-slip. Well, they're all non-slip, aren't they? Good. So I believe Rachel Rule is on her holidays. It's gone for a couple of weeks. That's not right. That's like her. So that $24.99 is your Creative Grids hexagonal trim tool. Don't worry, if you think I'm just whizzing through and not saying anything, it's because Victoria's here, she's going to take you through the, I don't want to say something that's wrong, I'm going to learn in this hour as well, you see, <laughs> if I listen. And then this next one, I thought you'd call it, it was called Kite, but it's called Starburst 30 Degree Triangular Ruler. Well, it's patently not a triangular ruler, is it? Look. $24.99. Now, if you're wondering what I'm putting them in, it's this, a ruler rack. It's an organiser, actually, this one. This is one you can put on the wall as well, if you want to. I'll just turn it around, look. So you can leave it on the desk. We put it on the wall as well, if you want. Just imagine you don't bang your head. 17 99 It's the plastic one. We do a wooden one, and this is the plastic version. £17.99. You said put it on the wall, but I imagine all the rulers falling out. What, sideways? No, you she thought you put it in the wall downwards, like that had all the rulers stay in. I oh, know, that would work really well, wouldn't it? It's Australian. Anyway, now you'll see these different fabrics all being used in the next hour. So I'm just going to give, because you might think, you might think, oh, they're nice, the fabrics Victoria's uh, using. This one here, this is lovely. These anthology, they are, aren't they? Isn't that lovely? 12-piece fat quarter bundle in brown, £44.99. You'll see all of these being used... 
Oh, the brown one doesn't get used. Ignore me. She didn't use the brown one. Oh, she wasn't sent it. She'd have used it if she was sent it, but she wasn't sent it. So why is it even here? Oh, I've just messed the display. Oh, no. Right, next. Orange. We sent the orange one. She was sent the orange one. They're lovely. Anthology, look. Fat quarters. Computer's frozen. Tap, tap. £44.99. You get 12 fat quarters in there. Twelve fat quarters. Lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous. You're going to see those being used in this hour. And you're going to see these being used in this hour as well. They're lovely. Viva la France. Moda fabrics. Blue. 54.93. 13 fat quarters in there. For your it's motor fabric, remember. Really high quality fabric. Beautiful. Okay. So let's go over. I'm not taking anything with me because I'm just going to watch for an hour. Watch. So, your poor children. I know. It's their first day of their summer holidays today. I went to answer the door at quarter past six this morning and they were just standing there with like rucksacks like this outside the door. <laughs> let us in. And she wouldn't let them, and, and they wanted waffles. <laughs> and she, she left the supermarket, didn't buy them waffles. No, I bought them. Well, they got crumpets, muffins, and... Oh, they didn't say that. They said they had grapes. Oh, and they, they were grapes, but just not waffles. Oh, I thought you'd... Anyway. But waking them up at five this morning felt really mean. No. Come oh. on. Let's oh. get up. Come on. They knew, didn't you? Oh, that yeah, they did. It wasn't a surprise. It was oh, yeah. Come on, <laughs> go for a day out. Go to mummy's work. <laughs> right, so, so you're going to show us. We've got the four or five different rulers. And yes. you're just going to basically show how each of them work. Because a lot yeah. of people see the rulers and go, well, that sounds lovely, but I've got what no idea what they it? do. And or they think it does the one. Because we sometimes have it in a show and use it for once. For one feature. And yeah. you can think, oh, it's £40 for one thing. Why would thing. I buy that? Why would I buy that? But yeah. actually, with all of these rulers, you can do more than one yeah, thing. Yeah, there's all sorts of things you can do. And I think it's just nice to be able to see everything that you yes. can do. So, for example, for this one, um, this is the Circle I've Savvy. I've never seen this one before. Have you not? I've no. not used it before, no. actually, either. Um, so I thought, right, I'm just going to cut out a load of circles so that you can see all the different sizes. Because sometimes you look at it and you think, OK, well, it can cut from three inches to 15, but what does that mean? What does that mean? Like? Yes. And, yeah, and also, you, you haven't got a complete circle anywhere. I mean, no, that, so you, that there, but you haven't... You, you can't see it. See it. Yes, yeah, exactly. sometimes it's like buying a, a, a brand new house. You can buy it off plan. Oh, yes. But actually, my, we bought a, a property once and it was off plan. And my brain works the right way, not the right way, in a certain way where I, I knew what we were buying. Whereas we walked in the door and my husband went, well, I didn't know it was going to look like this. Oh, no. <laughs> because his brain doesn't yes, work yes, yeah. like that. He needs to actually see something. But it is also like if you go to a sofa shop, you think, oh, that looked lovely. I'd made that mistake once. Didn't take a tape measure. Just think, oh, that looked lovely in my flat. And it arrived and it took up the nearly the whole... I mean, it was gorgeous. I loved it. It was my favourite ever sofa. But it filled really the filled the whole of this. It didn't need any other furniture. So that's why doing this, I think, is really useful yes. for some people. So you can actually see what you're getting. Perfect. So to start off, we're going to have a look at the Circle Savvy. Right. And with this one, you can create circles, half circles and quarter circles. And you can cut those in a variety of sizes. So you can cut those... Um, you've got two different uh, Yeah, I was going to say why are, the two, why are the two different ones. So you've got finished sizes finished on the inch and finished sizes on the um or cut sizes on the inch and on the half inch right so 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 when you cut round the five line you get a five, five inch, inch circle. because if you if you do it on the Fiskars one you've got a quarter inch seam allowance on those it says right okay so this here well this has got two different markings right. on it as well okay. if we can come and have a yep. look in when you are and i'll show you in a minute as well cutting when you're cutting a quarter circle and it's just a quarter circle you will cut on the line to include your seam allowance oh uh, right okay um, if you are cutting um something like a half circle or a full circle you fold the fabric first and you place that on your fold line right but it shows you very very clearly mm -hmm. which line you should be lining your fabric on and you cut in the appropriate hole and it does just depend on whether you're appliqueing that circle on or whether you're setting it in because of we've course, got two yes, different yeah. options for that uh, and they're inches aren't they those sizes those are all in inches okay. the whole ruler is all in inches Perfect. there's no conversion yeah. on there so uh, your uh, creative grids always come they have a um 
what's the proper name for them? I call them squiggly squares. Yeah, QVS, QR, yeah, QR, QR, co QR codes. Yeah. So you can scan those in and that will show you a copy of the instructions that okay, come perfect. with your ruler. But for me, just keep your, keep your instructions because yes, exactly. this will show you uh, how to go. And they're always really good and um, step by step how you lay out your fabric and how you use the lines to cut. So these are for cutting just your standard shapes. And then on the other side, you've got instructions for how to set in a circle. Perfect. So to start off with, I've got for you uh, the different shapes that you can create. So you can, from your Ooh. ruler, you can cut as a basic starting point, your complete circles, your half circles and your quarter circles. Right, so, so that quarter circle will have a quarter inch seam allowance on each of the straight lines. Yes, that has your, your seam allowance in. Right. In that. Does the uh, half circle have a quarter inch seam allowance on that bottom bit there? Yes, that's got your seam allowance in this, this straight edge. So if you edge, sew two of those together, you get a perfect circle. You get circle. a perfect circle. And then this one doesn't have a seam allowance in it, or, or it does. You could set that into something. Yes, by but, taking but, but, off but half your finished circle, it, that your, that your, it's not like we go finished block size, it's actual whatever size you've cut it at, yes. that's the size it is. Yes. Uh, morning again, John and Victoria, thank you for helping me with this quilt software oh thank oh, you for helping right. me with the quilt software that's nothing to do with me that's you uh that was probably me um people have asked i when i did a creative grids show before i had some mock-ups of some quilts with some shapes and i'd used um electric electric quilt 8 eq8 oh yes, yes to yes, lay yes, out the yes, yes, um, yes, yes. lay out the quilt Oh, okay, uh, and lots of people mailed and messaged and asked, what's the software you used oh. to do that? And it's brilliant. It's, we it's were such supposed good to, software. When that was very, very first mentioned, years when we first yeah. launched, somebody asked about it, and we were meant to be getting that. So I don't oh, know what right, happened okay. to that. No, I don't no. know. It's, I've not heard it mentioned. Don't worry. Anyway. I've heard it mentioned. So. Okay, so in order to cut a, um, let's start off with a quarter circle. Yeah. To start off with, I'm just going to uh, start off with a square of fabric. Um, and you cut your square a little bit larger than the size that you want to cut. So just make sure it extends. We'll cut here a seven inch diameter. It would be a seven inch diameter. Circle. Circle. Yes. Um, so, but we're just cutting a segment. But when we're doing the, the quarter inch segment, quarter segment, we're going to include that quarter inch seam allowance yes. so that you can sew it into something That's else. That's what would confuse me, because you, when you just said to me, I'm going to do a seven inch one, I was like, that fabric's only about three and a half inches big. Yes. Because it's, that measurement there isn't the size of this, it's if you added four if it together. Were to be, yes. So that's what you just have to think. You've got to remember yeah, that. Yeah. And it does say on here, diameter in inches yes, to yes, remind yeah, you. Yeah. And that says that in four different places. Yeah. So that will help you remember how um, yes. how to measure that now for the um this particular rule i'm using a smaller rotary cutter because because you're going around the curves right and it's easier to turn with a smaller diameter rotary cutter than it is a larger yes. one you could you use could them. you use a 45 or um i find i can use the 45 on the larger size yes, I larger going pieces, around but going around these, these yes tighter corners i find it difficult and the blade catches actually if you think about it i know i shouldn't really be saying about fiskars but their circle cutter the blade in that one is that big isn't it yeah, it's tiny that little one. it's that little um thing you press down on isn't it so it's exactly the same blade as that. yes, yes so uh, there's the rotary cutter 10.99 okay so when you um that was the other thing i just wanted to mention i mentioned before make sure that you use a rotary cutter where you have to ex um, expose the blade yourself rather than one that's done via pressure. Oh, like the Kai one, which yeah. I love. Yeah, you, which I love as yeah, well. But you can't use that one on this. No, because that you can't get into the grooves. So just Good. make sure that you're yeah. using one where you extend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my hand on the ruler. They've got the gri same non-slip grips on the underside as we have on all creative grids. You place it in the teardrop section at the bottom and then just work your way round and that cuts out your quarter circle. Brilliant. In order to do a half circle, you take your fabric and fold in half. And you might want to best press or um, you know, just give it a bit of stability. Yes, it depends on the fabric you're working with. So now I'm going to place the fabric. I'm going to place this cut edge. I'm going to place on the qu quarter inch seam allowance mm -hmm. line. And I'm going to place this folded edge on the fold line. So I've just lined that up with the quarter inch at the bottom and with the fold line on the left. And then I'm going to use that same line, the seven inch, 
and that will cut out very your... nifty isn't it it is super absolutely super so like you say you could oh no i didn't do those the same size you could cut another one in a different color yes. and piece those yeah. together then in order to create the full also, circle also you're fussy cutting he yes the same fabric he wanted two peacocks going oh yeah like that yes that would be really yeah. nice Yes, you'd have to be, but you'd have to be quite clever because the way you cut, because you're folding the fabric in half oh, and you can't yes. really, although you could do it wrong no, 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 sides No, 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 what I'm thinking is, oh, no, no, because if you're doing a peacock facing that way and a peacock facing that on the fabric, you still have the peacock in the middle because you're folding that way. Yes. If you wouldn't be able to do it if you wanted them. But you could fold that way. Yes. So that you could just see, check you that you've got the it. face. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because you could cut that not so exact size you could make it bigger so that you had room yes, to just yeah. line everything up i'm just making life difficult terms I well no but, but people are going to yeah. ask questions mm. and that's a really good way of using these rulers is mm. to make the most of them so now we're going to fold in half and fold in half again so you're in quarters right uh this so i've got the fold on this side and the double fold on this side and now i'm placing both edges against the fold lines of the ruler Okay, so fold lines on both on the inner mm -hmm. line. I'm going to cut yeah, in that Yeah, because you don't same. need any seam allowance on any of the middle bits, do you? No, no. So from there, you've then got your full circle. Brilliant. Okay. That waist? Well, you could use that for something else. And okay. I'll show you, I found a tip on okay. how you can okay. make the most of those. Brilliant. So those are your different sizes that you can cut. So what I thought I'd do is I just, I thought, what does it look like? in terms of the skirt circles that you can cut. So I've just cut the circles in a ton of sizes so you can see all of them. Right, all in the same colour. All in the same colour, because that's what I had. But you can see from the largest, which is a 15 inch. So this is the biggest you can cut on it? Um, oh no, this is the biggest whole size that you can cut. So this is a 15 inch, you can cut. So these I've all cut on the inch measurement. Right. But you can cut on the half inch as well. So you can go half an inch so bigger than that. So you can go half that. an inch bigger but than I, each of these individual sizes. I can't imagine sizes. you'd ever need, unless you're making table mats, I can't imagine you need to go yeah. much bigger or than that. Or a cover for your Arga hob. Oh, you're just posh. We, we moved into a house that had an Arga. Oh, okay. Which so I do now don't switch on, because it costs too much <laughs> to run. <laughs> uh, so, can, so can you do a drunkard's pathway using different fabrics? Yes, so I'll show you in a minute how you can inset some of these shapes. Jennifer. So these are all the sizes you can cut. For on the whole inch markings. Oh, so actually, so there's even more. Yes, so you'll get the same number again. On half inch? On half inch for all of these. So you've got so much variety oh, that you that can create yeah. from that one ruler mm -hmm. in terms of all your different sizes. Now, of course, you can inset these, which I'll show you in a minute, but you can applique them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. like you say, making placemats or anything, you're creating those circle shapes. Because whilst we can all draw, draw around a dinner plate, you're not going to get many plates no. that size or well, no, you no, might but be also being... your plates are going to be that size and that size you know what yeah. i mean i've only got yeah big, i've got like a few a few yes i've only 11 got, and yes yes, yes. so, so you're not going to like i haven't got all those middle sizes i'd have to no, be wondering around the different cups and, and, and then bars. they're not going to be exact inches and things they're just going no. to be no. how brilliant is that so it's really good to have that variety of sizes yeah, totally and of course what you can also do is you can use these rulers to mark quilting lines oh, so you could yes. yeah you could lie this on the corner of a quilt and you could draw through with your pen or marking tool of sorts it'd have to be quite narrow to get through but you could mark yes the... yeah definitely so those That's are all fun. your circles that you uh, can i bet our mechanical pencil to get yes, to that I think, it, fine, I think it might it? do You've got tons of circles. Pop those back on. And we'll leave those out there just so okay. you can see. Like a load of pancakes, isn't it? Right, what also what you can also do is you can cut rings. Oh wow. And got lots of little pieces. Half rings. Oh, do you know what? How many people want to do rainbow? Because we did a rainbow yesterday and we were talking about, oh, you wouldn't cut a rainbow. You wouldn't cut me in rainbow shape because it'd be too difficult. How brilliant but how is that? how fab do they look? 
Oh, wow. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. Right, so in order to cut a whole ring... Yes. Um, Is that this you do? Yes, for yeah. these whole circles. And again, you can use these for applique. They're easier for applique. If yes. you're particularly advanced and comfortable with sewing curves, then you could inset these yes. in concentric circles. A little bit tricky. Yeah, you have yeah. a lot of patience. Um, but uh, you, could, you certainly could do that. How have we folded the fabric? Then? So again, as I did with the full circle, I folded it in half and in half yep. again. And then you're going to place that on those fold lines. Yeah. And then I'm going to cut at um, three, four and six inches. Three. Four. Yeah, make sure you keep your fingers up. Six, there. yes, try not to trim my nails at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I've cut that at three, four and six inches. And from that, you're getting your centre circle, you're getting different size rings, three different size rings there. Just put those on one side. Sorry, I'm just using this mat no, today because no, 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 I no, thought no, it was brilliant. good yeah, to yeah, see yeah, yeah. on something plain. And then I'm, on the light, I'm going to cut, I've cut a slightly bigger square. And again, I'll fold it in half and in half again. Yeah. I'm going to cut on three, four, Six and eight. And these measurements that you're, um, you just made these up, did you? Yeah, yeah, I just thought, I just, I've just... Played. Yeah, played. Yeah. Changed the sizes just for fun. So then you can start to create different shapes, different fabrics, and combine them in different ways. But it's just good to see that you can vary the size yeah, yeah, yeah. of those cuts so they don't all have to be narrow. Over here, I've done thicker ones and thinner yeah. ones. You can do them as wide as you like. Fabulous. But you can create some really interesting yeah, blocks. No, no. Now, now, you can't sew those with a seam, can you? Do you just have to lay them flat and applique? These them? ones you would have to applique, but what you could do is, for example, you'd have to do quite a, a fair amount of maths yes. to, to work out, but you could cut each of these, there'd be a lot more wastage, you'd cut that with, on, for example, on the half inch, so you'd make it a half inch bigger yes. on either yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's a quarter inch on either side, and then you could work those together. But, but it's not it's, easy. It would be re it would be a tricky job yeah. to do, and you would cut them, I think, wider so that your finished arc yes. would be that kind yeah. of size. But you could cut them bigger. Fantastic. So those are your circles and arcs, yeah. and of course you can do a quarter as well. So yes. if you just wanted to add in quarter sizes as well, that would be nice. fun. They would be nice. Um, no, so much to one one ruler. We're gonna have to whiz through. Yes, these. sorry. No, 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 no. no I'm but not. I, I, I do quite like this one. So this is where you've got your inset. You've got two different options so this for your inset. Path? Well, it, it can be. You can use that to make your drunkard's right. path. So you can inset a full circle or you can inset a quarter circle to create your drunkard's path. Right. And of course, you can do the half as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it looks, I mean, those two fabrics together, especially, it looks like a sun. That, that one over there reminds me of, you did, um, remember you designed two stained glass windows. Oh, yes. That reminds me yeah. of one of your stained glass windows. Oh, that yeah, I, love, I like that one. Uh, okay, so how do we okay. do that then? So, uh, and things like this. Have a play with those whilst I just get myself organised. So you can use those in order to do a drunkard's path or you can create full pieced circles. Um, right, so I've done that one. Half rings. Oh, but you know you could do those... Um, uh, when we've done Drunkard's Path before, because Drunkard's Path, you can you can make so many different shapes from Drunkard's Path, can't you? As in the way you place the, the half, the, the circles and everything like that, and the kind of placing of where the fabrics go and things. It just can create such an amazing... It's not just... So, like, you can make circles within a square, but then if you kind of place them all in different ways, you get all yeah, those different, different shapes. Yeah, different movement and, and shapes. Like that. Anyway, sorry. That's all right. Right, so um, with this one, this is for creating one of these. Right. You've got two different options. You can create, in order to create it, you need so, uh, squares of a different size and the instructions tell you the relationship between oh, the okay. two. Oh, so, so one this will is need to be... This isn't yeah. you just going off piece, generally. No, the right. next one is me going off okay, piece. Okay, that's fine. But this one it shows you how to cut it in the instructions. So, so this, I've is, got, this is for Jennifer, really. Yeah. Okay, so this one you need to start off with. I've got a five-inch square and I'm going to cut... I've lined up on the quarter inch seam allowance because this is something that you would sew into another block yes, yeah. or against another block. So I'm going to cut at nine inch. 
to create your two different pieces. Mm -hmm. And then the other side, I'm going to cut on the eight inch. So we're cutting it smaller on a smaller arc. Yes. But with your seam allowance still, yeah. But that includes your seam allowance, so you're yeah. working this way in mm -hmm. order to get that seam allowance. Okay, so that gets you your two different pieces. Right. So from that, you are using this piece mm -hmm. and this piece, yes. which don't look like they go together, no. but you've got to remember that that arc has got a seam allowance and that curve has also yes, got a seam exactly. allowance. Yes, exactly. So they will join together. The only problem with that is that you then got this amount of waste. And do they here. not? They can't. No, because they go the opposite way, don't they? So they can't. They join don't. Together. They can't join no. together. But you could use that piece. But again. you could use that for something. Yes, and yeah. maybe you could use that for something. I'll just put that there. Or. But that. But like in all likelihood. Yes, but but that piece is a worthy piece, worthy piece yeah. to keep there. Yeah. Uh, and then to join these together, and my next show I'm going to be doing curves, so we'll yes. cover off mostly how to cover curves. But you would just um, you'd mark a center point. You'd finger press, mark a center point. Yeah and join them together. Yeah. Uh, but it's something I saw... So, so that's on the instructions? How that's you on the instructions. Like but I saw something online. Oh, yes. As you do, uh, for cutting out to get less wastage. So the same thing. Same thing, but creating less wastage. So we'll cut this one here. I've got two of exactly the same size okay. this time. So here we're cutting on the six-inch line. No, I'm not cutting on the nine-inch line. Sorry. The paper upside down. We're cutting on the nine inch. Right. And the background, we're going to uh, turn over onto the other side and we're going to cut. Oh, no, hold on. Sorry. Right. Cut that one on nine as well. Oh. Nine with a seam allowance because there's no, no folded. Yeah, it was. You know, when you write yourself notes yes. and then you think, then have I done that right? Notes, yes. no, I don't believe my notes. Right, so you've got two nine inch square and t t two nine inch on the, the, yep. the curve. Then we're going to turn this round and we're just going to cut off a half inch oh. on, on the legs. And I didn't bring a standard ruler with me. So we're just going to... You do, sorry, you're going to do what, sorry? I'm just going to steal this ruler. Right. I'm just going to cut off a half inch. Oh, off the length. I think you mean, yes, yes, off yes. Off the length of those. Oh, Cut clever. off half an inch there and half an inch here. It would have been easier with a square ruler, but I forgot to yeah, pick yeah. up the square ruler. So we're going to cut off both of those, which makes those smaller. Then we're going to recut this curve because this curve's not mathematically at the right point. Yes. So we're then going to cut on the other side of the ruler with the half inches. Yeah. And then we're going to line up these lines here with the quarter inch seam allowance on the left yeah. and on the right. And we're going to cut on, no, we're not doing that side. I'm really sorry. I've got it the wrong right. way around. Cut on that side and we're going to cut so on the So we're not eight. on the half, we're on the, we're we're on on the, the full whole. inch. So we've done right. everything on the full yeah. inch. Sorry, I've just made myself yeah. confused because I'd written the word half down. So we're going to just trim off this little bit here. And you don't have to worry about measuring because, it, because this fits exactly onto the two lines anyway. Yeah, because you've taken off yes, that little yes, half yes, inch. Yeah. And that just recuts oh. that curve. No. So we've started, we've had two six inch squares. Yes. We're cut on the nine inch arc. Yes. Of this excess bit, we've cut off half an inch on each of Off of each these. end, yeah. And then we've just re-trimmed on the eight inch line. And then, on the eight inch line. So yeah. the only difference is you just go to the smaller line. Yeah. So then that, that then creates those two pieces that you can join together. And then, then that becomes your wastage uh, for rather two. than yes, yes than what we had with Down the bit there. on the floor yeah. and then this other and piece. That. How brilliant is so that? So that uses a lot less. Uh, you have to watch YouTube to do that. Yeah, so you have to watch YouTube. And I did. I looked your that YouTube, up. This YouTube, not other yeah. people's YouTube, yeah. but oh, this YouTube. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so those are your circles. Right. Um, the set in circles, you um, you'd follow this kind of method here for working out your circles. Fine. But are we running short? Yes, we oh, are. My so let's, yeah, no, let's move on. That's Sorry. brilliant. But those are the, the set in circle instructions are all in your your in your little book. Of course the stock's gone, so it was worth it because it's um, just to see that right. Okay. okay. Yeah, shove that on there. Right, okay. So okay. next where are we going next then? Let's have a look at we've got the two wavy rulers. Right. Oh no, hexes, sorry. But do whatever you right? want. Whatever you want to do. We'll you go, go hexes. We'll go hexes that's on next. top. Yeah, you go next. That's on top. So for your hexagonal trim tool, which is this one here. This one you can use to create hexagons. Just straightforward. So cutting hexagonal shapes 
for a two, four, six and eight inch okay. finished sizes. Okay, I don't know how you've done that. So in order to create those, you cut yourself a strip of fabric. So from here, you've cut a four and a half inch strip. Which, what size are you making now, sorry? For a four inch right, finished. Okay. So from your four inch, um, so a four inch finish, which is this size here, yeah. uh, you cut a four and a half inch strip. Right. And then you place your, Believe me. No, 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 no. I'm just. Are you say, calling four in because we have this no, so ongoing? So it's not like EPP. Yes, we have this ongoing thing because on EPP you measure there, don't you? Yes. That would be a two and five, five eight. But you're measuring from flat to flat, are you? Yes. Four and a half flat. That measures to, across. So yeah. So when you say when we're saying four and a half, we're ca calling it from there to there because when. Um, Denise Schmidt does hers. She measures from Diagonal, here to here. Right, okay. And then, but when EPP... EPP is on the short edge. So that's why there's so yes, much confusion. Yeah, that's a really good thing to clarify, no, clarify for people so they yeah. know. Okay. Uh, so you cut your strip a half inch wider than your finished size. Right. So for a four inch, you cut at four and a half inch strip. So you can cut a width of fabric strip from your fabric. And then you use your rotating cutting mat. Oh. So that makes life easier. Rotating cutting mat, big one. Uh, you place, you've got um, your heavy dark lines yeah. on these. So I'll show you on here. You've got your heavy dark lines. So you're placing, if a two inch, you'd place on a two and a half inch strip on those two. Yeah. And now I'm using these two here to right. go on a four and a half inch mm -hmm. strip. And you've got your six so this eight. is just, this is not a trim, not using this as a trim tool, using this as an actual yeah. ruler to make hexes with. To make hexagon shapes with. Okay, there's a rotating cutting mat, 1999, 13 inch square, notions. So you can just use that to swivel your fabric. And then the two sides that I've already cut, you line up against oh, those two lines. Yes. And so this is great for fussy cutting. So if you are yes. looking to incorporate a hexagonal shape, you can look through the ruler. So you don't have to necessarily cut from your no, strips no, no, no. in order to create those. Fantastic. Okay. What you can also do is use it to create Pieced it, this ruler comes with it with an instructions manual yes, as well. Like the yeah, all, your, instru all yeah. your instructions are yeah. in here that show you how to create a ton of different bits Brilliant. and pieces. Yeah. Uh, so also from this tool, you can create pieced hexagons. So you have got uh, three different versions. You've got one here that's got the two inch middle, one that's got a four inch middle, and one that's got a six inch middle. So you cut the middle one like you just did from your strip of fabric. Yes, you start off with that. Um, piece in the middle. Right. So I've done this one sample in the blue. So I've got the two inch in the middle. So that, did that start then, as a hexi then? Yes, yeah, so that started as a hexagon in the middle. Right. And then from there, I've pieced on, let's turn it upside down. Oh, right. So right, I've right. pieced on those Straight three. Straight pieces. Yes, they're one and three quarter inch they, wide or something. That's yeah, all in there. Yeah. So I've pieced these ones on first and then I've gone the dark. So I've right. done light then. Is dark. this the same as pineapple? It's along those lines. Along the lines, right, yeah, right, right. Along okay. those lines. Okay. So when you've pieced that first section on, you've pressed those out as you go. You can then take your ruler and then you um, place that on top. So there's a white hexi in the middle. Yes, so that tells you round one. So right. again, I'm going to move it across to one side if that's all right. And yeah, I'll yeah, show yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. So it just says here, I'll turn it round as well. Yeah. So this white one here says round one yep. next to it. And then when you get to the next round, there's a dotted line for round uh, two. And a right, okay. So three. it tells you, tells you everything So it tells you what to do. So I'm placing that on top and you can place that white line on the middle. And then you've got a series of other um, dotted lines that you can use to, to measure and place. With your seams and things like yeah, that. Yeah, with your seams. Let's use a larger one. And then you can trim off two sides and then you can follow it round, and then you're going to cut the next two sides. Still using round one? Still using round, uh, yes, round one. Yeah. So I've cut those two sides, so now I know I can place those against these lines, and I'm going to try and center up here, measure up against So each bit lines. cuts off different, it's cutting we off... We cut off two sides at a time yeah. for this round. It's only in the final round when you use all of them. So you cut those two sides off. Yeah. And then we'll do the final two, which we're around. Well, apparently here. the camera upstairs is going mad. I'm too busy oh, looking it? at this. Oh, yeah. Sorry, am I moving too fast? No, 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 no. Just the tell upstairs me to slow camera's down if just I'm... got a life of its own. So what this does allow is that if you're not quite so accurate with your sewing, 
you can kind of so each time you up. trim it you trim it to accuracy to absolute accuracy so if you've done a, a little bit of wobbly sewing it works itself out as oh, you go no. so and that's, then and then you just get strips and sew more strips on there would you yep. on each of those five so oh. then you can do the next round so yes. then i've sewn on three more lights and three more darks yep. so this then becomes round two so you're placing round two in the middle which now, is the dotted line which is the dotted line and then you do the same thing you trim off two sides at a time so one two wow. and then rotate it round and do the next two again line that bit up in the middle line up the two sides that you've already trimmed one two and then the last two. Look how neat that is. It is though. really neat and tidy because, like I say, if you've sewn a little bit wibbly, yes. it just trims it up as you go along. Mm. Uh, so uh, Sue says, Morning, John, just received my order of treasures. Thank you to Jenny who left me a greeting message on the packing label. It made me smile. Oh, I, I it's do lovely love those. the way they do that. I isn't do it? love them. So that's your next round oh. done. And of course, you can use these as this size if you prefer. Yes, yes, you can yes, incorporate yes. those. And then this is the largest size that you can create. So again, I've done that third round of light and dark. And it tells you on the instructions how big to cut those pieces and yes, how wide to cut those pieces. It does, but like if that. you actually cut them a little bit wider, so if you're using scraps, because you're trimming at each stage. As long as they're big enough. As long yeah. as they're at least that size, yeah, yeah. then you're okay. So now we're on round three. So we're now on round three. We place that hexagon in the Oh, it's the whole the hexi now. It's the whole thing. So now you can go round on all six sides where we find out whether the blade is it's very satisfying oh, it is it is really satisfying there you go ready wow and how brilliant is that and it's nice and exact and you know that that final hexagon shape is exactly right yes. shape exactly the right size now has this got a quarter inch seam allowance Yes, it does. It. Yes, so you can see on the ruler. Um, oh, wreck the joint. I've got it upside down. Oh, so yes, it tells yes, you yes, here yes. it does have that quarter inch seam So if you come to join included. it to other, you've got one. Yes, or this one. Yep, you've got quarter. So if you wanted that, to join that to that, that's your quarter inch seam allowance. That's already included. Oh, now, what brilliant. the ruler also allows you to do is oh, to more? cut. Well, if you've got all your hexagons and you've got them here and they're on the edge of something, you've got this shape that you need to fill in. Oh, yes, so the, yes, the half hexes. also has the half hexes as well. And then there's also these little um, here on this shape, might be easier to look on the instructions, uh, a little um, So what we're saying is it, it shows you how to do that perfect yes. shape to fit in there because obviously you want your edge of your quilt if you want it to be straight to you've be got straight. all of those around the outside to tessellate haven't you yeah. so it shows you rather than just making two and cut because it wouldn't work if you made one and no, cut it in half, it half that wouldn't that. work and wouldn't. the same thing with the other little ones as well so if you have <clears> these orientated a different way oh you need triangles a different shape triangle that needs to fit in there how brilliant well, that would be the well it would be the bottom yes, bit of that kind would be, of yes that bit <gasps> snipped off so, so it's done everything. You, yeah, so it does everything for you. That is fantastic. £24.99. pence. I love that one. Yeah, it's, it's really great. I like it. And I like the fact that, so for this one that I was showing you when I was trimming, I started off with the, with the smallest hexi, but this one starts with the four yes. inch, and then this one starts with the oh, six inch. Oh, so you inch. don't have to do as many rounds No, so as you, you could just start with a six inch middle cut right, out. Right, so that would then be round. How would you, how do you, because you obviously haven't got the middle hexy to put the, the yeah the that's, a, that's a really good question so uh you just use there's lots and lots of little dotted lines on here oh, so you yeah, just, just use, use those dotted size. lines you can see here there's yeah. dotted lines that goes across the top of that hexy how brilliant like yeah these are absolutely flying out you're loving this one i'm not surprised because it's just fantastic yeah i really like it and um, of course, the, you know, something I've just noticed on here that I've not mentioned is that I've done these in rounds, but you could do them in a continuous round. So if you look on here, oh, like a spiral, gone like a spiral round the outside, rather than doing the three yes, dark yeah. and then the three light, they've just gone continually round wow. in a log cabin kind of style. Yes, fantastic. It's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, that is brilliant. It's a good Thank one. Thank you. That's all right. So is that all that one does? Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all it does. Half the stock of that one's gone. Right, so what are we moving on to okay, now? Okay, let's have a look at, we'll look at the wavy rollers. You're working you so hard this hour. Oh, I know, I know. And I, was, I said to a friend, I said, I did a load of work and I'd done X number of hours. And I looked up and went, 
how does that many hours work look like I've done nothing? Yes. Because <laughs> I've just cut out loads yes, of circles yes. and oh. whatever. Right, so we've got wave rulers. Uh, we've got, now we've got, the, that's the two inch. That one's the two inch, but I also have... Okay, are that you going to person. demonstrate them individually or going to put them both in at the same well, time? Well, I will talk about them in conjunction with each other. Okay, because they, okay. three got... is the main graphic, two is the small graphic, just so you know. So, so you, as we mention them, you're better just order them. The three inch one is there, the £22.50, and the two inch one's down there, £20.99. Right, so right. let me just tidy up a bit here because I'm losing... You've got an awful lot of stickers. Did you do different coloured stickers for each one? I started off and then gave up, yeah. just went our stickers. Right, so wave tool. Um, the wave tool is great. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> nearly lost my shirt. I got caught on the plug. <laughs> <laughs> nearly lost my shirt. <laughs> that would have been all. And we were joking because there's our changing room is full of quilts. Yes. And we were joking about, oh, I'm going to have to get changed on air. No. Nearly did. It won't be full of quilts. It, we're just having new shelving in the storage room. So I was saying, they say, where are all the quilts? Where are the quilts? We've got two dressing rooms, one for the presenters, and one which for the would, you'd be in normally when you were presenting, <laughs> and one for the guests, right? And the guests one, you open the door like this. Full of quilts. Like that, and it's I'll full take a picture and I'll put it online later yeah. of all the quilts. Yes. Right. right, so the um, the border tool, well, they call it a wavy border ruler, but you can use it for so much more than just the borders. The difference between the two is the distance between the curves. So you've got... Um, like the crest of the curve is higher. Yes. There's three inches from there to there, and that one's two inches from there to there. Is that um, right? No, I think it's oh. the height. Oh, oh, okay. Is it the height? Because okay. that's more than three inches. Yeah, it does look more... Uh, oh, I didn't really think that through. Right, hang on. Where's... where's... <laughs> the complete wave is six inches, so it's half the wave. Oh, it's the half the wave. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. maybe Chris should come down yeah, here. Yeah, come on, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, so this one is gentler, so the three inch is a gentler curve yes. and the two inch is, is much tighter. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can use them to create borders. So I, what I've got is a, a, a faux quilt, I didn't actually make the quilt. No. Um, but you can use it just to create So, so are we pretending this is a little quilt and it's, and it's a, a sandwich, we've, got, we've quilted it yes, so and, I, then, and then you're coming to do the yeah, edge. You can't quite see but I've drawn a line all the way around the outside right. and you um, you place your ruler, so it's a, like a one and a half inch from the raw edge, mm -hmm. and then you can place, you've got a dotted line along here, right, and you can place right, right. that on. So you start off with a square, a squared off edge. Yes, a squared off edge, and yeah. you start off with, Perfect. and you cut and move your ruler along. Right. So this is, um, this is the effect that you will end up with if you have got an irregular shape, if you like, or one that isn't, the measurement isn't equally divisible by two. Right, yes, of so, course, of course. Because of course, you course, might yes. not have something that's divisible either by two or by three. Yes, yes. So that's where you will get a, an unusual Cor design on yes. the corner. Yeah. And you can use bias binding on the edges or you can self-face the quilt. Yes. A little bit more tricky, but it, I think you would end up using bias binding. Mm. If, however, you were looking to do a curved edge, you would need something that's either divisible by two or divisible by three. Right, okay, so you can only do this if you, if you're, so, so in which bit has to be divisible by two or three, this line here. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because, so, because you, you, so this one you do on anything that's, because you're, the quilt you're doing later is something like 67 by 91 or something like that. Yeah, that's You'd have difficult. to do this. Yes. But if you did a 48 by 48, then yeah. you could do this one because it's yeah. the, uh, but, the two, but with the two, two inch and Unless then 39 by, by 39 would be the three inch or yeah. something. So yeah. as long as it's divisible yeah. either by got two it, or got by it, got three. It. Uh, and to do that, you then, you find your center line and you can use it to, to cut across. Yes. And then when you get to, um, let's figure out how I'm going to show this on this side. Uh, so here I've placed the ruler and I've cut along here right. and I've cut round the corner for the curve right. so that when I come to this side I can then place the ruler on a similar part oh, of yes, the curve. Oh yes because you've already done the main part of the curve. You've already yes. done that main part. Do you need the little one or the big one? I'll use the little one because that's the little one's easier to go round yes. the little curves. So again you can follow those lines to create those curves right. and then you can use that to then go on the end oh yes because so right okay so what you don't do is carry on with this one to the end on. when you get near near three inches from the end you need to move your ruler right the way along to get that end because if you carried on with this 
I was thinking, how if you carried on with that, you'd end up with a well, weird. But you could still trim that off because this goes round. And is that the same round as that? Yes, that's oh, okay, same, that's the right. Same then. Curve. So, okay. so it wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. So you would just line that up, and you've got a little here, a little. Um, a little here. A little here, a little square in the corner. Oh, to square up with your corner. To, to make sure oh, that you're square. How brilliant! And then you follow that round. They really do think of everything when they're they do these so kids clever, kids, don't so they? so clever. Yeah. So I'll just snip that yeah. off there, so then you can see how that curve comes. Because this is the one the where, if you use dinner plates, or if you use, you can never, ever, ever get the corner ones. Yeah, I did watch a tutorial online about how to create a curve, oh, and just it really hurt my head about yes. if you get your plate and you work this out, and it just became very much yes, quill yes. maths. But or, or you get to the final and corner and it doesn't, and work, it doesn't and work. Yeah, yeah, very much geometry based. And also, very it's tricky. the last thing you do. You've done all your piecing, you've done all your quilting, you've done oh. everything like that. It's the last thing you're going to do. And if then, if one corner doesn't yeah, work, then you're scuppered, yeah. absolutely scuppered. Right. right. So how, that's how doing, are we doing that's for doing... time? No, don't oh, keep going, keep going, you're right. Keep going. Right, okay, so what you can do is if you can If we have to go take... over, we can go we'll over just keep going, just keep going. Just keep going, yeah. Okay, so you can use the, um, the same curve line to cut from uh, standard pieces of fabric in order to create uh, wavy lines. So you can use these, you could, um, you could bond a web a piece of fabric, and then you could just cut loads and loads of curves that you could then use to applique. Yeah. Lots of different widths by just moving your ruler. We've done, we've done a cushion using this ruler with Jane Alcock. Oh, what, the very first job that Jane Alcock did. Oh, was it? She, she just, uh, yes. Oh, well, there you go. So you can watch Jane's demo. Yeah, and they were just applique, they're just applique on you. Yeah, which I is I think fab. what she did was she actually bagged out, I think she cut two, Bag them out, and then it's a bit. It, it was from a, a, a curvy book. So, oh, right, so basically, okay. she's got two exactly the same. Stitch around there, turn them through, and press them. And then when we when we she attached into the cushion, she attached here. So this was. Oh right, that okay, was you had a nice effect. Thing, yes, exactly. Oh, that's yeah, quite a nice yeah, effect as yeah. well. So you can use those for applique, or what you can do is you cut them slightly larger, and you can piece them. So if you're feeling more confident with your piecing techniques. I would choose the, th the three inch. Yes. The two inch, I think, would drive you slightly batty. Yeah. So that's, that's that the three inch? No, that? that's the two oh, inch. Oh, that drives you batty. It was, it was tricky. Do you I cut would... them exactly the same size and they fit together? Um, so what you can do is you can overlap. So you get your fabrics and I would place the two fabrics. You'd measure it. Fabric everywhere. Yeah. So I would overlap the two. And you would place that. Where, wherever you, however deep you want or however big you want. These are the two pieces that are effectively this and this. Right. And what we're cutting here, this part here of this lighter fabric will be the waist. Right. So, oh, yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see, that's right, yeah. So again, this is where you need a smaller yeah. blade. And I'm just gonna cut. So from that, you get, oh, oh yes, yeah. you get your two pieces. These are the two little bits of, that are wastage. Right, got it. But here, Base. your two pieces of fabric are cut on exactly the same curve at exactly the same point, so by overlapping them. What I would do is I would then just put in some marking notches so, that, yeah. so, that you, can, so you can match those up. This one was the two inch, and I found that quite difficult. Okay. So if you're planning on doing something like this, personally, I would choose yeah. something like the three, three inch wave. Okay. But that makes a really lovely effect. No, and then I thought with the blues, how nice to create again on an applique type thought is creating lots of different waves, things like your off cuts. Oh, I'm thinking fuse them at now. Yeah, that would look absolutely fab. Because you can use your build up your build, design. Because you, you've built up, you've got lots and lots of different sizes. You just let overlaid them and put them in. So that one's a separate one. So you've just cut different sized um, strips. Some double sided, some one sided, and just place them on top of on each top. other, and then you'd bond web those all together. Yeah, yeah, and you could use a combination of the two and the three inch to give different yes. effects. Imagine that in a load of different greens yeah. oh, no, to make you, a mm. hillside. But, the, but then that looks like, um, you know, Nicholas Ball's improv quilt sometimes. Oh, I really want that book. Oh, it's, it's back, coming back in soon. Oh, is it? Um, but, but yeah, things like that would look amazing. It would like look that, brilliant. And a sea scene or yes. with Japanese fabrics. Because yeah. oh, you could gorgeous. just cut loads and loads of your favourite fabrics and yeah. then just play in a big area, just plonking them all down and everything. It would look you? amazing. Yeah. It would look amazing. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so that is your curvy rulers. Uh, Maggie says, brilliant demo from Victoria. Thank I've you. had a hexi ruler for ages but never used it. Oh, well, there you I go. Will. Thank you, Maggie from Scotland. Oh, thanks, Maggie. Oh, yes, do use it. It's fab. I really oh, like it. Gerardine. Hello, Victoria. <laughs> oh, John, no. I just got number 34 Creative <laughs> Grid. 
I'm doing a curved edge now on a Mandy Shaw pattern. This will make it so much easier. Lots of love and hugs from Gerardine. Oh, Gerardine. I know. I, I think I sold her number 13, so she's gone on for Oh, the, right. Oh, okay. Been a, what, you know. Fab. Right. Right. Now is your kite. Oh, it's not called kite. I know. It's your starburst. Yes. So, starburst. Um, 30 degree uh, triangle, right. let's call it. So, we have on here, this one will create, you can create triangles from it. Yep. So, the triangles that you can create range, and again, you've got lots of little oh. increments. <laughs> well, now, hang on, that's not a triangle. But when you piece it, it will be. Oh, of course. Because, of course, we've, we've created the grids, they've got the seam allowance, yep. and they've taken off your dog ears for you. Yeah. So, this is a small selection of the different sizes that you can cut right. from that ruler. <gasps> but you've got lots of different increments in between. Yes. So, but from those, oh, hold on. Great for, you might want to create borders or blocks. Oh, yes. So they can be joined together in all sorts of ways. Mm -hmm. Rocket ship, Chris is saying. Oh, rocket ship, oh, I've got that one the wrong way around. But you can create, you know, make a complete block or just continue Or just a on. border. If you're doing a three inch border or something, just sew loads and loads and loads yeah. together to make yeah, a strip. Yeah, and these pretty, I mean, you can cut them from strips or you can cut them from your scraps from other projects. Yes. So you've got lots of different options. Brilliant. For something like that. What you can also do is you can use, there's a series of diagonal lines. You've got A1, A2, um, B1, B2, and C1, C2. You can use those in different ways. The A1s and the A's and B's are diagonal lines, and then they will allow you to create what they have called a spinning star, which is gorgeous, absolutely amazing effect. Yes. So what this does is that this is each individual block here. So you, you make that from a pieced fabric, and I've got that, and I'll show you how I trim okay. that. If we've got, you've got plenty of time, we've got but time. not plenty. We've got time. You know, yeah. and sufficient, yes, because yes. this is the last ruler. Yeah. So this will create this spinning star you've got two different lines on your um on your ruler so that you can make a little spinning star right so you can have uh, a little star in the okay. middle what this does is this creates a 12 inch finished block right so once you've got to this stage you would take your um your stripology square you're going to cut that down no oh. <laughs> i can't bear it i can't bear it because it's so pretty but you would place something like your stripology squared on top and trim that on the 12 and a half inch because line. you want to make a square block because you want to add it yeah. in but i thought that just looked absolutely stunning and you could just applique that onto yes. another piece of fabric and it looks incredible can you do if you want to can you do you know you said there's a little one there yeah can you do three fabrics so you'd have that little star in the middle oh, yeah. or uh, no you can't, so you'd have no. to make it, make one and, and applique it into the middle. Yes, maybe. I think so, because the way that you piece the fabrics, oh, you might. I think you'd have to just work out a bit okay, of maths okay. on that. Because the way that you cut that out is that you've got your pieced fabric yep. here, and you does it, choose... Now, does it tell you how big to make these? Yes, thing? for either the large star or the small star. Oh, but not... But it, the thing is, if you could do both, they would have... Uh, they, 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 Geraldine, no, Geraldine. No, <laughs> well, done. Geraldine, probably. Um, Rachel, the ruler, would have told you that you could do it both. But, you know, I, I think you could. OK. I think you could. So, um, for your... Um, your small one I've placed on the B2 line and the difference between A and B is the angle that it's facing. Right. So okay. it's either going round clockwise or anti-clockwise. Right. So just decide which but way you, you want to go. But you cut them all the, are all the same? The, the, the two strips that you're joining together, the same. Yeah. Uh, no, different for the small than for the large. The proportion no, no, between what I'm the saying fabrics. Is you're about to cut out 10 of these or how many of these. Oh. Do they all go the same exact as image? Depending on the effect that you want. So you could mirror image each of those. Oh, and, and make them stars like in the middle. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. So you've got, you have always got options with creative grids. Uh, there's nothing there, Chris. No. Again, I should have put this on my rotating cutting mat. Oh. This is where a rotating cutting mat is really, really Oh, useful. sorry. Oh, no, no, I just forgot to ask you to pass it. Uh, just read those two out for me, Christopher, very quickly. Imelda says, lovely Victoria's demo. Thank you. Clear and concise. And, and makes me feel I could do it. Thank oh, you very yeah, much you indeed. Oh, yeah, you can. Definitely, you That's can. That's Imelda in North Yorkshire. Oh, thank you. And Tricia says, morning, John and Victoria. I've had a wavy ruler looking at me for ages, <laughs> and now I know what to do with oh, it. Oh, there you go. Oh, which Trisha... Trisha in Bradfordshire. Thank Fair. you, Trisha. Oh, good. good right. So oh, here, okay. that's, that's how much smaller the, yes. the little one is. So actually, if you were really clever, you could probably piece three different fabrics yes. yeah. in one to try and, and just use, you'd only, you wouldn't have to 
be exact on that line, yep. you could just do a little one and just use that as your cutting line. Yeah. Oh, that yes, 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 so yes, 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 yes. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, because it's going to be parallel to that anyway, isn't yes. it? So it's just going to be the same on all yeah. of them. Yeah. Um, okay, so what's this called? So this is your spinning star. Right. From this, you can also create what do they call it? A dodeca dodecagon block. So Apartment. this is where oh, it's the same that effect. Big sunflower. But I know, look, I know. Again, I couldn't trim it. No. I couldn't trim it. So this uses the same ruler. Oh, but ruler. why would you want to trim that? I know. I know you couldn't, could you? Yeah. But that uses line C1 on here. So that's got a flat top rather than the oh, angled top. Yeah, 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 so yeah. you do the same thing. You piece two strips of fabric and use line C1. So in a theory, that, that would be a 12 inch block. With oh. a kind of so, a kind of do is that a dodecahedron? Do you say yeah. like is that ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. Dodecahedron. Dodec is yeah. So it'd be like be like a fifty pence piece. Yeah. In the middle of a square, but yeah. then how gorgeous is I that? I know, I know. And has that got quarter inch seam allowance on so there? So yes, these have all got the quarter inch seam allowance. So you could on. either just a applique it down flat or if you want to needle, needle turn you it needle you could turn. just turn the edge yeah or you could use freezer paper as templates as well freezer paper is always really useful for doing things like that but yes the outside edges and this edges they've both got quarter of an inch seam allowance how brilliant or They're you gorgeous. do you know you square off to mm -hmm. make a rectangular block but i think that's really beautiful as well no i do as well and, but that's the that's the versatility that whilst the instructions are always really great with creative grids, there are other things that surprise yes. you as you go along. Yeah, and you exactly. think, oh wow, I had no idea I could do that. So that one's that one's called that's called the 30 degree triangular ruler, 24 pounds and 99 pence. So that does your starburst and your dodecagon. Uh, do -de -do -de and also all of those. And all your triangles. So, as well. so when you sew those together, they will become triangles. They will have points because this yes. is your seam allowance on yes. here. Yes, yeah, in the same way that these become. Yes, yeah. Pointy-ish. Well, you've done it. I've done and it. And you've got a minute left over. Oh. So if you could do a song and dance, that would be nice. Okay, I've got to do the stock and everything like that. Okay. So that's brilliant. Now, no, we'll no see problem. you in an hour. Curves. Oh, we're going to stay on this one. Oh, oh we're not going. They've right, cleared okay. it. We're going to stay here. We're going to stay. So, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Ruler-wise. So. Ruler. There's one. Right. The starburst one, this, which is this one, a third of the stock of those have gone already. Right. And there's loads and loads in baskets. Hexy one. Been the most popular one. Fewer than 20 of those now. Twenty-four. They're sorry. 19 available, 14 in baskets. And that's only if you bought one each, right? Brilliant. Then I've got curvy three inch. I'm oh, sorry, poor old Chris is having nightmares with the graphics upstairs. £22.50, that's the curvy three inch. Quarter of the stock of that one has gone. And that's also really nice for marking quilt lines. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, I, I tell you, because um, Louisa, her, her, she does like tree bark, you know, thing like oh, that. Yeah. But if you wanted a more formal version of that, would yeah. be good, wouldn't it? Then I've got the two inch one, 20 99 Quarter of the stock of that one's gone. And then last but not least, the non slip circle savvy ruler, which I've not seen before. Half the stock, at least half the stock of that one's gone. Just check it now as the graphics come in, £37.50. Loads in baskets. You've got that one in your baskets. Please, please, please be careful. Right, so I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to show, finish the show here. Uh, we're doing oh, it's, no, uh, that quilt in an hour's time. But next, we're doing this one with Anna from Alice Caroline. We will see you in three from now. Sewing Quarter oh. is the UK's first TV channel dedicated to sewing and quilting. On air and behind the scenes, our team of top industry experts work hard to bring you tons of exciting projects. Whether you're into dressmaking, bag making, piecing, patchworking or quilting, you'll learn something new every day from our talented guest designers and fabulous presenters. Our online shop is packed with tools, haberdashery essentials and fabulous fabrics, from simple solids to designer gems. And with our 30-day money-back guarantee and single daily postage charge, you can shop with confidence. So tune in daily on Freeview Channel 73, Sky Channel 687, or, and shop online at sewingquarter.com. Did you know Sewing Quarter have our very own app? Available to download on all iOS and Android devices. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play and search Sewing Quarter. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll be able to watch Sewing Quarter 24 hours a day and purchase all of the products featured on today's show. 
So download the app today and keep watching Sound Quarter on the move. Introducing box two of Sewn Quarter's exclusive Aurifil thread collection, the Vintage Collection. This collection of vintage shades and subtle hues has been handpicked by our team of designers at Sewing Quarter. They are sure to complement your collection of fabrics and enhance any quilting project. A must-have thread set for all serious quilters. Head to the Sewing Quarter website to shop now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. In the run-up to our second instalment of Christmas in July, we have a few non-Christmassy treats for you. On Monday the 22nd of July, Fiona Hesford is sharing her tips and tricks for making our new and exclusive carpet bag. Fiona will also be sharing her expertise for making her brand new tunic design. Anna Alicia is with us on Tuesday with her new book, Bags, so 18 stylish bags for every occasion. Then on Wednesday, Debbie Shaw is back with her hints and tips for window dressing from a half yard sewing book, as well as a technique based show on skills like piping and zip insertion for your soft furnishing mates. Catch all of this from Monday the 22nd to Wednesday the 24th of July on Freeview Channel 73, Sky Channel 687, or online at www.sewingquarter.com. I've had so many people messaging me about this quilt. When's the next bit, when's the next bit coming? When's the next bit coming? Well, it's here, it's here now. If you don't know what I'm talking about, have a look at this, right? Isn't it just fabulous? It's Alice Caroline using Liberty Prints Dresden Plate. Now, it must have a gorgeous name to it, surely. Over the Rainbow, Over the Rainbow of course, is. I knew it was something gorgeous like that. So now, uh, uh, about a month ago, you were able to buy block one, two, and three, which is the top row. It was the 18th of May. Two months ago. Why haven't you been here for two months? Have you had a holiday? Anyway. <laughs> Uh, the, so the first three blocks were available two months ago. Now the second row I'm doing today. Now don't work it, there you go, this is the second row, right? So that's block four. The green one is block five. And then the turquoise one is block six. So we're doing, now they are available individually or you can buy them as a set of three. I also have the same three, the first three as well. Do we know what date we're doing the last three? 14th of September. There we go. So you can complete this on the 4th. That's not a month. That's two months away. Somebody's having I summer holidays. Holiday. I am going on holiday, she says. Right, okay, 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 okay. So block number four is this one. Yep, this is block number four. So it's called Mitzi Yellow. It's the binding, the, the bit that goes around the outside. That's what it's named after. All Liberty Fabrics, £29.99. The finished quilt is 90, not finished quilt, the finished, finished block is 19 inch square. And this one will make you block number four, which was the yellow. Oh, you can show that first, sorry. There's the, but that's what you get for your 29.99. And that will make that one. Now, the thing is, if you don't want to make a quilt, if you like these as cushions, you can just buy that one block. Now, there's no backing fabric. You have to get your own back. How mad, mad lovely getting a, a metre of Liberty fabric and doing the backing fabric on there. So it's enough for the front, the cream, for the binding, the cornerstones and the Dresden plate. They're all in there. That will make that one. That's block number four. Now, can I tell you something? Very, I didn't do the first one of these. When we did the snowflake one, I did all three of them. When we did the snowflake and we did w the first section, one of them, one of the blocks, flew out more than all the others, right? One went, when they did this show last time, right, two months ago, all of them sold exactly the same amount. So, anyway, I just thought it was interesting. But you can buy them if you want, as individually. You don't have to make them into a quilt. You can make them into a, a wall hanging, into cushions. If you want a few scattered around your bedroom, three exactly. You can buy, if you want to buy three of those, you can buy three of those. It's not a problem, do you know what I mean? And also, we're going to guarantee, aren't we, that if you come, when we come to the last 
stage, we'll make sure that if you haven't watched any others, that there suddenly won't be, number one won't be out of stock, and number four, we're going to make sure, aren't we, the whole time, if you want to buy the whole quilt, you'll be able to. Right, so this is number five, and well, that's number six. This is number five, and this one's called uh, Mitzi in Green, I believe. Oh yeah, there you go, Mitzi Green, there you go. So that will make that one in the middle there. What you'll get is, it's all, oh now, I need to tell you, it's EPP, the Dresden plate in the middle is EPP, uh, and then you obviously the, which all hand sewn, then the border around the outside, you do machine sew that. We're going to show some hand quilting, that one's been fancy doodly quilting, isn't it, but we're going to show you some hand quilting on this one. And then the set, there's a circle in the middle in, in, in there now, the circle in the middle is in there. So now, as you can see, there are sashing between each of the blocks. That will come, and the binding, that will come in the last instalment, won't it? That's called comes in last. But you don't have to have that if you don't want to. But it looks really lovely, doesn't it? Because it makes the colours pop. Right, so that's your green one, your green Mitzi. That's number five. Number five. And then this one here is number six. So this one is Mitzi. Is it, no, Bet Betty. Betsy. I think it's Betsy, isn't it? Betsy in turquoise. There you go. That, that's block six. That will make that one. Now, I'm presuming you can place the colours wherever you want to place them within that block. You do Because they've done it like rainbow. Look, they've gone from yellow through the pinks to the red to the blue through to the green. You can place those petals wherever you want to place them. All that is a definite is that the border is definitely Betsy in turquoise and your cornerstones will be those red cornerstones. The rest of it, you can, you'll get all those fabrics. We'll show you when we open it, but you can put them wherever you want to put them. £29.99. There you go. Now they're all Liberty Lawn, beautiful tarn lawn, and then the background is the quilting weight cotton in a cream, lovely cream colour. So that's block number six. Now, would you like to buy, rather than just buy one of each, would you like to buy all three of those? The bundle of all three. Now, just in case if you're thinking, oh, I've bought one, I've bought them now, and I'll they're the same money. It's the same money. It's not like any cheaper to buy three together. It's just easier because it's just one code, isn't it? 89 97 if you want to buy all three together. Four, five, and six. The centre line, remember, they're the centre three that you're, I'm offering there. The centre three. There they are. That's all three of them there. £89.97. Right, let's do, I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll do, I'll, I'll put the two, do one, two and three now. Then we can just get on with the same when I go over there. So this is the one that was done two months ago on May the 18th. This one's open. This one's a bit messy. She obviously opened this one, which is ever So this one here is called, it's number one. Kit number one. Hang on, graphics coming in. So that one's called Wiltshire. Oh, I love the Wiltshire. Oh, it's not behind me, it's behind you. Oh, I love that Wiltshire. Alistair uses that Wiltshire a lot, doesn't he? Alistair, uh, Alistair House of Alice uses that one. Uh, so that one there is called the um, Wiltshire Red, block number one. And that's above Anna's head there. Just bob your head down, Anna. There you go. That's that one there. Beautiful. Block two is this one here. Now this is, uh, is that Cosmo? Oh, it's Betsy. I always thought that, that fabric was called, is, they do a Cosmo, don't they, or Cosmos? Yeah. I thought so that was Cosmos. Oh, okay. So, oh, this is a Betsy exclusive, this one. Uh, the pink one around the outside. And there's what? Gold bits in it. I'll talk about more of that when I go over in a minute. 29.99, that's that one. Oh, we've unpacked that one. Okay, and then last but not least, block three. This one's called Poppy and Daisy Orange. Is that right? Poppy and Daisy Orange. There you go, so that's block number three. Now, why have they not put the numbers on the first ones? Wow. Confusing. It's on the packet, it's on your packet, don't worry. You'll get the right one, you'll get the right one, don't worry. There it all is. And maybe you want to buy all three of those together, if you weren't watching before. All three of the top line. Block one, two, three, there they go. 89 pounds and 97 pence. Oh, different picture again for you though. 
So I was thinking, because Beck's had a holiday, different people have taken different pictures. But you get everything, don't worry, you will get everything you need. Right, so do I need to... I I'll, I'll don't need to bring anything with me, don't Beck. Okay? I'll leave my apple there. Hello, ages, darling. it's been ages. Hasn't yeah. it? I've seen you. You're watch on the telly, but I'm never on with you. I know. How are you? So I'm very good. I'm very good. You look well. Have you been on holiday already? No. No? Oh, you need one. I d I guess I do. Uh, no, no, you don't look like you need one. <laughs> I but, do look like But you got you, uh, your daughter finished school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Both of them. Oh, but I think yeah. I've got two. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. confused. And you've got festival quilts coming up as well. I know. It's exciting. Not the festival do you know your stall number yet? Tell me in your next hour. <laughs> so the first time. Yeah, the first time you did this on May the 18th, I think was the top row. Yep. Are you, oh, I can see Strawberry Thief on that one in the corners. Yeah, yeah, lovely. So today we're just concentrating on the middle three here. Yep. So now on that first show, you concentrated, we are going to touch on it, but you concentrated <laughs> on more on making the Dresden, didn't you? Yes. So what are we going to do today? Well, I've got a, I've got a sort of a semi-completed Dresden, so I just thought I'd run through a few of the quick techniques. Yeah, yeah yes, yes, please. Yeah. Right, so I did quite a lot of the... Um, the papers and how you prepare them in the last show. Yes, yeah, so you can watch that on YouTube. <coughs> Just go to YouTube. You can watch. Sewing quarter. Yeah. 18th of May. 18th, 18th, 18th of May. 18th, 18th of, May. of May. What hour was it? Can you remember? Oh, oh you're <laughs> rubbish, aren't you, at this? I think it was 9 and 11. Did you? Oh, yeah, not, it would have been 9 o'clock, wouldn't it? 9 o'clock. Yeah. 9 o'clock, yeah. So you can look at it on YouTube and watch the whole hour. And she gets boring, you can fast forward through it. Oh, it's really, it's good to fast forward yes, through me. Um, <laughs> uh, or you can just make a toy like. <laughs> you can do it like that as well. Um, so she's done most of this on Yes. She? And so if you want to go and have a look at, you know, the other techniques, because you, I'm going to use a glue pen today, yeah. but you can sew oh, it. Oh, did you cover other techniques? I covered on other that one. techniques. Oh, okay. So yeah, my, my preferred yeah. method is the glue pen because yes, it's really we know. super fast. I know, we know. Um, and we, you can multi-cut these as well. So let me just show you the rainbow. I was going to say, so you in, the, saying, in the packet, you get all of the fabrics. You get for all, all of the, the fabrics petals, yeah. for all of the yes. And there's a hundred. Every single one is different. So you get 144 different fabrics in the full quilt. Oh no, no. So if you buy number one, you get these. What number? What letter are we using? What? You'll need to go and get those ones because I think. Okay, so, I think this so is the Betsy all, all of block four are exactly the same. Yes. But what you're saying is if you buy the whole quilt, yeah, you get 144, 144 different, different Liberty fabrics. prints. And that's not that easy to come by. No, exactly, no. exactly. So every single fabric is different, which yeah. is which is lovely and it makes mm. them. And I know you're saying you can arrange them in the way that you want to, but we it's called over the rainbow quilt. It does look really cool in a rainbow, as you can see. Yeah. Um, and then you can arrange them, you know, We're when not, you finish it. Saying, I wasn't saying move one, two, three. What I was saying yeah, is you within can, there, yes. if you wanted that yellow one over there, yeah. you could, it's up to you. It's, it's entirely quilt, yeah. up to you, but they come in a rainbow. Yeah, so right. if you don't, so if you, <laughs> but it makes it easy for you to yeah. do the rainbow, so you don't have to go, oh, what, what, oh, what comes so after so orange? in the packet, yes, they, they come are in the, in the order that you recommend they put yes. together. Yeah, although, you know, you can swap out purples yeah, and blues, yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. you know. So anyway, so you can multi-cut these, so you can, oh, get, right, sorry. you can get three or four together and multi-cut them. Right. That's tip one. Okay, so how did you do, if you put a pile of three together, you just put your paper on and cut a quarter of an inch around yeah, the outside. Yeah, rotary cut around the outside, right, okay. really quick and easy. And then we're just going to very quickly show you just one of these. If you get cold, just say, because the aircon's gone really, it's really cold. It's jolly cold. cold isn't it? It's like being at the trade show I was at this week in the oh, freezing cold. cold. Oh, my Where God. were you? At Harrogate. Oh, because at Harrogate this week, there was... Um, home and Gifts. gifts. Uh, yeah. I was at Home and Gifts. Oh, were you? Because the hotel, because like, I got to, up to York to do oh, pavers, yeah. the whole hotel was filled with people who'd buying cards yeah. and gifts and yeah. things like that. yeah. Oh, and you were there. I was there. I had known. I should have come and seen yeah. You could have come to the uh, Ivy with me. Oh, really? Nice, I oh, know, lovely. So just quickly, you can also, if you just prefer to glue, you can glue down the sides, and then you can um, you can sew around the top half, oh, okay. around the top bit. I showed all this on the last show. Yeah, yeah, of course. But the gluing is easy, but the um, I just think the gluing gives a really sharp. It does, edge, but on those it? on these cool, on this um, curved edge, I think um, actually sewing is is. Is just as good. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it gives a quite a nice sort of gather. The gathering in gives a nice finish. Mm -hmm. If you watch the show on made the eighteen, eighteen. <laughs> You've got a Why is that block? About that. Why have I got a block of made eighteen? Wonder what I was doing on made eighteen. Oh, who knows? Not here with me. Well, I wasn't here. No. I was with Victoria actually. It was fun. Victoria Pete was here. Mm. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So then you get your two pieces, um, and then you. So we're putting them right sides together, but this is what you're ending up with. So you just need to make sure that these two edges and these edges 
a level. A level. I won't do too much of this. No, 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 but I was going to ask you, I'll let you start then, I'll ask you a question. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're just using a whip stitch. So you're starting from the point that it starts curving. Yes. And then we're just using a... Long piece of thread. It is a long piece of thread, because I'm hopeless at threading needles oh, on there. Oh, okay, you're terrified. My, no, I'm not terrified, it's just my eyesight's so appalling. Oh. <laughs> I've hit my mid-40s. <gasps> you haven't. I have. I have. God, I'm only 39. I, well, <laughs> yeah, the look of disbelief. <laughs> <and everything. laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. And actually, a, a, a tip is to, you can, you can anchor the thread at the top by tying a, another knot in it. Um, and that really does help because sometimes when you're EPPing, mm. the thread comes out. out and it's really frustrating. If, like me, you find it quite difficult to thread needles. I'm just going to get them now so we can see which one we're doing. Oh, no, I've picked the wrong one. Up. You're doing block far six. Yeah. If it's got that fabric in, that's six, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're, this is, yeah, that's the one. We, I'll, leave, I'll leave all three of the today's here. So you can see. Well, now, I've finished. also seen people doing EPP recently where they don't fold it over like you just have there. Yeah. They put them edge to edge. Yeah. And they whip across the top there. Do you ever do it like that? I don't do it like that, but, but there's no <clears> reason why you can't. No, okay. I don't do it like that. Well, this way you're just catching a couple of pieces of, yeah. a couple of threads of the fabric and Tarna Lawn is so, as you said, it's all Tarna Lawn. Yeah, beautiful. It's so, so fine, but yeah. it's really nice to EPP with. Oh, it was on the news last night that Liberty's been sold. Did you see it on the news last night? Oh, yeah. It wasn't you or Alice Caroline that bought it. Probably. 300 million. Gosh. And that wasn't for the whole thing, it was only for 40% of it. Oh, the store? Yeah, the, the whole company, the store oh. and everything. Gosh, who I didn't to? read the whole story. Who to, who to? Blue, I should know this. Blue Gel Investments or something mm. like that. Wow. Obviously, got, I, I can't guarantee that I've got any of that right. <laughs> All I know is I read that on my, when I logged in, it must have been last night, when I logged into my emails, you know, you get news like Yahoo News and everything comes yeah. at the beginning, and it was one of the things there saying Liberty sold for 300 million or something. Wow. Like that. Might not have even been 300 million, it might be a different figure, but I'm. Anyway, there's a lot of money. As you can see, I'm doing quite fine stitches. Yeah. Um, just that, that gives it a really secure finish at the end. Mm hmm. And you go, you work round in a, oh, I've got a knot. You work round. So did, do you sew one to two, two to three, three to four, or do you do lots of pairs and then join them together? No, you join them. You go round in a circle. Okay. So you've got like one, in theory, you've got one and two, though, whatever you're calling. Yeah. One and two there. Yeah, and then I'll sew that. We'll sew this one to, to here. that one, yeah. And <clears throat> you'll work round. And eventually you get a, you get a circle. Hopefully. And when you've got the... <laughs> <laughs> when you've got the papers in, it sort of puckers up slightly when you've got your finished circle, as in it, 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 it's really stiff with the papers in it, and it almost looks like it's not going to lie flat. And, oh. so, but it does with, a, with pressing, yes. and you, know, you, got, you get your best press and your, yeah. and your, your iron, and you, I pressed it quite a lot to yeah. get it. Oh, so don't, what you're saying is don't panic when you take your don't papers panic. out. Don't panic. Rather, when the papers are in, if it looks like it's all yeah. going to be lit lumpy. Yeah. And you leave all the papers in, don't you, until the la very mm -hmm. last minute. You don't start taking them out. You don't take these ones out, no, because you haven't gone around the top. Oh, yes. So this bit, is, with, the, the general rule with EPP is as soon as you've sewn down each side right. of the paper, of the piece of the piece that you're working all with. All the sides. All the sides. Yeah. You can take the paper out. So if you're doing out. a hexi, if you've done every single side of yeah. a hexi, if there's something attached to it, you can take that paper out. You can out, take the paper out. But you out. haven't sewn round all the sides of this. No, because it's going to be... Got it's, it. not, it's not raw edge, but that edge will be applique to, yeah. your, to yeah. your block. Yeah, got it. So, I mean, I might just finish there because we right don't then. want to do all of that. <clears throat> well, I mean, you know, I don't I want to get, move on to other things. You've yeah. said I'm doing quilting. Yes. So you'll move round. And then what I wanted to show oh, yes. was the... Have we got the iron on? Um, yes. We need when Jill's in next week. We need to get her to give her a new one of these because it's filthy. <laughs> now you would um, when you're doing your your 
the finished, you, you've sewn all of them together. Yeah. So you don't press after each one. You sew all of them around in a, in a circle and then you press. And I would use this thing on top of it. Because oh, well, it needs quite a lot of pressing. Okay, I won't press it, yeah. it today, but it, yeah. it does need quite a lot of pressing. Like a muslin or a pressing cloth or something yes. like that, yeah. So we use, use so we're pressing them to now, make that edge sharp. Are you a steam girl or are you a dry <coughs> iron girl? Um, I'm, I'm either. I think dry iron's fine for this. Okay. Um, but I as just, you can as see, just make, I like using steam because I'd love to get those sharp, yeah, you know. sharp edges. Yeah, they do do create lovely sharp edges, yeah. don't they? So before you take your papers out, we're pressing, and it, you know, I'm giving a it good, a good, give it good old squirt. Yeah, and the most important bits are those edge bits. Right, the curved bits. The curved bits, right. yeah. And then you'll take the papers out <gasps> when they're when they're all. Yes. Yeah. And then we'll move on to the next bit. Okay. So imagine that that's a full circle. Yeah. Looking looking gorgeous and pressed. Yeah. You'll then take all your papers out. Right. Then you'll press it again. Right. So you'll spray it and press it. I say within an inch of its life. No, so no, no, goes, exactly. Well, you want lot. those. You want to keep that crisp. You want to keep the crisp edge, edge, edge but you. also it. As I said, it looks. It it, it, it needs pressing flat before you applique right. it onto okay. the onto the actual panel. Now this is the one I made from the last show. So okay, this so you... is that one, top Number right. Three. So this is the Poppy, Poppy and Daisy. Yes, right, okay. Um, but those are the fabrics from the Betsy Turquoise. Yeah, so that one, I'll put that one in that one and that one in that because they yes. all go in there so we don't get confused. So, so this is now block three that you're working on that you started yeah. last time you were yeah. there. That's fine, that's fine. So I just, you know, it's, it's done and it's in a beautiful rainbow. It's yeah. looking absolutely gorgeous. And so at this point, as you can see, this is... Yeah, no, no, on, Karen, on I was going to ask question. No, no, I was going to ask another question. So I just, want, I didn't want to spend too long doing no? lots of hand sewing. So it, as EPP is always quite a long, yes. you know, it's a long So you stitched project. all of them together, done the pressing. You've got your piece, this fabric's in there, isn't it? This yes, this fabric, fabric you just need there. to cut it to size, which is 16 and a half inches square. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then you would applique this onto the centre. So you fold find, your fabric in half yeah. and in half to find your fit, centre yeah, spot. Yeah, give it a pinch with your fingernails. Yeah. Find your centre spot and then you've got your... Now, is there a hole in the middle? There is a hole in the middle, isn't there, at that point? Yes. Of, the, of your, your sort of You've got this hole in the middle. Plate. Yeah, perfect. And so... So you've... Where have you... Have you just sewn all the way round yep. this edge by hand? Yes. And you can... It's not the right one, yes. Oh, there we go. You can what? It, you can applique it by machine, if you wish. The thing <laughs> is, I think it depends on what you're... Because you've hand-stitched all of that. Yeah. If you're going to machine quilt it, then by all means machine that. <coughs> but if you're going to hand quilt yeah. it, I think the whole thing, apart from those long seams yeah. and borders, it'd be nice if the whole thing was hand stitched, wouldn't I it? I mean, I think it looks better because if you're going to machine stitch it, you're going to have, obviously, is, there's enough seam allowance on there. There's, yes. a, there's a quarter inch seam allowance Yeah, but on then there. you're going to have to kind of dip down and dip up again. You might not get each one the same and things I, like that. I think it's nicer as a, as a, as a hand, hand sewn job, project. Yeah. And you're just tucking under. Yeah. Obviously, you just need to tuck your tuck your knot under there. Yeah. And we'll trim that off. And then we're doing basically just as blind as you possibly can. Can you see that on my other right angle? You can you see that, Andrew? Yeah, it's just there. Yeah, perfect. So I've just gone in, taken a couple of threads of the cream, and then as little as possible of the yeah. of the patterned fabric. Now, if you've got the Aurifil 80, yeah. that's brilliant for this, isn't it? Because <coughs> it is. it's so fine it is. that it sinks into the fabric, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. So the, if you've got, I don't know if we've got any left in stock. You sell the that. The Aurifil 80 box, which are so fine. I only know that because I've seen other people hand stitching yeah. applique onto like this. And, they, and Sally Ann Harrison and Charlotte Newland adore the Aurifil 80s because it just works perfectly. It is uh, we've lovely. got it on the web, apparently. I'll just quickly show you. There it is. There you go. F what? F D U A fifteen. Oh, I can see it now. You. Yeah. Oh, and it should be more. I thought it was more expensive than that. It, it's supposed to be one hundred and eight pounds, isn't it? That box. Um, there are twenty colours in there, and there's only actually eighty colours in the whole range. So you're getting a quarter, and they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, have you got a picture? Oh, look, 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 sorry, look. And you, they're all on cedarwood um, spools as well and everything. It's just the most beautiful. And they're 80 weight, those. They're very, very fine weight. Sorry, I just suddenly no, no, thought no, when I saw you doing yes, that. Yes, they'd be lovely for this. Yeah. 
yeah, and the colours when you come to oh, yes. doing yes. some quilting, yeah. you can do you can do it in all sorts yeah. of beautiful colours, can't you? So I've just sewn one of the petals on. Yeah. Just make sure you sew into that deep V and then back around the other side. But as you can see, you like you said, you had to press and press and press, but it add, actually does lie flat because that's lying yes, beautifully flat now, it is. isn't it? Yeah, 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 it is. You see, I'm thinking if I had this as quilt on my bed, I might want a couple of cushions as well. Well, I think it would be really nice, mm. you know, as, a, as an add-on. Because they, they're a beautiful size for cushions, aren't they? I don't know which bed. I'd have to redecorate one of the bedrooms, I think. Would you? <laughs> well, no, it might look quite nice in my bedroom. All the beautiful colours. It'd be so nice to wake up to that rainbow, don't you think? Oh, oh beautiful. I'd be terrified the cats had come in from the garden and jump on it, though. That's the problem. After all that work, and then Norman comes in with his mucky paw. It's very print. therapeutic, this, as a, as a project. Yes, and also, while you're doing each one like this, they're small enough to take away with you and things, aren't they? So, you know oh, what I mean? EPP is so transportable. EPP, the, the, and even, even to this stage, appliquing it onto the yeah. fabric. You could have that in your yeah. handbag on the train if you're Absolutely. on a bus journey or something like that, couldn't you? Absolutely. Um, the only the only time it doesn't get transportable, this project, is when you when you you know Join start pop, joining yes. it all together. Well, it depends how big your car is, I suppose. <laughs> well, it's not very so easy to sit on a train doing something no. that size, is it? So there we go. We've done. We've appliqued that on. Right. And then the middle. Just thought I'd show you the middle section. Yeah, now, is that included time? in there? Yes. Is, do you have to cut that yourself? Yes. So it's the same fabric as this. And is it? Have you got a little cardboard to put it round? You do. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So, let me just show you, I've done a bit of it already. So what you do is you, let me flatten this out, you, yeah. here's your cardboard piece, your, your piece that you get in there. Yeah. That's, that's pre-cut, all the, all the dressing plates are pre-cut, the papers are pre-cut in, in your pack. Yeah. And you, you get this and you cut one piece of cream out of the same fabric as this with no seam allowance. And oh, okay. one with a quarter inch seam allowance. Oh, right. It's to ensure that you don't get the, the fabric showing through. Oh, yeah. Because with one, it was... Yes, you, you there, there's that possibility. You've just yeah. got that, and it's not quite the clean finish So you don't you gather up to, you only, get, you only do one with the seam allowance on. One with the seam allowance. Then you place this on top. Right. And then, well, actually, I'll finish gathering it yeah. first. So I've gathered around the outside. Or, again, you can glue. So this is the... This is the method I was saying to use for the curve at the bit, top of the yeah. curve, just using a gather. Oh, I've got a bit Trying giant to get a knot in your thread. Got a bit, I wouldn't get that with the orifice. No, I? you wouldn't. <laughs> there we are. Okay, so we've gone all the way around the outside. Right, then we paste our piece in the middle. And then your paper piece on top. Right. That's to keep the shape. Yeah. <clears throat> and then you pull your you pull your gather in. And it gathers in nicely around there. Right. Oh yeah, it is coming nicely. Yeah? Yeah. So you just keep just pulling it. Be patient it. with it and pull it all in. Well EPP is a is a is a patient's mm -hmm. job, isn't it? <clears throat> so you pull that in and then you over sew it to keep it nice and tight. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to applique that onto the middle section. Okay. At that Do we point, take you the can take the paper out. Yes. out. Oh, now, yes, because you're taking the paper out, but it's not actually stitched to anything, is no. it? No. So it goes against the rule of EPP, doesn't it? It does. Actually, one? you can't glue this one, can you? You do have to. Yeah. use if, if you glued it, you'd be stuck, wouldn't you? Yeah. So it, you, you do need to do that yeah. stitch on that one. Yeah. Just that. So then it's exactly the same method of stitching this to here. Yeah. So now, what the question I was going to ask earlier is, you said one of the fabrics, when you pointed it out, I think it's the mid number two, the border is one of your exclusive fabrics. Yes. For those of you who, are those people who haven't watched before, what does that mean? So Alice Caroline, as a company, and Alice herself, has designed with, in conjunction with Liberty, the design team, exclusive colourways. So, of their so fabrics. it's Liberty fabric <coughs> that yes. she's coloured in with her own crayons, basically. 
Yes. Sim simplistically. Yeah. And Liberty are all on board with it. It's not she's just taken Liberty and redone it. They're no, no, all, no, no, it's no. all done in conjunction. Oh, no, it's no, all no. Legit. They print it. And... So, so now, is it, so that's only, that's exclusive then to her. She's the only yeah. person that can, Alice Caroline is the only person who can have yes. those Liberty prints done in her colourway. Yeah, way. so last year we did a whole rainbow. Yes. Yeah. Alice really likes rainbows. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we did a whole rainbow of colours and that, that um, Betsy is, a, is one of those yeah. and it's got gold in it so it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and so then, that, that's quite limited the range because she doesn't go in and do hundreds and hundreds of them does she? Just we did about 13 or 14 last year. Yeah. <coughs> you have to have a lot printed. Well, so then, it's a pricey thing. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, but, it's, but it's something that's yeah, quite an accolade isn't it? it? It's is. a feather in a cap for liberty to go, oh yeah, colour them in yourself. Absolutely. And then we've just launched a mustard and grey collection which is Oh. So it's quite on trend. So we hope we'll, we'll bring a project to the yeah, quarter absolutely. at the next one. Yeah. So then we're going to... What we'll to do is I'll just do the centre of this thing and then before we get on to the next stage, I'll do a roundup. Okay. Right, so we're just... We're tucking our, our loose edges in there. Mm-hmm. And it's a bit thicker because you've got... You've pressed it so much. We're just trying to blind stitch it as much yeah. as we can. When are we going to have posh needles in this hour? I've got the, um, yes, when I do the quilting, oh, quilting I've got the yes. gold so tip quilting needle. You need sharps for this. Yes. You need as, as sharp as you possibly can. And in terms of sizes, it, we recommend anything between a 9 and 11. Of course, a 9 is, is longer than an 11. Yeah. We don't have to finish all this off if you want okay. to. Okay, you well, you're just going to stitch around there. I'm going to go and yep. redo bundles or redo things available. And then I'll come back and we'll get on with the next stage, which will be Great. the border, I suppose, yes. will it? Yeah. Which isn't EPP, that's good. That's why you've got the machine here, isn't yep. it? Yeah. Right. Fantastico. So, brand new today. Okay, you can't buy all three together because that's all sold out. But you can still, they're still available. They're still available individually and there's no difference in the price. You're not saving any money or anything. So, let's do quilt number four which is this one, which is the yellow one at the end. Alice Caroline over the rainbow, Mitzi yellow quilt block four. That will make that one. What you get in here is you get the, the papers, you get the Liberty lawn to make it with, you get the border, you get the um, cornerstones and you get the cream fabric that it all goes on. Are there instructions in there as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and instructions. £29.99. That's block number four. Brand new today. Number five is this one. So this one is called Mitzi in Green. The, the names are after the borders. You see, that's the Mitzi in Green border there. 144, do you say? Over 144 different fabrics in this uh, quilt. Nice. Instructions. All the fabric, your papers and your borders and your cornerstones. 29.99, brand new again, brand new today. Block number six, which is the one we were started off with on this, on this um, adventure. Nice, there's number six. So that one there is uh, Betsy in turquoise with the red cornerstones and the rainbow of colour of fabrics. 29.99. And the first three are available on the web, underneath me. Uh, they're all available, one, two, and three. Oh, okay, all right, uh, the, the bundle, we have got three left. There are, th oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So there's none of the bundle of the new one left. The bundle of the old one, one, two, and three, there are three of those left. They're all still available individually underneath me there, but you can buy the bundle of three here. One, two, and three. That's what you get. And these are, oh, do you have to do this live for the top three? Yeah, oh, top three. Okay, right, I'll leave those there and leave those there. What are you doing? Told you not to start without me. Oh, sorry. Otherwise I never finish, do I? Well, I never finish anyway. You've got half an hour, you've got have plenty I? of time, yeah. Oh, okay, very, very leisurely then. So I'm just sewing on the borders. Right. So the Betsy, so oh, now, in like the, is it one long piece of this you get, or is it already cut for you? No, you need to cut it. You need to cut it, right? You get a, you get a, a piece that's, um, I don't, it's rectangular and then you need to, oh, to cut okay, it Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
<coughs> so you get like a fat eighth or something like that to cut up. Yeah, so it, you're cutting two inch strips. Oh, um, Anne says, now, I don't know if you can answer this question. Anne says, can you tell me the thread count of the Tarna lawn? Thanks for saying such gorgeous fabrics from Anne. <laughs> Very high. Hi. I've, I've been asked that question once before um, and I don't know the answer to it. Um, Will Alice be watching? No, she doesn't know the answer to it either. Oh, didn't she? No, no. Oh. Only, only Liberty. Okay. So it's very, Chris, it's could you look up on the Liberty high. website? You can't find it on the Liberty website. Hmm? I've looked. Oh, it's not even there? No. Oh, I'll okay. find out for you for the next time. So uh, the finer <coughs> the fabric, the higher the thread count. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And the, and the thing with the thread count is, is that, that that's how you can get so much fine detail in the Liberty prints because the higher the thread count you've got so, you know, more, you've got to, play more with. to play with yeah so that so <laughs> when you go to a posh hotel and you get 600 count bedding that's posh bedding isn't it Egyptian posh cotton 600 yes. count that's really posh isn't it uh Sean morning John and Anna oh this is morning. Hannah's uh, mother-in-law future mother-in-law I'd like to find out more info history about the different patterns of Liberty Tarn the Lawn can you help I can. There's, um, I won't tell you the history about all of them right now because there's so many of them. Yeah, we've got 144. There's right? 144. So there's some really famous prints in here um, that are very, very well known. So the Betsy around the outside of this one is, is very well known. Yes. Um, Strawberry Thief is very well known. Strawberry Thief is very well known. This is another Betsy. This is the Strawberry Thief here. This is Capel. This is a very famous print. We, we actually had, when we first started here, I don't know if there's any left, because I haven't seen it for ages, we actually had a book all about, well, when we first launched Liberty, we actually had a Liberty book about the history of Liberty ah. and the fabrics and the wood... Oh, you know, it's not yeah. the kettle, it's not a kettle, is it? It's not a kettle. <laughs> um, um, I think it was just called you, Liberty. We've got, we've got the history of all the prints on our website. Oh, so, have you? Yeah, so when you go into an individual print, it will have, um, you know, you know whether it was originally designed yeah, in the oh. 1950s or whether it was the 1970s. Oh, so there's, there's, a, there's a range called the Liberty Classics, yes, which, yes, are, yes. which are the most sort of famous. They've just brought a new... They're like the peacock ones and things like that. Yeah, well, they, they have different ones in there at, at different times, yes. so they bring out different, different fabrics. Because the, the, the most recent range we had was called Hesketh House for our quilting. That's quilting. quilting way, yeah. And each of those were from the 1890s right the way through to the 1970s that they just recolored in different colorways yeah. and things like that. So yeah, the history I put them on the uh, yes. So so way. so if you go to your website I'll just leave that out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Put, go to go to the Alice Caroline website, Sean, and each fabric has got a history of it on there. And there is a beautiful <coughs> well if, if we haven't got it, Liberties will have it. This beautiful book all about the history of Liberties. And, yeah. Because they all and originally they were all wood prints and somebody had to literally sit and carve all of those out into wood prints, didn't they? Into wood blocks yeah. and things, yeah. Yeah. And they've you know, it's it's absolutely fascinating, mm. the history of it. And when you know, when they bring the they've just brought out the new um classics nineteen twenty. Mm. Oh, Yes. Different, different ranges. So um, that's literally just been launched. So, for example, this Betsy, it's one of the most famous Liberty yes. prints. Um, um, well, love Liberty prints. And so, you know, that's in, it's in new colourways. And the other well-known one is this Wiltshire, Wiltshire one, which, you know, Wiltshire berries, which loads of people recognise yes. from, you know, wash bags of the 1970s. Um, and you see this one here? This mm -hmm. one featured in the World Tour of Seven Brides of Seven Brothers. How do you know that, John? Because I made the customs. <laughs> And all, Hugh Durant designed it, it was all Liberty Tarn and Lawn. All the girls, all the seven brides, their dresses were all, well, 90% of them were Liberty Lawn. And it was just a dream to work wow, with. And yeah. they were gorgeous, gorgeous dresses. They're lovely. They make lovely dresses, mm. don't they? Right. Um, so the so corner, hang on, so you've, done it, you've put so, two sides on. So you would cut two inches by 16 and a half inches times four. Oh, of course, because we're not, because there's a corner sewn, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, then we are going to add our, our corner stones yeah. onto it. So we are, I've cut two inches by two inches mm -hmm. out of the Wiltshire. Tells all this, doesn't it, in the instructions? Tells everything in the instructions, yeah. You don't need to remember everything. And we're just going to pin that in place. Ready to sew. So right sides together, obviously. Uh, obviously, the Liberty book we sold when we first launched it, and it was exquisite. It was, it was a, a coffee table. Mm. Beautiful. It might have sold mean. out, Chris. It might have all gone. So, because uh, it was a while ago when we first launched Liberty. I think we've got one left. Actually, we could do it as a prize, couldn't we? Next time we're on. Have you got one? Uh, we've got one, yeah. Oh. We should do it as a prize. Maybe. We should do it as a prize. We love a prize. Yeah, I'll win it. <laughs> lovely on my coffee table. I've got a coffee table. I meant on here. You can't win your own prize, can you? Will be your prize. 
On the sewing quarter? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Pedantic. Are you allowed to win your own prizes? No. I like buying my own presents, then you have to take them back. <laughs> I got a lovely teddy bear sent to me yesterday. If you go to my, I put it on the Facebook fan page yesterday. Marina and Ali made me a gorgeous teddy bear. Aww. And I got it yesterday. It was, it was using the Joe Carter Bow Bear design, yeah. but they've done it in cotton, one of my old shirts. They did it oh, one of my shirts. that's nice. So we're just sewing those on. Just trim the edges. I can hear crackling. Not you, is it? What crackling? I just move this table, the weight of me. Right, my bones. Me. It's my bones. Oh, Maybe it's just me. Right, let's just press those. It's the, I might be the iron, actually. And when you press, you generally try and press to the darker side of the fabric. Yeah. There we are. And then we sew the one. How long have I got? Are you all right for me? Let's press that one. I've already pressed that one. Did I you know that one you in advance. Did you do that one? I made it one. in advance. Oh um. <laughs> <laughs> And at this point, you just want to make sure you've got your, your seams matching. I always try, try and make one of these bits in advance, because otherwise it gets a bit dull watching me make the same thing twice, doesn't it? Stop muttering. Muttering. I'm yeah. sorry, am I muttering? So when are you going on holiday? Uh, second. Of? August. Oh, lovely. Going somewhere nice. Going to France. Oh. Yeah. Touring around random places in Ooh, France. Oh, but nice. All yeah, of you, the whole family going. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And yeah, having a big house in Bordeaux <gasps> with my in laws. So that would oh. be lovely. Are they French? No. Oh. No. <laughs> Just hired know. a place. Oh, okay. Oh, see. Oh. Just hired a big place. Yeah. So, yeah. And then, we, and then we'll sew that on. Nice. Do you watch that? Um, Home and not home and away. That, that fab, that where they buy a house abroad and what's that? Wind sun, home in the sun. Oh yeah. They're quite reasonable houses in France. Chris was just saying that, and I was watching. There, there seems to be a what, whole week buy? of French ones. To buy. To buy. Yeah. Yeah, they've yeah. got a really, they've got a much better system that you're not allowed to, sort of make, more profit on it. So. Why not? Well, you, you, you can't... Um, my parents had a house in France for a while uh -huh. and you can make profit on the work that you do to it, but not... Oh, I see. So you can't just buy a house, sit on it for 20 years no. and then sell it for... It. Oh, that's good. Well, you can, but you wouldn't yeah. make... There would be no money in it. But also, they did have a bad time with the ec economic crash, didn't they, in France? Oh, yeah, well... Oof, yes. Politics, eh? I oh, know. Well, I can't do that. We can't get on to politics on No, this we're not allowed to talk about politics. <laughs> So, we'll just so from Chris. Hello, can you tell me which block includes the fabric with the gold? Thank you for another great show from Chris. It's, it's the number Betsy two. <clears throat> put, it, put the graphs across the bottom and I'll go and find it. Is it real gold or just gold colour? Just, just gold colour. Metallic, it's got a metallic finish. Going across the bottom. I'm just going to open it for you. It's, oh, it's, it's already open. I haven't opened this. It's already been open. Can we do a dosey do? Oh, it's gorgeous! Look. So now, is that this is a this is a Alice Caroline, Caroline exclusive. exclusive? Can you just see that in the the trumpets there? Oh, oh sorry. sorry. The subtlest of subtlest look. It's not. It doesn't feel metallic. Isn't it clever what they can do I these know, days? Because in the old days, when you get your Christmas fabric, your metallic bit there, you'd be able to pick it off, and it would be crusty and everything like that. That is just beautiful. So it's an Alice Caroline coloured that in, Chris. There it is. You can't really, can you see the gold on there? I've got this lovely vision of Alice. She loves the colouring pen, actually. So yes. her, and the, her and the colouring pen. She's a bit of festival quilts. You better meet her. Yeah, you'll be able to see her at festival quilts. At festival quilts. She's got lots of hair. She has got lots of hair. <laughs> She's got big hair. She's got, She's got big hair, yeah. <laughs> saying, shut up, John, shut up. She said she saw you last time. Yes, she did. And I said, you must... Come. She's, got a, she's got a daughter that does a lot of the yes. sewing and creative as well. So she must come on the show. She went, oh, no, I'm not coming on there. <laughs> I think she's wavering. She's waving? Oh, she's waving. No, wavering. Oh, wavering. I, I, think, wavering. I reckon she'll come on the show. Well, she is watching. Hi, oh, guys. yeah, we'll get her on. With the colouring pencils. With the colouring pencils, yeah. 
Right, so we've just put our border on. Who was that person? Oh, Chloe! Chloe, I'll get it sorted afterwards. I'll, I'll ask afterwards for you, my love. But now I don't think Chloe's coming to Festival of Quilts this year, is she? No, I don't think so. Oh, she's such a busy social life. She hasn't got time to fit us in. So what are you doing at the Festival of Quilts? Oh, what am I not doing? What are you not doing? <laughs> well, you're doing everything, John. Yes, I had to go through my itinerary on air yesterday and that took about the, most of an hour. <laughs> because it's... I'll, I'll tell you now while we do it. You don't mind, do you? No. Um, we've got, at the Festival of Quilts, we've got a theatre... We've got a workshop space and we've got a shop. We put the thing, the, the, the chart out of what, but they didn't write who was where. So it looks like I only arrive at four o'clock every afternoon, stay an hour and go home. It's not like that at all. So in the, on the first day, for instance, we've got uh, Debbie Shaw, we've got Jenny Jackson and we've got... Hang on, hang on, hang on, put me off. Jenny Shaw, no, Debbie Shaw, Jenny Jackson. Oh, is that... Don't be sure, Jenny Jackson. Now in the morning, on the first morning, it's Debbie Shaw. Uh, anyway, I'll come back to you. And I'm in, in the theatre with all of them. I'm in the theatre with all of them. And I'm there all day. And I'm wandering around doing meet and greet. Because it says on the thing I'm only doing one meet and greet. We've got Lynette Anderson on one day. We've got Jane Alcock in the afternoons. Uh, why am I my brain? There's one, there's one that's not... Oh, Jill Rep. Jill Rep. I'm with all of them in the theatre, with all of them in the theatre. And then if I'm, when I'm not on at the theatre, I'll be in the shop. And when I'm not in the shop, I'll do, be doing meet and greet. So I'll either be there or in the Starbucks queue. <laughs> I was going to say, you're going to need your Starbucks, yes, aren't I you? Yes, I certainly am. Right, so there's our block finished. Right, okay. Imagine I've finished sewing the middle bit on. Well, you haven't, but yeah. I know I haven't, yeah. but you know, you don't want yeah. to see me doing all that. Um, so yes, we've got our corner pieces in. Okay, okay, so now this is where we're going to do a bit of quilting now, but we need to yes. stress here. This isn't what you would do. It's not quilt as you go, it's so you no. don't do it on each block. You don't. So what you would do with this quilt is you'd make your whole quilt top. Yes. Um, and we've got the options on sizing when we come on the 14th of September. So you can, you can buy a bigger border or a smaller border to oh, make it fantastic. a big... Oh, fantastic. So this is a, this so, is so a, on the, this on, is a nice double On the 14th of quilt. September, yeah. we'll be doing... Seven, eight, and nine. Yes. We'll be doing the board, the yes. binding. Yes. And then, depending on yes. how big a quilt you buy. So, if you wanted to make this size quilt, right. you would just buy these middle bits of sashing. Right. If you wanted to make a big double quilt, you would buy these. Extra okay, and that's bits. all going to be available on September yes, the 19th. Yes, because yeah. lots of people like to make different sizes. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, so, yes, that will all yeah, be available. Some people want this on their sofa, not on their bed. Some people yeah, exactly. want it on so a wall. You might, we, we, you, you could not buy the joining fabrics right. and join them together, but as we discussed this morning, it, looks, it makes them pop, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, the no, no, I think you have middle. to have the sash. But you, you are going to have to buy just this sashing on yes. its own, then, if you want yes. to. Yeah. So you can buy just that sashing or, or the big cream yes. yeah, yeah. border on the okay. outside. So, so in real life, you've made your nine blocks. Yes. You've sashed them together. Yes. You've put your border on. <laughs> yes. You've made your quilt sandwich. Yes. You've so you've got your wadding and then what, now the, whatever we, backing whatever you backing want. you like. Yeah. You've done a, a strawberry thief yeah. at Liberty Print. Yeah. And then you've quilted it as a whole. Yes. This one here has gone under a long arm. Yeah. This is quilted by Lulu Ryu, our lovely lady. In, yes. In work. but on a fancy back <clears throat> dancing machine, and everything yes. like that. But we're saying it'd be quite might be quite nice to hand quilt it. Yeah, because it's a lovely hand project. Yeah. It might be really nice to hand quilt. You would you choose whichever. I mean yes, hand quilting yeah. takes quite a long time. Well, yes. But it's obviously but free. Long arm quilting is quite pricey. Yeah. But you know, it's But also, well there are companies you send it off if you haven't got one, don't you? But um <coughs> uh, Marcia, who watches all the time, she made a quilt for her husband's birthday and she hand quilted the whole quilt. So, so there are ladies out there who love hand quilting. Yeah. So it's brilliant that, to introduce, because you're going to show I a few really little like, techniques on hand yeah, quilting. Yeah, I really, really like it. It's so Well, and, and as we discussed, yeah. EPP is such a therapeutic thing. It's quite nice to finish it off. But you're going to yeah. have to sit with the whole of that. You do. It's going to be that big on yeah. your table, hand quilting. Not so it? transportable. No. <laughs> Okay. And lots of people use a ring to, to do it. You can get you can get a big ring and put, oh, put like the sections great, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't like, use like that. an embroidery hoop, that yes, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but you don't you know you don't have, have to, to you know you can do it which whichever yeah. way you want to really. Um, and as you can see, there's quite a, there's quite a fancy design. You can buy lots and lots of designs for the inside. I don't know. Do you sell any? 
um, patterns for templates for quilting? Oh, we sell, we have Wesley rulers and rulers like that, but yeah. we don't have. But you can buy all sorts of yes. different oh, patterns, yes. we have like books fleur de lis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you oh, we could, have a brilliant book that, yeah. that um, new, it's, it's called. Um, <clears throat> oh, God, my brain, I hate getting old. Uh, and it, you, you don't need rulers, you can do feathers <coughs> and flowers and all sorts of things. Like, I think it's called texture or something like that. It's brilliant. Yeah. So you anyway. pick your design mm -hmm. and then you, you move it into whichever space. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to just use a, a, a grid, actually like this in the middle of here almost just because, like cross hatch though, yes yeah. because it's because it actually shows shows off the dresden plate yes. really nicely oh so, yeah so so what who do you say doing that's lulu lulu ryu lulu view lulu ryu 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 um she's so she what she's done is in each block she's done exactly <coughs> the same cross hatching yeah and then round the outside she's done floral and squirrely and things like that yeah um but she hasn't gone over, she's not gone over the actual Dresden. No, she's, no, she's, she's left she's the just Dresden. A, so she's only quilted this background yes. area here. And now, I, you don't get this backing no, you don't. in this, yours. You this, have to supply your own backing. So I'm just, I'm just showing Making you the quilt sandwich. Quilt sandwich. Right. And, you know, obviously it needs to be bigger than the yeah. finished quilt. Yes. Uh, so that when you bind it, you've got some extra. Mm -hmm. But we're just, actually, we need to, we need to mark out first, don't we? Oh, do you? Yes. So, what well, you would this do... Would fr this would frighten me, what, what you're about to do. <laughs> I know, I know it's a pen that's a water-soluble pen. But, but it's I better just than think pencil. if I've sat and done this, yeah. the last thing I'd want to do is get a pen and a drawer in the front of it. But. Well, I get that, but it completely washes off yeah, the board. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this one, completely, you just dab it with a tiny bit of water I and know, it disappears. But I'm like Chris, trust no one. So trust no one. <laughs> well, you can do... You can always, I'm not going to I trust mean, test pen. your pen out first yes, before you do. go onto please, your quilt. Please do, please do. Um, but if, you, if you've got a square, you can go corner to corner yeah. on the cross hatching. So that's just and what we've got a square. Yes, yes, we have got a square. <sighs> Sorry. Right. You traumatised. Yeah, it looks brutal, doesn't it? Yeah. But, but. It comes off completely. Yeah, well, I was going to say, you wouldn't be doing this otherwise, would you? No, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go an inch and a half. So you would, you've got your inch and a half mark there, and you yeah. would put your... I think you do need, you need a strong line, because otherwise you can't see it through. There you go. Yeah. And you would do that all over. You, you'd carry on yes, up there, yes, but yes, I, don't, yes, yeah. I don't want to... No, you can just do that little section, then. And then if you're doing the other side... And is that till the end of the show or till roundup? Am I short of time? No, 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 no. You've got six minutes about. Four okay. minutes. How many minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, well, it once I've met, marked it out, it won't take too long to show you the, the techniques. Speed up, hadn't I? Yeah, if you're going to quilt the whole thing in two minutes. <laughs> I'm not going to quilt the whole thing. <laughs> it's a, it's a lovely thing that you. I'm going to have to go all the way over here to get my corner piece. Oh no! <laughs> because all the other things you already pre-prepared. Well, you have to for this, otherwise you never <clears throat> finish anything. No, you could have done this. I could. I'm oh, sorry. Am I getting told off? No, not at all. No, they wouldn't dare tell you off. <gasps> Anyway, you get the picture, so yeah. you would <coughs> you'd keep going until you get your, your cross hatch. There we are. Right. You do it all over the back. Yeah. That's not my way. Right. So this is where you get your fancy needles out. Your gold needles. <coughs> gold quilting needles. By John James. And they glide through beautifully. Yeah, size 10, six needles, gold plated, glide through your fabric. One night, no, one ninety nine. I know, add it to your order. So I'm just making my quilt sandwich. Do what? Just making my quilt sandwich. Yeah. And if you want the um, sharps needles that we talked about earlier, just go to the website and look up John James Sharps. We've got some, several there. What size did you say you used? This Not is a between, 12. No, between mm. 9 and 11 did you use? Sharps, sharps. for the 9 and 11, yeah. 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 And then these ones, well, what size are yours? I've got 10. Perfect. 
Okay, so I've, I've basted that. Yeah, now remember yours will be the whole quilt. You don't do it like this as quilt as you go. <clears throat> so right. then we're, we're just going to do a bit of hand quilting. Yeah. So you go in from the back, obviously, because you don't want your knot. No. You're, you're just using your Guterman thread, are you here? But you, I mean, you yes, could use an but you could use, or something oh, yes, like so yeah, you would, yeah. whatever colour you want yeah, to, make, yeah. to make beautiful cross hatching. Yeah. And then, so it's the key, it's t that's why your, your size needle are, are great. The key is to tiny stitches. Lots of, and you Lots do several of. at the time. It's not like a just one stitch and stop. So I'm going through till it hits my finger. Yeah, nice. Not stabbing it. And then coming back through, yeah. going through till it hits my finger, coming back through. Yeah. And you can do at least two, depending on that. This is quite a tiny needle. This yeah. is a 12. So oh, yours is a 12. Okay, I was a 10. So. Mine's a 12. Yep. Oh, and but so look, it looks fantastic. It does look absolutely fantastic. You want to have a look. And how big is each stitch? It's like a tiny, tiny. It's pretty small. So it's probably about four mil. Are you a millimetre girl? Well, on both actually. Oh, I have okay. to work in both. And I've got quite a long piece of thread here. Cause it, yes. But you, so you just keep going. And it's actually incredibly therapeutic. Once you've got your pattern designed out. Yes, yeah. You know, it's this bit is, you know, if you're doing blocks, it's very transportable. Yeah. And it's just practice. It's actually, it's, you know, it's quite a simple mm -hmm. sewing technique. Brilliant. And you did it in time, is that? There I did. Go. Not to do the whole thing. No, no. <laughs> um, I, I'm just seeing what she did to her. She, cu she curved hers off. She, she yeah. kind of did curves, but you can do whatever you want, really. Yes. You? You, you, yeah, you can. If you, if you want to curve them off, you just I quite like the fact it before. goes to the edge, because then that one would just go across there. You'd have lines going yeah. across there, wouldn't you? I think and you can just nice. decide, you know, you can draw it out on a piece of paper yeah, first. exactly. Before you, you know, decide. Um, now, you're back in an hour. I am. Uh, it, oh, we're doing that lovely... Um, uh, Peacock in a tree in blue, yes, aren't we? I and am. we've got new children's rucksacks. Yes, Perfect. gorgeous. I'll see you in an hour. Lovely. Thank you very much. Cheers, John. Let me take that one with me. Right, so brand new today are block four, five, and six. Number four. This is number four. This is Mitzi in yellow. $29.99. Brand spanking new today. There it is. That's the one you're going to make for that one. Loads in baskets, as we expected. And lots have checked out as well. £29.99. Number five. There's a song, isn't there something? Number five. Mambo, number five, is it? Number five. This isn't called Mambo. This is called Mitzi Green. You all right there? £29.99, you get the papers, the fabric, the border, the cornerstones, the background fabric and the instructions. £29.99. And the last one is number six. That was the one that we started off demonstrating in that last hour. Oh, no, isn't that funny? More gone or more... Of, oh, more of number six have gone than the other two. That's unusual, isn't it? Only marginally, but it's still there. Oh, 10, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Okay, uh, number one, two, and three are available underneath me on the block there. Now, if you have missed out, don't worry, because when she comes back in September to do these, we will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Don't go anywhere, because coming up now is Victoria Pete with a half-eaten apple core. No, that doesn't sound quite right. We'll see you in three. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order. Or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Travel to far-off lands from the comfort of your home with Sewing Quarter for Around the World event. Starting on Wednesday the 31st of July, we have nine days packed full of international makes with top industry experts from all over the globe, such as Lynette Anderson, Kay Fassett, Jill Rep, Joe Avery and Gail Pan. We have makes from the Far East with Susan Briscoe's Sashko panels. We'll also have the Riley Blake Arrows quilt and so much more. 
Stay tuned for details and watch the Around the World Week from Wednesday the 31st to Thursday the 8th of August. Did you know Sign Quarter have our very own app? Available to download on all iOS and Android devices. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play and search Sign Quarter. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll be able to watch Sign Quarter 24 hours a day and purchase all of the products featured on today's show. So download the app today and keep watching Sign Quarter on the move. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Don't worry if you missed Christmas in July at the beginning of the month. We have a second instalment on Thursday the 25th to Saturday the 27th of July with all of these makes lined up for you. Cara Ackerman will be scaling up Joe Carter's popular reindeer using cuddly sheep fleece fabric. A lovely Jane Alcock is here with a festive masterclass, making a pretty quilt with retro charm using Urban Chick's new Sweet Christmas collection. Helen Rihanna will be helping us count down to Christmas in style with the Scandi Advent Calendar. Helen will also be demonstrating our exclusive reindeer in a hoop. Our very own Rebecca Reed is showing us how to make Sewing Quarters Christmas Kitchen set of apron and oven mitts. And Sally Ann Harrison is creating Bargello swirls around the base of a Christmas tree with new kit options for our best selling patchwork tree skirt designed by Sally Stevens. For all this and more, tune in from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. on the 25th to the 27th of July on Freeview Channel 73, Sky Channel 687, or online at www.sewingquarter.com. In the run-up to our second instalment of Christmas in July, we have a few non-Christmassy treats for you. On Monday the 22nd of July, Fiona Hesford is sharing her tips and tricks for making our new and exclusive carpet bag. Fiona will also be sharing her expertise for making her brand new tunic design. Anna Alicia is with us on Tuesday with her new book, Bags, so 18 stylish bags for every occasion. Then on Wednesday, Debbie Shaw is back with her hints and tips for window dressing from a half yard sewing book, as well as a technique based show on skills like piping and zip insertion for your soft furnishing mates. Catch all of this from Monday the 22nd to Wednesday the 24th of July on Freeview Channel 73, Sky Channel 687 or online at www.sewingquarter.com. We are so excited for this year's Festival of Quilts. Sewing Quarter will be there for all four days, and I will be too. This year we are going bigger than ever with Sewing Quarter Live. We will be broadcasting from Festival of Quilts throughout the four days. Visit Sewing Quarter Live for demonstrations from top quilting experts such as Kate Fassett and Lynette Anderson. Then, over on our other stand, we will be holding workshops with industry experts. We will have book signings with Kay Fassett and a section for you to buy some of the products from the show. You can buy tickets on the Festival Quilts website and if you use our code SQ19, you will get £2 off adult tickets or £1 off concession tickets. Keep an eye out for more announcements on who else will be joining us and to buy tickets for Sewing Quarter Live and the workshops. And don't forget to visit the stand to say hi to the team. Oh, sorry, I just had my cough then. <clears throat> Where it says, hello, say hello to the, say hello, come and say hello. You'll be able to tell who everybody is because they've all got sewing quarter t-shirts on. I won't be wearing one, but they'll all have a sewing quarter t-shirt on. Well, I'll be busy in my new shirts and busy hosting in the theatre and everything. Anyway, 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 uh, have a look at this quilt. It's not called Half Eaten. Are we having a look at it? It's called Half Apple Core. Half, now you see if you look at it, they don't, it, they don't necessarily look like an apple core, do they? But now I can see it now, you see. A lot of work in there. No, oh, now, one thing I've got to tell you is, because our demonstrator couldn't be bothered, <laughs> right? The actual quilt that you can make is an awful lot big. I mean, it's big enough. 
uh, it's big enough anyway. You'll see when we're standing in front of it in a minute. That's huge, right? Uh, when I go over, Victoria will tell you, it's going to be one column more that way and two rows that way. So you wouldn't even see the bottom of it. Had So, so it's enormous, this quilt. The finished size is... 70 by 93. So, oh, you could do 93, would you like to write? I'm thinking about the three yeah, curves, but yeah. Um, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. So what you need, what you do is you get the pattern, but you also get the template with it. And it's not just a cardboard template. It's a proper acrylic template. The, you peel the back off. It doesn't have to be, it, that, that's just there for you to see. Plus all the instructions. So you get that with all three of these bundles, right? Right, so the one that we're, Victoria's made is this one here. Now, this one's slightly different to the others, right? So what we've got here is you've got 24 fat quarters. You've got your thread. You've got a metre of your lovely blue. And then three and a half metres of this fabric. Now, that's because... That, yeah, I went miles away then. That's because half a metre of that is the equivalent to, you need one extra fat quarter. So we're giving you, uh, putting in half a metre extra of that one to replace a fat quarter that's missing. Not missing, but you need 25 fat quarters. Required, required, that's it. So 164.49, that's enough to do the top and the binding. And here's the still. So look, so there you've got the pattern. They're all out of proportion, those. You've got the pattern, the template, the thread, the metre of pale blue, the three and a half metres of the bijou, plus the 24. Now, these are Amy Butler. Beautiful Amy Butler. Oh, you can, I won't open the bundle because you can see them all in the court behind you. So £164.49. Right. The one Victoria's going to demonstrate in is this one, this one here. Right. So now this one, you get 25 fat quarters, one metre and three metres. Because you don't, some of this still appears in the quilt, but not as much as will appear. You'll get an extra fat, so it's an extra couple of squirrels, isn't it, out of that one. So, so you still use that inside the pattern of the quilt, but you use more of that one. So all of that, 134.99. Again, you do get the pattern and you do get the template. Gorgeous. I always find this bundle unusual because there's that very one die forward hall that's very vibrant compared to all the others, isn't it? But anyway, that's the one that's going to be demonstrated. £134.99, enough to do the, the top and the binding. Instruction, template, thread, 25 fat quarters, four metres of fabric. And then last but not least is this one here. Ooh, now. So this one, you get 25 fat quarters. You get the thread. You get the one metre of the kind of creamy, oatmeal-y colour. Of, yeah, vanilla in linen texture. And then three metres of bloom in masala. That's one of your bijous. Plus, these are all your 25. Oh, oh these are nice. Oh, we're not seeing this one being made, are we? So I should show you this one a bit more. Look. These are called Riviera Rose. Oh, these. Do you know what? I've never seen... I've not seen these. Chris thinks he's seen the bees in a different colourway. When did these, are these Moda fabrics? They feel like it, anyway, the quality is gorgeous. Oh my word. The basket weave one's quite nice. The basket weave one, this one. Yeah, that that's one and the other one. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and it was in a different colourway, wasn't it, on there? Oh, the Macawas? Oh, I thought they were Moda, sorry. Right, and then you get all of these, right, let's have a look, we've got the, um, oh, that's nice. Beautiful. I haven't got bumblebees. Oh, I have. Is that what colour you were thinking of, Chris? Beautiful, aren't they? Macau fabrics, good quality fabrics, those. Lovely. So you get 25 fat quarters, uh, 134.99 to do the top and the border. Right, okay, let's go over. Right, yeah, I'll just put that there. Oh, you got your own pattern. There. Brought my own. Fine. So, when it arrives in the house, what do we do? What do we do first? Right, with your, uh, you'll get your fat quarters either in the nice stack or they'll be all packaged all together. Yep. They're not sort of individually packed or loose. They're all being pre-bundled for us. Oh, okay. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your yardage as well. And then you've got your pattern, which is in your cello type yeah. Ziploc bag. And you've got a separate template. Right. But there's only one template required and... 
uh, there are a couple of other um, rectangles that you need to cut. Okay, but perfect. the majority of the cutting will come from your, um, from your curved template. So have a look at your fabrics first. You need to pair your fabrics up. So you've got your, um, all of your different colours, but as you say, with these, you've got um, the, the, the longer yardage. The, the metre fabric is just for your binding. So don't touch that at all? I, personally, I would leave that to one side. Yep, yep, yep. And then your other fabric is for your borders and these curvy borders as well. Right, OK. But you'll also echo the fabric that you use in here in with your other fabrics on all on all of on them. all of them it's just with that one you'll have slightly a couple of more, extras yeah a couple a couple of extra yeah. uh, so so is there a block is it? yeah that's they're, they're made essentially of one block right okay. and some infill pieces right so each block and i've got one here for you finished uh oh so that is what your finished block looks like Right. Okay, so should we have a look at that on the yeah, quilt yeah. so you can see that? So, and it's quite easy to see on this one because it's more solid, but I'll place that one next to it. Oh, yes. So see, some of them I can't, I can't, couldn't see that. I can now, but when you, like some of them, the, the shape in the middle is quite obvious. Yes. But others, it just looks like Yeah, a, and I think that's because of the, the prints that are in that particular bundle. Yes, Whereas yeah. I think in this bundle and the other one that you laid out all the fat quarters in, I think you'll notice the contrast more yeah, so. Yeah, so the, this is the Amy Butler one here, yes. isn't it? So this one's more of a melange of... Yeah, yeah. That, more that kind of effect. But you can see here when you've got the bijou, yes. it's a much more striking. And when you've got the stronger prints... Yes, 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 yes. It's, it's a stronger Yeah, because that red... I don't, can you see that red... Oh, can you lift can't that lift up? that one up. That red one at the bottom there is, looks completely different because you've used the background fabric as the outside of yep. it. So it kind of and blends. And it really pops. Yes, yes, yeah. I like that. I like, I the, like this one. I like the way that that blue carries on down and round and then it's that I beautiful do as well. fabric. So what there. you could do is... Um, because you've got that bit extra, you could almost put those in the corners or just on the edges and they'll create a different yeah, effect. Yeah, but then you see, the corners are like those ones you showed yeah, you with the, the curvy wavy ruler, or wavy yeah. ruler earlier. And I quite like those as well. Yeah, so that it, makes it's a, a mix nice of effect. I like the fact there's just that one down there because it kind it's of... It's a bit different. Yeah, so you've got, you've got options on how you, do, you piece them together. So yeah. what, you, what you do is you piece... So from each fat quarter, you cut 12 of the half apple core. Shape. So, so from each fat quarter, you cut 12 of those. 12. I just got to tell you, Carol, fabulous show today. It really is the dream team this morning. Oh, Loving it, Carol. Yeah, it's a nice Ren, day, isn't it? Renfrewshire. Renfrewshire. Ren no, I didn't say that right. Renfrewshire. Ren it's in Scotland, Ren I'm presuming, isn't Ren it? Ren Try and say it in a Scottish accent. It might roll off <laughs> the tongue a bit best. What are you saying, Christopher? <laughs> Renfrewshire, he says, but he's from Dudley. Oh, yeah, we'll give up on that. Thanks, Carol. Oh, Annie's eating as well. That's nice. You know, That's nice. It? So they can have tea and coffee and eat upstairs. I know, I took some up teas upstairs earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Chocolate. Yeah. Anyway, so, right, sorry, so, you, so tell me again. So, How you'll need to, so from each fat quarter, you'll need to cut 12. Right. Uh, 12 of those. So, um, and you pair them together with another fabric. So, for example, you would take these two fabrics. Yes. You would pair them together because if each block requires four complete apple cores. Right. So you'll need to do, um, so you could make three exactly the same. Could you? Mix and match. So you could do one that looks like that. Yes. And one that has these in the middle and these on the outside. Yes, yes. But they go together in sets of four, right. if you like. So you need four exactly the same to create a block. Right, yes. And you, your choice is you either create three blocks that look the same or mix, lots, yes, that look lots totally of different, different. ones. Because, so yeah. for in here, I've got this block here. Yeah. That's the same as. Oh, yes, 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 this yes. This one yes. down here. But it's different to that one down there. Yes, because I will, would have also made three of those. Oh, if I'd you, done. Oh, let, let's just, let's just point extra. this out as well. So the finished quilt is another. Yeah, so you'll have another one of those before Plus you then border. stick on your border. So the quilt would probably come to about here. And then two more. And then two more further down. So really, I think it would end well, up... It'd be beyond the floor. Touching the floor there and up to the top of the set at the top. So it's huge. It is, it is big. Oh, no, even longer than that because it's two of these. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, yes. So the length of the yeah. wall. So two of those. Yes, it would be... I think it would be the, whole, the height yes, of that whole yeah, wall. Yeah, and then across nearly to the yeah. screen. So it's a massive quilt. It is a big but quilt. But you can do what you've done... If you don't want it that big, you can make it smaller. Yes, yeah, and you could you could make it more square. Yes. So you could, because I've done four across by five down, so you could just do four by four or yeah. five by five. 
it's up to you, and then you've got the fabric yes, to play exactly. with. Yeah. So have a little look. There is um, a diagram where you've got the front cover, and of course it's got the diagrams inside, so that you can start to have you a look at... You see now, it looks completely different. In her fabrics, it looks... Com to, to that one, yes. that looks complete... Because in that one, the stars are all popping out. All of the... I'm calling that the star. That central bit... I'll just hold that up for the camera. They're standing out to me more... Can you see what I mean? And I think because they're more solid prints. Yes. These are, some of them are a little bit on the verge of ditzy prints. Yes. And they're quite a lot of colours within those. So yes. it gives you a different effect. Whereas you can see here already. Yes. These are because they're simpler prints. They'll pop out. Yes. So it's going to look because it's complete. Because that definitely looks like lots of kisses on a page to me, that one. You just mean all kiss, tumbling kisses that looks like. But that's again the, the choice of the fabrics and how you and pair you care up the them fabrics. And how you lay them out. So yeah, have a okay. bit, have a bit of a think. So we cut every single fat quarter. Yes. Into twelve, 12 of those. Of the apple Is there any left, or does it take the um, whole? I think oh, of each fat quarter. Yeah. No, there's there's like a strip along the bottom. Fine. So okay. there's really not much left. What I would do is with the um, the fabric for the borders, cut your borders because they're um, X number of strips, I can't remember. Cut those strips and then from what you've got left, I would cut out your own fat quarter. Yes. To then cut those at the same time yes. as this because then it's easier. Because I started out by cutting through from a single layer of fabric and well, I lost the will to live. Oh, okay. So then I stacked. Because lots. Oh, gosh, yes. Because there are. Every single one of those, you're cutting 12, 12 from each one, and it takes time. Yeah. So I then started to layer up. And I'm going to show you today with two, but I cut from four. Okay, But then. you would need a fresh blade. Very quickly, then, again, about the border. The, the border is square, is long square, so long actually, rectangles. So, actually, it's probably but easy as well. to look on here, on this diagram here, if we can have a look in. Yeah. So you've got your blocks that you've pieced. Let's look at those two in conjunction with each other, actually. So you're piecing together in rows. Right. You've infilled. Oh, that's done. But that's the same. So that, that's, that's your these. background. Yep. Yeah. So that. So these. Yeah, it looked are like border. a straight edge that you'd cut with a curvy ruler. So and that's not. what I thought when I saw yeah. it. I thought, oh, how am I going to do that? But it's not. They're pieced. Fine, fine, fine. So obviously, so you cut all your fat cord twelve of your fat cords are set, and then out of your meterage. You've cut your borders. Yes. Then, like you say, cut into a fat quarter to cut all of those With out, bits on as the well as the ones that are going on the inside. In the inside. Got it. Got it? Eventually got that. Good. Okay. Right. right. So the um, the pattern comes with your template. I'll just pop that over so you can see the template. Uh, it's your half apple core template, which is acrylic. It's really durable, and you'll need something that's durable. Using template plastic for this, I think, wouldn't work. Well, no. By the time you could, you, if you template plastic, you have to draw it, then cut it, wouldn't you? Yeah, and you, when you're sewing curves, you want to be as accurate as possible. And mm. I think there's a bit of room for error if you've traced your own template. Yes. yes so yes. to have it on an acrylic is fab, and it's proper acrylic. It's not too flimsy. It's a good, decent mm -hmm. um, depth. So what's those circles you've so, got? So um, on the um, on the template, you've got the dotted lines to show you where the stitching line is. Therefore, yes. oh, so if you were to out. use it for fussy cutting, yeah. you could do. What I did is I put on some uh, grip dots on the underside. Right, we've got these. Now, I've not seen these before. These are different to ones. These are different to yours. You've yes, obviously mine used came yours. with um, Love Patch Red and Oh, OK, then. Yeah, but they're just magazines. stickers, aren't they? They can stick on the bottom. They're like it? little, um, like sandpapery. Kind, kind of effect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, they'll yeah, just... Like an emery board. Yeah, so they'll mimic what the creative rid grids rulers do and they'll yes. just help grip onto your fabric. How brilliant. It's not the rubber ones that you've also seen here before. These are fabric and they're very fine. It really is like a very fine emery board, the top of an emery board. And you would just pop those on your ruler and they're just enough to give it a little bit of grip so that <laughs> you're doing your nails. Well, I, I used my clippers <laughs> on them last night because they got so oh, long and I forgot to file them like down. Rough okay. So those are fab, and they, you can use those on any ruler. Yeah. They're really handy. Brilliant. OK. Yeah. What did you say, Christopher? Are there only been on there once before? That's why I've not oh, seen they? them. Oh, oh, well, he did have to search for them for me. Oh, OK. Because I said, oh, we need something like... On his day off, he's saying. Oh, was it? Oh, thanks, Chris. OK, so in your instructions, it gives you a little diagram somewhere. Here we go. On how to cut out. It basically just says cut out 12. Um, these fat quarters are a decent size, but what I did is I, I layered up right. all four. I got up to four, but you do need a sharp blade yes, in yeah. order yes, to do that. Gosh. Otherwise, you're not going to get through all four layers. Yeah, And also, how you don't go that close to the edge, because I was just noticing there, one, 
is it's slightly, slightly, slightly off yeah. to the, than the other. So yes, you would just need to make sure yeah. you know what you're doing. Um, the only, um, oh, we'll come to it. We'll come to the oh, other thing. Yeah. That's all right. Right, so just uh, the smaller rotary blade again is really useful because okay. you're cutting both a convex and a concave curve and it makes it a lot easier. I did try it with my standard rotary cutter and I found it a lot easier okay. with my smaller one. That's your 28 millimeter rotary cutter there. So just follow the curve. Round and then I'll rotate my There's mat. your graphic in there at the bottom of the page, 10.99. Oh, I can see why this took so long. This really is going to be the, um, the major, major um, time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, it took a long time just to cut out. Um, just to cut them out, it took a long time. So that's why, um, and I'm just cutting through the next one. What, how skilled would you say this, where are we, beginner, intermediate? Um, I would say definitely intermediate, because by the time you get to cutting, uh, sewing your curves, that's when it starts to get more challenging. Because and also there's no curves. straight. There's, no there's straight. only a couple of straight lines yes. in each block. So you'll cut out. And you just keep going. And there's 25 fat quarters, aren't there? Yes. So that's where being able to layer them up with a nice sharp blade yes. makes a difference. And the rotary cutter, the rotating cutting mats really help. Yeah, as well. uh, because you're not having to move your your acrylic or your fabric. Yeah. When you're at home, do you cut out standing up or sitting down? Standing up. Yeah, I now do it all standing up, and I use my kitchen work surface because it's a nice and a cutting height. mat. And the, <laughs> and the cutting mat. Now I've just got a really carved yes. wooden work surface. Yes, I now have um, slightly lower than this. This is just because it's on wheels. Yeah. Um, Yes, I just cut standing up now because I find it a lot easier on my back. Yeah. It's much I'm trying to think though, because when I was doing costumes, all the cutting out was done, the cutting table was always this high. Yeah, when I did courses at London College of Fashion, they were all yes. high tables so and benches. So you always cut and out and then, and then you're sitting down for your sewing and everything. Yeah, yeah, it is. Right, so you would continue, so you'd cut, so I've cut one column right. out there yeah. and then you would just pop those in. So yeah. you can see that the amount that you get left is just this little strip at the bottom. Oh, tiny. So it is yeah. only a really yeah. small amount that yeah. you've got left. Okay. So once you've got these, you need to mark up your pattern pieces. The only challenge with making these in more than one layer of fabric at a time, you need to be able to mark your fabric. And of course, because you've got several layers, you can't mark them all. You know, you've got to, I've now got to go back and what I could have done is cut from the, the wrong side facing down so that I could then at least mark one every time I cut. Yeah. But then you've got to go in and you've got to mark the one underneath. OK, I'm only thinking now, tracing wheel and tracing paper. You could do, but then you've got to slide it in yeah, yeah, every yeah, single yeah, yeah. time. Uh, pen that we using is there, 2 99 the wipe off wash. It's the one you saw Annie using earlier. So the only thing you're marking is that top notch. It's, it's only a top notch. Now, the other thing you can do to save time is you can cut out in your pairs of fabrics. So you can decide, I'm going to pair these fabrics together. So when you cut them out, oh, you right. place them right sides together. You do your marking. You've got to flip over to mark yeah. because your next stage is going to be sewing that together. Right. I'm just th oh, so we're making a proper apple yeah. So you would then sew that together. Uh, so they'd already be right sides together. Now... I might be, you might want to shout at me if I suggest this. We've got a notch maker in the warehouse. Are they not just for paper? No. Oh, really? Well, I think they're only meant to be for paper, but I got some fabric out and cut the fabric with the other day. Because mine I only use for paper. Yes. At home. But, but then I've not seen the one here. You might not, you don't want to go into, you'd have to make sure you didn't go beyond your seam allowance. And this is only a quarter inch as that's well, what so I mean. it just yeah, needs tiny, to be. Tiny but you snip. could, my other thought was, is I quite often use a craft knife. Oh, when yes, I'm yes, yes. So you could just... A notch, Just yes. a little nick. Yeah. You'd keep that there. You might have to have a few spare blades because yeah. you might miss. But just a little nick in the end. It depends how comfortable you are with sewing. Yes. Because um, quite often when I do notches when I'm sewing, I do just snip in. I don't cut the triangle. Yes. And I oh, don't no, 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 the exactly. But then I'll just snip in with the end of my scissors. It is only a quarter of an inch, isn't it? And, you and it's only tiny. Yeah, it is only tiny. And I think by the time you've... 
you're not easing the curves, but you are spreading the excess, I think you might lose yes. where that notch yeah. is. So I think a visual... Or, or it might weaken it and you might split it completely. You know? Which would be very annoying. Right, so you need to be placing, once you've got your pairings, your two halves right sides oh, uh, together. Oh, not the same colour, different colours. Different colours together. So in your pairs. Okay. And then we're sewing with a quarter of an inch seam allowance and a scant quarter of an inch. Yeah. I suppose this is why they're half apple cores, because you couldn't cut them out as a full apple core, because you need the other colour on the other side. In order side. to create the effect yeah. of that kiss cross yeah. type thing. Uh, scant quarter of an inch, why is that? Uh, just because I think it's very, very precise with the curves. Just making sure it's absolutely right. And I like to normally use my extension table and I'll have everything yes. on and ready to go. Are your girls interested in sewing? Uh, they are. They don't do it an awful lot. And I don't like to force them into no, no, it no, because no, no, I want them to really, really love it. Yeah. Um, I guess he's saying that because mummy's never off the sewing machine. Well, they go and get a look I was about to say the problem is I just it's having the time because yeah. because I'm sing lone parenting because my husband works away. Yeah, let's just put that. In. He hasn't left her. No, he's working away. <laughs> he works away, and so it's me and the girls and the dog and. I do this, and, and I'm there for school drop-off, school pick-up, dog walking, yeah. after school clubs, all right that now, lot. Though, they're on holiday now. They're on holiday now. Yeah, but then you've got to attend to ent entertain them all day long. They're going to drama club next week. For, the, for how long? Six weeks? For the week. No, <laughs> <laughs> six weeks, summer boarding school. Yes. Uh, no, they're just going for the week next week. They'll love it. Singing, dancing. I used to um, go on a drama course for some, but I used to be for the whole of August when I was oh, at school. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you go to boarding school? No. no. My, bro my older brother did, I didn't. Yeah. My mum was sent to boarding school at seven. Yeah, my brother went at five, seven. yeah. Oh, five. Yeah. Oh, it's so weeny. Mm. Right, Iron, can I have oh, your Iron, please? Yeah. I think the reason my brother went, I'm not custody, I suppose, or anything, but my dad was in the RF, so we moved every two uh, years. Oh, yeah, see, that's more. And they didn't want everyone, our educations all to be... Here and he also everyone. was, even at that age, was very, very clever. So got a scholarship to a fantastic oh, really? grammar school in Lincolnshire. Okay. But um, by the time I came to do it, we, my mum had got fed up of moving, so she just bought a house and said, we are living here. We're not moving. Look, yeah. It doesn't go off. It's on, it on, off. It's on off. It's already <laughs> on the off setting. Yes. I have requested a new iron. Have you? Well, because sometimes you don't want the steam, do you? No, no, there? no. But the, when we do want the steam, like yesterday I was doing the clapper, couldn't get any <gasps> steam out of it. Oh, a clapper's on my list. I didn't know they were back in. I missed that. Oh, yes, they're back in stock. Have they gone again? No, no, there's a couple <laughs> oh, <good>. left. <laughs> okay. They're on my list. There's the nine-inch flat one and the six-inch one that looks like a, you know, with a Yeah, with a funny bit. thing on the top. No, I think I just quite want a flat one. Yeah. It's not just a handle, because you use it to stick... Oh, you can oh. use it for points on collars yes. and all sorts. Anvil, apparently it's called. Oh, an anvil, yeah, that would make sense. Well, that's Chris telling us that, so it could be anything. It could be anything. Right, super. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, your little dots. Oh! Didn't, didn't re stick onto the thingy. Well, now, now I can't get it off my finger. <laughs> now it's really stuck. Yeah. Right. So oh. that is your apple core. You're in two colours. Hello, John and Victoria. Could you make the process faster by cutting pairs right sides together, or is the half core not vertically symmetrical? Yeah, so that's what I was saying is that you could place the two, your two pair fabrics place them right sides together so that they're together when you come Ex to then sew the next stage. Except that you cut four out of these, but there's nothing, you, you, you might not want all four of them to be. No, but you could do that column. Oh, Because that one so, column yes, yeah. had and then, four, and then you would repair. Whatever it is, you, you it's could, there's a lot of cutting. Yeah, there's a lot of cutting, but yes, that would help. And then because you, you can cut four layers, you could cut two pairs at the same time. Yes. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. do it that way. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jan. Yeah, for that it was, yeah, really good question because there, sometimes the cutting process does take a long time, mm -hmm. and if you can save a bit of time, then depends which bit you love the best, I suppose. Yeah, doesn't it, it? Does. If you love the cutting, if that's a you know. Yeah, some people really yeah. just love that part of the process, mm. but stick something on in the background, and especially, especially well, when it's me, with a template. Me on in the background. Is that what yeah, you're, you're always on in the background. <laughs> <laughs> always there, wittering away. Wittering away. Wittering away. Uh, right. So now we need to pair. Uh, these together and you sew them together in two pairs and each pair is exactly the same as each other but you need to decide which fabric is your center section 
and which is your uh, outer section. Yes. Because each one, and which one would you like as the middle? The green or the yellow? I don't know. Go on, pick a colour. I can't decide. Uh, that, they're saying green upstairs. I was going to say yellow. Yellow. Okay, so you're going to make... So which one of you decides So we've gone yellow. Okay. So we'll okay. go yellow. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to make two exactly the same way. So, um, and there's a diagram in your instructions. So the yellow is going into the concave of another apple core. And that's why you need the notch, because that notch is going to go with your seam. seam. Got it. Okay, so that notch is going to match up with here. So yeah. we'll place these, and I'm going to put that one exactly the same way, so that I can remember that we're making two exactly yeah. the same. Now, to pair these together... I'm going to put the one with the seam facing nearest me and I'm going to mm. place that on top. And I'm going to match that seam yeah, and stick a pin through. So now this is where Sally and Sally Ann would get their glue pen out, isn't it? I think it is. But you're a traditionist like me. That's what I'm used to. Yeah. Like setting in sleeves, yeah. that kind of yeah. thing. I've not used the glue method. And I thought, well, I'm not going to risk it. No, 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 but everyone, everyone, <laughs> everyone, we see that with, with Sally and Sally Ann and everything. So it's good to see it. Um, yeah, to do it a different yeah. way, because you might prefer working yes. with or without. So I put a, a pin in the middle. I'm then going to bring this edge here across to meet this edge here. So I'm going to bring it round. So it matches. And I'm trying to get the straight edges together. And I'm going to stick a pin in and through on that side because we want to try and keep this little edge because we're going to sew a quarter of an inch from this edge mm -hmm. so I want to keep those two parts of the fabric near each yeah. other. Looks like gonna, it's never going to work. It does look like it's never going to work and then we're going to bring the other side round as well and we're going to pin that. Okay mm -hmm. and then we're going to, oh actually let me pin the other one as well whilst we're at it. So again Measuring up the notch with the central seam. And then the sides. So just go for three pins. Now, I don't know what you're like with setting in sleeves. Mm -hmm. Do you use 100 pins or do you just use a few? I use 100 pins. Yeah, use 100 pins. So that's where this feels a little bit weird. Yeah. Because you don't really, you can get away with just using three pins. Because, obviously, with a sleeve, you're putting it into a complete armhole. Yes, and Whereas also you've got flat bits, gathered bits, ruched bits, And a sharper bits. curve. Yeah, exactly. More and also, curve. if you don't pin it, it falls out. <laughs> it doesn't. It's very annoying. Uh, right, Chris has got a quick question before we go on. Oh, OK, no, he hasn't got a question. We'll carry okay. on. All right, I've just realised I've made a mistake. Oh! So I put that first pin in. I want to sew from the other side. So I want to sew from that side. Oh, OK. Because you want the, the baggier piece on the top. So sorry. I'll oh, just... the, the baggier piece on the top? Yes, I want to keep the... Um... Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll see we know, yeah. So I want this piece to be on the underside when I'm sewing, right. going through the machine. Mm -hmm. And this piece on the top where you've got the excess to be on the top. Okay. okay, so I'm just going to transfer those pins round. You know, when you do something a hundred times and then you step away from it, you go, oh no, I forgot I did it the other way yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now when we're, we're sewing, we're going to start at that point that I was showing you and we're going to try and keep this bottom bit flat when it goes under the machine. So we're going to try and make sure with our fingers mm -hmm. that these raw edges match yes so as we go through the machine we're manipulating the fabric and we're going to sew a quarter of an inch from that raw edge yeah. and this is where having sorry i'm just going to move this oh, slightly yeah. closer oh. all in the wrong place uh having a knee lifter is an absolute bonus so yeah. we'll see how this goes yes you haven't got one today because <laughs> i don't have my knee lifter today yeah yeah well, i'll just sew this and then i'll do your roundup for you okay so I'll just do the first couple by hand. With the 720, it's got a straight stitch plate, which is fab. And I use that all the time when I'm doing complex piecing because it doesn't suck the fabric down mm. the hole. So get those first couple of stitches in. Then get your bottom piece as flat as possible and it will curve around. It won't sit straight. Don't make it sit straight. And you've got your second pin is sitting just in on this seam yeah, here. So let that curve come round. Then use your left hand to just place that fabric and when I say ease I don't mean that you're stretching it into place but just gently mm -hmm. coerce it to sit nice and flat. 
at D. Chris was just looking into it for you now. Just so you know. D sent a message. She's just, he's just looking into it now, my love. Okay. So just take it nice and slow, round the curve. And you're going to sew up to, and just make sure when you're going that you're not creating any little pleats. Mm -hmm. And I took the first couple really slow, and then you get, sort of get your eye in and figure out what you can do and how you sew it. And the honest truth is that as I went and did this, I think I only had one curve that had a pleat in it. Because mm -hmm. you just, you kind of get into yes, the flow yeah, of it. Yeah. So I'm going to sew up to that central point where that pin is and take that pin out. So don't go over the pin. Yeah. You then have a chance to then manipulate the other half of the seam. Yeah. So again, the same thing, that's curving round to your left. Make sure this edge here is nice and straight, uh, flush against each other. Yeah. Again, manipulate that fabric. And uh, if you've got a needle down position thing. On Definitely, 100%. That, yeah. Set it to that or at least hand crank it so yeah. that it sits in the down position. So again, get those raw edges together. Try not to stretch the bottom fabric because remember everything's suddenly on the bias. Mm -hmm. Make that nice and level. Okay, did you say you were going to do a roundup? I am going to okay, do Okay, well I'll sew the other one. Yeah. But when you get to this point, you then press. So if you could just pass me the yeah, other one. Yeah, I'll quickly that press that and then you can see that. And for all of these, you're pressing away from the concave curve. Yeah, and also don't worry if that point, because that looked like it was gathered. It's not at all. It's just the way it's sitting. Once you've pressed it, unless you have got a big tuck in it, but it does look like you've got to tuck in it yeah, when you it first does. stitch it, yeah, doesn't it? But look, it once you've pressed it, you've then got that very and then smooth. It's nice and smooth. Okay. Thank you. Right, I'm going to do my round up. So. This one, the one we're demonstrating, is the um, 25 fat quarters in all those lovely colours. You get a metre of the green and you get three metres of the V. It's not called V. Yeah, but it's not V in black. Midnight, that's it, midnight. Plus your thread, plus your instructions, plus your template. 134.99 is enough to make the front and the binding. The green, do not cut into the pale green. The pale green is for your binding. I mean, I suppose you... Oh, uh, no, 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 no. The pale green is for your binding. I was going to be quite clever then, but no, ignore me. I was going to say maybe you can make a scrappy binding out of all the little bits left over. I don't think it's long. It's not wide enough, is it? No. <laughs> too tight, too tight, too tight. Right, okay. The red one over here, which I haven't tied away. These are level pegging. Uh, this one also has 25 fat quarters in it. Uh, I'll just put those to one side from the cower. But you also get in this one your metre of your vanilla linen, um, which is your binding. And then this is your three metres of your, uh, for, your ba for, your, for your border. And some of that will appear in the quilt as well. Plus your 25 fat quarters from a cower, plus your instructions, plus your template, plus your thread. Is there still? There you go. Then the final one, the Amy Butler one here, this is slightly different. This is the one that the one on the wall is made out of, the finished one is. So you get 24 fat quarters in this one. You get, still get one metre of this for your binding. Do not touch that for, your butt, for anything else. But then this one here, you get three and a half metres. So cut yourself, cut your borders, then cut yourself a fat quarter out of that and add it to this. Then that's your 25 fat quarters there. Plus your thread, plus your instructions, plus your template. 164.49. Now D, oh, oh hang on, before I say, oh, do we, are we allowed to do it? Right, D, he hasn't asked permission, he's just done it. D messaged and said, can I just buy the pattern and the template on its own? There's only a few, D, if you want it, there's literally, we shouldn't be doing this, but there's uh, just a few, there's just a few of this. Hayley's on holiday, so he'll have to answer to Neil tomorrow, on Monday. Yep. Victoria Findlay Wolf. Half apple core pattern and acrylic template. Now it does say on the back of the temp on the back of the pattern here, you will have to buy the template separately. You don't. You get it all. It's in there. Look, it's all in there. Seventeen ninety nine. Oh yeah, if you want to get the grips as well, if you want, because it just make life easier, wouldn't it? You might already have some. We've already sold them before. Not that version, but anyway, seventeen ninety nine. All right. I shouldn't have done that to buy those, so they can't see a 
the paper trail, whatever it's called. Paper trail. Now, just a quick uh, word on you saying about cutting the borders first and then cutting your fat quarter. That's not because there's a tight on fabric, it's just because it's easier okay, okay. to cut your borders and then be able to cut a smaller piece of oh, fabric okay, into okay, fat that's quarters. Fine. Does that make so sense? Sometimes yes. we say cut your borders first because then if you've cut all the little bits, you're going to have to piece your border. Yeah. But there's so not I think it's just easier to manipulate. Fine. Cut your borders, set them to one yeah. side, and then cut it into smaller bits of oh, fabric. Okay. Uh, unless, of course, you're crazy. Just do be careful. Just follow the instructions. You haven't got she didn't those. Say, she didn't say then, just in case you're crazy. She meant in case you do a crazy Oh, yeah, banking. in case, yeah. It's like, unless you're crazy. No, 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 no. You do crazy cutting yeah, yeah, and yeah, whatever. Yeah. Right. Okay, so now you've got two of those. So you have made two exactly the same for each block. Yeah. Okay. You then take one to rotate here to create your cross Okay. Kiss cross type shape. Mm -hmm. So now you need to sew curve on curve. Yes. So you're sewing one exactly the same as you did before. Yeah. But because it's one continuous, you then have the flat piece, if you, if oh, you like, yes, yes. on the top. Oh, mm. Okay, so it's a, a little bit more challenging. So um, this is how you would create the block. So I'll pop this over, right oh, sides it looks together. Looks like it's not going to go anywhere near each other. It does other. look like it's not going to go anywhere near each other. So again, don't go overboard with the pins. So I'm going to stick one in there. And then I'm going to stick one, oh. I'm just going to flip it over from the other side, and one there. Okay, now would you maybe do one half to the centre? And, and then, then go the back other. the other way. I did contemplate that, but dismissed it, because actually when you get into the rhythm of doing it, oh, okay, okay. you start to go, oh, right, okay, I know what's coming here. Yeah, that's Much fine, easier. Then, yeah. Um, but I, I guess you could. I would test one and see yeah. whether that works for you. Because I just thought, if you, if you just, can I just Yeah, so if that? you go to this point here. Yes, stop, and then stop and turn it over and, and then, then go the other. And then re-pin and go the yes. other way. You could do. Yeah. You just wouldn't then allow yourself any room for getting that wrong. You'd have to, you just wouldn't want a little bit of excess caught. You'd just have to okay. be quite precise. Catherine says, morning, lovely, clear explanation of sewing on apple, an apple core. I tried it once, it made me cry. Aww. I might have another try, though. <laughs> Catherine, in Ayrshire, Scott, another Scottish one. Oh, OK. I know that one, Ayrshire. Right, also, do I what? Oh, Marie sent an email. Oh, Marie, can you send the picture again? It's too small, apparently. Send it actual size. All right, OK. Yeah, well, sometimes if I send from my phone, it says, do you want to send actual size yeah. or not? It's too small, that's the problem. So at the moment, I've got the centre of, um, I've got this point, this point, these four points You're pinned. Right. We then need to match this centre. Mm. And your seams will nest. So that's a nice, easy one to pin. Yeah. You don't need any markings. They will just nest yeah. on top of each other, which is fine. Okay, so we're now sewing that seam. Yeah. <laughs> you look this like is I'm very crazy. un... Um, unpatchwork. <laughs> unpatchwork, isn't it? Because you think of patchwork as most of the time you're sewing straight lines, aren't yep. you? And this yeah. is very much dressmakery. Well, I remember you saying, was it on yesterday or this morning? Oh, is that EPP? Yes. Because an apple core is traditionally an yeah, EPP we've done, shape. We've done apple core um, bags with Jane Alcott before. Right, with, okay. Uh, with EPP. Yes, yeah, it is a traditional EPP shape. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing the same thing as we did before. I've just hand cranked and moved um, that needle down. A couple of times mm -hmm. we're going to sew round helps if i'm pressing the actual presser foot and not the power bank <laughs> <laughs> i'm going round i'm going to come round to that first pin if you have got your knee lifter that really helps to just lift a little bit enough to just re rejig the fabric does your knee lifter stay on your machine the whole time yes yeah i use it all the time so i've gone to that pin taken the pin out then i can continue to sew and then we're doing the other half of that curve. Yeah. So we're now going from here to here on mm -hmm. that part of that curve. So this is taking us through to the seam allowance. Again, to that middle point, and then you can take that pin out. Mm -hmm. Now you've got what we're calling the flat piece on top yeah. and the baggier piece on the underside. So you just need to pull out from underneath to try and get those yeah, to so match. Yeah, so you're doing the, the e not the easing, but the movement that you did on the top before, you now, now have to go underneath underside. to move it. Yeah. So you can use your, your hands or you can use tweezers to pull out if you find that easier. Yeah. And I found I was almost creating like a bit of a bowl shape. You're pulling the fabric up and that allows it to just sit in 
again, if you've done any dressmaking, that will, again, feel similar to how you yes. might ease your fabric on yeah. the top of a sleeve head. Just keep your raw edges together, follow that curve, and just make sure that you're not creating any little tucks on the underside of your fabric, which we might get today, because I'm trying to go quickly. Again, up to, but not over the pin. Then you can take that one out, and then you've got your second half. Okay. Can you hear me concentrating? Yes. Well, the concentration is that like, I'm concentrating. I'm not even doing it. Are you breathing though? Are you, yes. You're not holding your breath. No. I was actually looking at how gorgeous your ring is. Ah, oh, which one? This one? No, no, this one here. Oh, really? The, the, uh, oh, yeah, the, the thank you. It's engagement. Yeah, that was the engagement ring. Is that the one he got you when you actually got engaged? Yes. Because lots of people get one and then later on in life no, no. say, oh, I'd much prefer it if it was no. a bezel set. Or it's it lovely. was totally different to what I thought I wanted, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, when you just see something and go, oh, my word, yeah. that's it. It's just a straightforward, it's a, it's a diamond bezel set, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But I, I quite like the little, slightly Art Deco-y type yeah, feel yeah. on the side. Sorry, I just, I was looking, because I can get close up and see when you're doing your concentrating on your sewing. Right, and then you're going to press. Uh, again, press away from the concave. This one you pride and joy then? If you that was my, no, that was my grandmother's. That was my oh. grandmother's eternity ring. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, so he hasn't bought you an eternity ring then? No. No. Hasn't even bought me a sewing machine in lieu. Oh. <laughs> You want both? <laughs> Ideally. Okay, so I've pressed um, both away from the concave. Now, what you can do is either you can just give that middle bit a good press. Yes. Or you can do what I've done on the other one, where I've just released some stitches. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So you can just take out some of the stitches. Yeah, because otherwise you end middle. up with like that, little, that tiny little bump, don't you? Otherwise? Yeah, and I've forgotten to bring an unpicker with me. So it's we can not just, in the front of the we machine. We can just show you. Oh, yeah, no, show us on that one, yeah. then. Yeah, so you can see here how I've unpicked just a couple of the stitches and that allows those seam allowances to spread yeah. and you can press those and that will allow it to sit a lot flatter yes. once you've pressed it. And it literally is just a couple of stitches. Yeah, it is it? just a few and you can, you know, you can kind of do it with your pin actually. Just a couple of those out and yeah. that just allows it to release. Where is it? Give the wrong one out. There you go. So then you can just press those one mm -hmm. way and that one. <laughs> yeah, By unpicking with a pin. Yeah. Standing up go. live on telly. There you go. And finger pressing. Yeah. Perfect. So that spreads it nicely. Yeah. And that stops it lifting up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Then you need to sew them together. So the curves are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> longer and longer. Well, that, that seam is exactly the same yeah, as the last is, seam yeah. we did, which is, which is fine. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Um, you're going to sew more than two together at what? Yeah, in a minute. so eventually, when you've got a row, it then becomes a much longer seam that you've got to sew. So you've got to do that, that pinning that I did, matching the se centre seams and the points all the way along the length. Yeah. Okay. Yep. How much time do we have? You've got six minutes, I think. Okay, probably. so let's have a. Should we talk about the sides instead? Yes, yes, so yes. We would so hang on, so how many of these? I mean, you only um, made. I think it was 36. <laughs> In total, for the proper big size? 35. 35 in total for the big size. So it'd be like 7 by 5 or yeah, something like uh, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 5 by 7. Yeah. 5 across, 7 down. 7 down. Well, yeah. you can make it however you want, basically. But if you do, if you do change that, obviously you just have to be aware that your, your um, panels down the side, your borders down the sides will be different. Yes, you'd, I just made shorter borders. Yes, okay. To mine the so you've made so 35 you've, of all, all of different ones of those. Lay them out in your living room floor. Check that you're happy with where everything is and check that you're happy about where the border print yes. sits within. Yeah. So I try to just spread mine out a bit. So I've yeah. got one here, one further down and one in the corner. Just to but try But then that one's the opposite. That one there is the opposite way around to those two because those two have got the kiss in the middle. Yes, whereas yeah, that one's and that the one's the other way around. Yeah, yeah. But again, if I'd done the full size, then you would have seen have that few repeated. More. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So have a play, have a think about how you want your colours to go or whether you care. You yeah, might just yeah. go, right, I'm just going to Oh, no, don't do that because you'll get to the bottom corner and you'll have three of the same left yeah, over. I know, which is, some people do that though. They'll just pick out scraps and fabrics and just put things together and yeah. I can't, I can't do that. Okay. So when you put them 
them together, just make sure the seam that I've just sewn here, sewing one half to the other, have that running through the middle. Yeah. And keep that running through the middle on all of them so that when you come to sew this oh, one to this yes, one, yes, 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 that yes. seam can at least yeah. nest. Yeah. That makes that a mm -hmm. lot easier. So the side sections are created from three apple cores. So you, you end up having to cut cores. more of the apple, half apple cores out of your the background border, fabric. Background, your background yes, fabric, because yeah. you need those going around the whole of the outside. Yeah. And they're sewn together in sets of three. Right. And then those are joined. I'll show you. There's a picture. That's, that's your picture for those. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So they're sewn in sort of a... It's not a great picture, but they're yeah, in no, little no, bits you've of three. Got, you've got... But then you've got an extra little one. Right. The two that goes but it still doesn't make a straight edge. No, you trim. Oh. You then go on, oh, on and oh, you trim. Okay. So once you've made the set of three, you then trim off this bit at the top Fine. to okay. make a nice straight edge. So this is a straight edge. These ones will be trimmed to match to that, that straight that, edge. To that. Oh, at least you've got something to go from you when do. you come and to it. And it yeah. really helps when you've got your long 24-inch ruler because yeah. you, you sort of match, match up all up, those straight yeah. edges. Yeah. So for these, you attach these... So you've got these that are sewn together, the pairs, as we did in mm -hmm. the first instance. And then to these, you've got to attach a single, uh, a single one. So on your back... Right, so this is different. Slightly different because you're only attaching a single yes. to yeah, the yeah, double. Yeah, yeah. So on this side, you've got your notch point and your, um, your, your single piece. The raw edge sits a quarter of an inch to the, side, to the left of that notch right because you haven't got any seam allowance because yes, you've not yeah, yeah. added another piece to it so that's a quarter of an inch there stick your pin in and oh no i nearly put that in my mouth i stopped doing that years ago putting pins in my mouth and why would you say that uh, i don't know that's weird my dentist told me oh, don't because i made a little ridge in my tooth is that from pins well, they're all both of mine for pins apart from last week when I was well not last week, a few months ago I was washing up and went like that and went like that and punched myself in the face <laughs> and thought, oh sorry. And then the next day my nose was really, really sore and then I looked at my tooth and I'd go big anyway, my dentist filled it in but it fell out again. Oh dear. And I don't want to have Missing teeth. Cap no caps and, <laughs> and dentures, thank you. Dentures. Do people still have dentures? I don't know. Oh I don't know. I know my mum and dad spent an awful lot of my inheritance on screwing teeth in their later years. Mm. They're good though, screwing teeth. Mm? They're very good teeth, aren't they, screwing teeth? Oh yeah, no, they were brilliant teeth, yeah. But it was my inheritance they were spending. <laughs> oh well, oh well. So, um, you just sew these together in the same way. Yeah. But just remember that that little excess bit goes the other side. Yes, of course, yeah. Yes, because you spent so long matching your two corners that you get easy that all to of a forget. sudden, yeah, yeah, you're not. And again, you press those away from the concave. Yeah. And then you're sewing those together. Oh, okay. In a, in a, in a big long row. Yes. So you repeat that same process to join those two together. And then there's a couple of little corner bits, yeah. single corner bits to add as well. And then that goes on. I wonder on. why she didn't cut them. Um... Well, because I think you then got a separate template. Is that what you're saying? Why yes, there's not yes. a separate shape for yeah. that? Is that um, uh, yeah, because it's not, it's not even, where about to a plastic template? It's not yeah, even half. Yeah, because it's not of... even a half, because there is a halfway mark on here. Yes. But it's not a half, is it? Oh, no, it is a half. Yeah, it is a half. I'm just wondering, because... Oh, no. I, I'm not the quilter here. I'm, I'm just asking... Could you cut it in half and then take that piece and use that there? Yeah. I don't know. I think you could, because that works. That's. But then it's adding... It's adding a... Then you've not got anything to sew, no. because it's not. No, no. Don't Ignore do me. Don't I do do don't I'm just asking questions that you might be thinking at home. Why... Because it seems that you're sewing all this together, and then you're going to get a ruler to chop all that <laughs> chop off and, off. and get, oh, rid of, no. get rid of that oh, bit no. there. Okay. So you would, like I say, you've got these in sets of threes plus another couple of extra bits to fill in, and you can tell that from the instructions. Yeah. And then, of course, they go round in here. <laughs> well, because I'm missing the little bit. So there's another one. Yes, 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 yeah. Okay. So then you cut those straight, and then you've got your borders that then sew right sides together. Right. 
Um, and I think this was sides first and then the tops. Yes, and then you just bind it and everything. And then like you that. bind it. Oh, my word. Um, when are you in next? Um, I am in the third and fourth. As here or as in there? As in there. Oh, okay, good. Uh, so I won't be here. No, uh, won't. Right, don't go anywhere. Um, I I'll just do this. I'll just... Um, no, I don't need to take anything with me. Here we go. Uh, three bundles. Three bundles. Uh, which one's first? This one. Because yeah, tonal heart... It's funny it hasn't got a proper name, has it? Tonal, this one's called. That's obviously called the Tonal Fat Quarter Bundle. So you get 25 fat quarters. You, you get one metre of that gorgeous green, three metres of the Bijou V Midnight, plus your, um, I was going to say expenses then, you don't get any expenses. Instructions and your template, and you get all of that for 134.99. That's enough for the front and the binding. Right, then I'm going to go to the red one, which isn't called red. Riviera Rose, this one's called. So you get three metres of your bijou, one metre of your vanilla linen look, texture. Then you get 25 fat quarters. Beautiful. They're all by Macau. All lovely colours, aren't they, and de designs and everything. That one, you see, to me, that one's more tonal than the, the tonal one. Uh, plus your thread, plus your instructions. They're level pegging, both of those. Lots in baskets. And then, the one that Victoria made, which is on the wall, which I'll show you again in a second. This is slightly different because there's only 24 fat quarters. So what you need to do is cut a fat quarter out of your background fabric to create one of these. You then use that again for your other curves and everything like that. So you, what you get in this one, you get four and a half metres of this, one metre of that for your binding, your thread, your 24 fat quarters, your instructions and your template. £164.49, that's enough to make this. And the one you make will be one more row and, no, two more rows and one more column bigger than that. It's a big, big quilt. It's uh, 70 by 93, 70 by 93, £164.49. Oh, uh, and then if you want the pattern and the template on its own, single figures. That'll come in. And then, Laura, yeah. $17.99. Right, are you ready now? In the next hour, look at my little models here, Emily and Charlotte, right? These are, these are Victoria's daughters, aren't they? Can't you just see Victoria? Turn around, girls, let's see your rucksacks on your back. These are Liberty Alice Caroline rucksacks coming up in the next hour. They're not here. They've got to go home because they were made by their mummy. You turn back around again now. Made by the mummy to get up at five o'clock on their first day of their school holidays. And do you know what? You can have waffles on the way home. <laughs> I'll see you in five minutes from now. A lovely Jane Alcock is here to tell you about her Block of the Month series. Perfect for both beginners and more advanced quilters. Hi, I'm Jane. I'm Sewing Quarters on Screen Designer. Each month I'm going to demonstrate a different block and we will start from the very basics. So if you're a beginner, it'll be really good for you. But if you're more advanced, we're going to twist that block slightly and um, create something new. Over the 12 months, we're going to learn how to do the basics of measuring and cutting and how to accurately piece your patchwork. If you're new to patchwork and quilting, this is going to be a really good exercise to gradually build your skills in patchwork. And over the 12 months, we're going to create a very basic sampler quilt. If you're a more advanced patchwork and quilter, we're going to revisit the basic techniques. You'll maybe learn some more um, hints and tips from me, some things you may not have done before. And we're going to revisit the basics, but then we're going to twist that basic block and create something new. We will be making 10 different blocks. And then for the 11th month, we'll be looking at um, joining those blocks together to make a quilt and the quilting techniques, the different ways of joining those blocks. And then for the final month, the 12th month, we're going to look at binding and finishing your quilt. Watch Jane's Block of the Month on the 10th day of every month at 10 a.m. on Freeview Channel 73, Sky Channel 687, or online at www.sewingquarter.com. You can also catch up on any episodes that you've missed on our YouTube channel. Just search for Sewing Quarter on YouTube. In the run-up to our second instalment of Christmas in July, we have a few non-Christmassy treats for you. 
On Monday the 22nd of July, Fiona Hesford is sharing her tips and tricks for making our new and exclusive carpet bag. Fiona will also be sharing her expertise for making her brand new tunic design. Anna Alicia is with us on Tuesday with her new book, Bags, so 18 stylish bags for every occasion. Then on Wednesday, Debbie Shaw is back with her hints and tips for window dressing from a half yard sewing book, as well as a technique based show on skills like piping and zip insertion for your soft furnishing mates. Catch all of this from Monday the 22nd to Wednesday the 24th of July on Freeview Channel 73, Sky Channel 687 or online at www.sewingquarter.com. Don't worry if you missed Christmas in July at the beginning of the month. We have a second instalment on Thursday the 25th to Saturday the 27th of July with all of these makes lined up for you. Cara Ackerman will be scaling up Joe Carter's popular reindeer using cuddly sheep fleece fabric. A lovely Jane Alcock is here with a festive masterclass, making a pretty quilt with retro charm using Urban Chick's new sweet Christmas collection. Helen Rihanna will be helping us count down to Christmas in style with the Scandi Advent Calendar. Helen will also be demonstrating our exclusive reindeer in a hoop. Our very own Rebecca Reed is showing us how to make Sewing Quarter's Christmas Kitchen set of apron and oven mitts. And Sally Ann Harrison is creating Bargello swirls around the base of a Christmas tree with new kit options for our best selling patchwork tree skirt designed by Sally Stevens. For all this and more, tune in from 8am until 1pm on the 25th to the 27th of July on Freeview Channel 73, Sky Channel 687 or online at www.sewingquarter.com. Travel to far off lands from the comfort of your home with Sewing Quarter for Around the World event. Starting on Wednesday the 31st of July, we have nine days packed full of international makes with top industry experts from all over the globe, such as Lynette Anderson, Kay Fassett, Jill Rep, Joe Avery and Gail Pan. We have makes from the Far East with Susan Briscoe's Sashko panels. We'll also have the Riley Blake Arrows quilt and so much more. Stay tuned for details and watch the Around the World Week from Wednesday the 31st to Thursday the 8th of August. Did you know Sewing Quarter have our very own app? Available to download on all iOS and Android devices. Simply go to the App Store or Google Play and search Sewing Quarter. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll be able to watch Sewing Quarter 24 hours a day and purchase all of the products featured on today's show. So download the app today and keep watching Sewing Quarter on the move. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Um, and Alice Caroline, uh, 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 Anna Sanders. I got a bit confused because we were talking about other things and I was, we were talking about Festival of Quilts and all sort of that sort of thing and her going on holiday and everything and I forgot I was coming back. Have a look at this gorgeous quilt. I love it. It's going to be one of, the, one of the things we're going to be covering this uh, hour. I just think that is so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. You nearly saw my cameraman's water bottle there. Uh, anyway, let, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through most of the things I've got for sale for this hour and then um, we'll just get on with the sewing and then I'll come back in the halfway and I'll, I'll recap and everything. So let's talk about this first of all. Now you get money off this. You get money off this. Watch. Three, two, one. The blue willow quilt. You're saving £20 and a penny. It was £120. Today it's £99.99. I know, and it's beautiful. So that's what Anna's going to be showing us in the first half of the show. Uh, 99 99 20 pounds off. You get all the fabric you need for the front, the border, and the binding in there. And you get, there's so much else. You get the templates, the instructions, and everything in there. So I'll tell you about that when we start. Now, this is brand new today. You've seen the pattern before, but you haven't seen this colorway before, right? So this is a really unusual, you saw Emily and Charlotte just wearing them. You can either make a cat 
or a mouse bag out of it. You can only make one of them. So if you bought this, right, that's, a, that's how it comes. You choose, you get the pattern inside for both the cat and the mouse, but there's only the fabric and everything to make one. So you choose, basically it's the same animal with different ears. That's all it is, isn't it? Oh, you're confused, sorry. 35.99. That's the blue and red floral cat or mouse face bag. 35 pounds and 99 pence. And there's your kit. Right. So the other brand new one is this. Now, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. That was that one. Now the other one is this. Now I haven't, you won't see this one because this is one we're going to demonstrate in the second half of the show. This is the blue and yellow version. Even though there's a great big piece of pink at the front, this is the blue and yellow version. What's that fabric called? Oh, the microphone's not working. I'll find out. Did you find out about what stall you're on? No. Oh, 35 pounds. What have you been doing for an hour? Just chatting. Drinking tea. Drinking tea. 35 pounds and 99 pence. Is that one there? That's the bundle. Now, the other one. Now, if you want to see the cat shape, this is the cat shape. Now, you have seen this one before, and we've got a few of these left. So we just thought, in this gorgeous fabric here, see, that's the cat version. But there's literally a handful of these left. I I, oh, wait, there you go, eight. That, and it was demonstrated on the 23rd of March. That one. There it is, being modelled beautifully. Now the other thing I've got to show you quickly before we go over and do some sewing are these, be oh, these are stunning. These are Liberty Tana Lawn Fat Quarters in bundles of five. Um, let me start with this one because these are Alice Caroline exclusives. They said, I do listen in prep. 30 pounds and 99 pence, you get five beautiful, beautiful fat quarters in there. So these, oh, I'm gonna open it. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I've cut my nails, you see. No, he was telling me off then. He's not even on floor. Oh, it's because I'm pulling it the wrong way. That's why. Well, you'd think it would be the little bit that folded over, but it was the big bit that folded over. Anyway, look. Oh, these are beautiful. Remember, these are Tana Lawns. Now, these are Liberty Prints, but coloured in by Alice Caroline herself. Not a felt tip pen before it even goes to print. Oh, aren't they lovely? And they're called Pretty Pastels, I do not remember. Yeah, Pretty Pastels. Look. Oh, now, now, yo, you recognise this one. Isn't this Betsy? Yes. Betsy, but in um, Alice Caroline colours. Oh, in the turquoise, that's, in the, in, that, that's the one that's in the quilt then. And then, this is lovely, this pink one here. I won't open them all like this, because obviously we're going to go and do some sewing in a minute, but look. Oh, aren't they fantastic? Do you know what? If Paul was here now, he'd be going, oh, I'll have that one for a top pocket. Oh, I'll have that one for a top pocket. He really does wear a silky top pocket, uh, pocket squares every time he goes out. So £30.99, that's your pretty pastels. Then I'm going to do uh, this one here, which finishes 28. Peaches and cream, this one's called. Oh, now I did, well, I did say I wasn't going to open them, but I am. Now I've worked out how to open the bag. Look at that, you see that one, if you saw that one, you wouldn't necessarily think that was a Liberty print, would you? It's like cobwebs made of sweets. Oh, it's called something patchwork, apparently. Poppy's patchwork. Have you got it there, Chris? Oh, no, no, because I thought you said it was Poppy's patchwork. Anyway, then this is one comes in there. Oh, these are beautiful, look. Aren't they lovely? See, oh, oh, a paisley made of hearts, look. Well, I'm having trouble opening everything today, aren't I? There you go. Just while I'm not in tomorrow. Got the day off tomorrow. No, I haven't. I know. Isn't that lovely? Right, so that's peaches and cream. Five fat quarters there. £30.99. There's your still. And then last but not least, now, she named this one. 
Rouge. And you think it's going to be a bleu? No, rouge and blue. They're gorgeous. Oh, deep blue. Missed out the deep, sorry. Aren't they good? Look at that. That's that paisley with the heart. Oh. Loving that. So you get five fat quarters in there, 30 pounds and 99 pence. There's the still. Have you got one of these open? Okay, bring it over. Bring it over, John, she says. Right. I love this. I think I just... You got Lulu to... Did you get Lulu, Lulu to do this as well? Of course, the lovely Lulu. I just think it's fabulous because we had a Tree of Life, which you and I did when it, we first launched it. Yeah, that we, went crazy, didn't crazy. it? Crazy. Then we've also done like a gold <laughs> crest and... Um, the Bluebird. The Bluebird. And then the Goldfinch to match. Goldfinch, Goldfinch, yeah. yeah. And they've been really, really popular. And this, I just think, is lovely. If you don't want bright colour... Yeah. And you love that blue, it's very calming, isn't it? Every, Blue is so calming. Yeah. It's just gorgeous, yeah. and it's got Liberty do blue so well, yeah. and it's it's worth getting the fabrics out. I think and having yes. a proper oh. look at them. Right. So what you get now beautifully packaged by Claire, but it won't end up looking like that afterwards, will it? No, the, yours will. <laughs> yours will be beautifully yes, packaged. Yes, yours will yours be beautifully packaged. Be uh, can I just say you got twenty pounds and a penny off today? It should be one hundred and twenty pounds. It's ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence. So first of all, you get all of this beautiful fabric yeah. in here. All di now. Now there are different quantities of the different fabrics. So what there you need are. to do is take note. So this is this cream here is the background fabric. This is the background. You have to supply your own wadding and your own backing. Yes. But the background fabric. But what is important, <coughs> excuse me, is this. The work that's gone into this for your £99. Mm. So that's your design. Yeah. These are just general tips on, on techniques and everything like that. But well, they're full, instru they're full yeah, instructions. Yeah, full instructions. They're binding instructions. But look, you see, so what you do is that's your key to where everything is, right? And then these are your templates. It even tells you which fabric you cut. Though that yeah. butterfly is cut out of that fabric. Num that's number 15 over there, butterfly and so on. It's cut out of that fabric. And really then you've got this find. butterfly here, which is 40A and 40B, which yeah. is here. It's cut out of that fabric there. So it tells you every single, yeah, so that's your finished got, thing. You've got this picture as well, because it can be some, it yeah. can be quite helpful. And, and you've got the numbers on there, the picture there, and every single, oh, that's the tree, obviously. That's the tree. Every Four single tree. template has its number and what fabric you need to cut it out of. It makes it so easy, doesn't it? F fantastic. Yeah. It's just brilliant, isn't it? And the instructions tell you which way to layer it as well, because it's important to... Oh, there's some, yeah, layer, so you've some got, layered bits as well. Yeah, so you've got the flowers, a lot of the flowers that are layered. Oh, okay, and, the, and that's and birds, all in this written... The peacock is layered. In this written bit at yes, the beginning it here. Yes, yeah. Oh, Brilliant. gorgeous. What are you saying, Christopher? Oh, got an email, apparently. So someone oh. already made one. Oh, no, not quite. Hi, Anna and John. Here's a photo of my Alice Cannon. Oh! Oh, that's gorgeous. Snow effect. Just the binding to video. It was such a pleasure to make with all the gorgeous fabrics and the help of Joe Avery and Jane, my ball pet, Bearpaw in Edinburgh. Thanks for such a great programme. I enjoy watching every day from Suzanne. Oh, <gasps> that's so beautiful. Oh, and look at your backings. Oh, she went for the different backings as well. That's gorgeous. How lovely. beautiful. So now, was that one done as quilt as you go, the snowflake one? Or was that yes, one they done? were blocks. They yes. were done as blocks. So, oh. And then the joining, yes, you would join right. the blocks. Um, but now she way. made her own joining blocks on the back. or did we? Because we didn't have the joining blocks for the back. We only had joining blocks for the front, didn't she's we? Copied, the she's shape. copied the stars <gasps> on the front oh, for the back. Oh, Suzanne, well that is it. It beautiful. Gorgeous. Fantastic. Well done. Right, OK. So let's get on. See, all the fabrics, all the... So yeah, read it, look at it. There's three it. borders to it as well, isn't there? So you, oh, we were talking about to... layering. We were also talking about layering. Well, we were talking about layering. So here you've got the bird. You've got, you put this bit on first and then layer these But on the top. instructions tell you yeah. what to do. Yes, indeed. I think it's just stunning, isn't it? Great. Right. Oh, and look, Wiltshire. Your, your lovely Wiltshire. I love Wiltshire. Right, okay. You've got a shirt made in Wiltshire. You need a shirt in that. Oh, so we're not going there. Oh. There's a, there's a story behind that, but we're not going oh. there. <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's a raw edge applique um, pattern. And for those of, you, those of us who are new to today, yes. what's raw edge applique? So mean? it is, your raw, you've got your raw edge. So I've done a bit on here because otherwise it would just you know, oh, yeah, take yeah, yeah. some time. And we're only spending half the show on this because we've got other yeah. things to do. So, so this, these are raw edges of fabric. And so you, you can either do turn under yes. or raw edge. But Liberty, as we said, is, is such a high thread crank that it doesn't, doesn't tend to fray. Yeah. And then you've got the, um, the fact that we're bond webbing it on and the stitching 
provide you with two layers of Are they hand stitched on or machine stitched on? Well, you can hand stitch, but we are using machine okay, stitching then. on the Royal Ridge applique. And do you, when you stitch them on, uh, is the sandwich already made? Yes, you make the quilt sandwich first. Before you've even stuck anything on at all? Yes. So all the lines of this tree yeah. are going to be quilt lines? Yes. So on the back of that, yes. you have a mirror image Sorry. of the whole of this. Yes, yeah, so you can see my... I've, I've only done the tree, oh, actually. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So you can see my quilt lines on the tree. Brilliant. Okay. So a handy hint for that is whatever colour your backing fabric is, uh, you, I've chosen a cream on that and then I've used a blue on the front. Right, yes, obviously. So you so, would, yes. Yeah. But then if you have it as a wall hanging, it doesn't really it matter. sort of doesn't matter. But it sort of doesn't matter. Again, you know, we've chosen a beautiful Liberty print for the back of yes, that. Well, yes. But if you're using it as a wall hanging, I guess, you know, choose a, choose a slightly cheaper. But, but, but also, it doesn't matter so much about the colour. That's what I was saying. About, no. Because if it's thrown on a sofa, you want it to be nice both yes. sides. Yes. Whereas you're still going to have it nice as a wall hanging, but you don't need to worry so much about the colour on exactly. the back. That's all. Exactly. Uh, right, okay, so we, we get our, we right. cut out our, we open our packet, we look at all the fabrics, we get our backing fabric out, we make a quilt sandwich. Yes. Right, and then we can start You need decorating. to provide your own backing. Yeah, I've said that, yeah, backing yeah, yeah. and wadding Great. is Great. your own. Yeah. And so in the pattern, you, you cut out the, the pattern shapes and then you would put bondweb onto the back. So iron the bondweb onto the back. Yes. And then we're going to cut it out. I've got bondweb here. I've actually I put Bondweb on because I always think it's a bit... No, 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 you don't need to... You're not using this, it's yes. closed. I'm not letting you open oh. this one. So literally, you, you just draw your, your butter... You, you, so you don't draw the butterfly onto the Bondweb? No. So you, then you've only got to cut it out once, you see. So yeah. you roughly cut out your piece. Yes, I'll show you here. So you cut that out from your pattern piece. You, what you could do is photocopy them because then you can yeah. always use the originals yeah. again. And actually, you know, some of the pits, like the bird, you, you might want to make a cushion out of. Or... Yeah, but, but I'm just thinking, if you've got those fat quarters, you might want yeah. to make a whole thing, but in like exactly. pinks or pastels or yeah, something so like that. Yeah, so you can use the patterns again, you know, the beautiful so, leaves. So you cut your pattern out, but you've already ironed on your bond web onto the back of your fabric, that. so you're literally just cutting the butterfly out. That's and then all. you need to make sure that you put your pattern piece onto the front of the fabric, not yes. onto the back. Oh yes, because you, you want it to be the shape that it's been drawn. Yes. To the Otherwise it would come out backwards, wouldn't it? It is a thing that Alice and I, we did some of this prep when we were at Harrogate this week. Oh yes. We may have had a glass of wine before we did some of it. Okay. We may have actually made a mistake and put it on the back. Oh. <laughs> so I had, I had trees around the wrong way. Anyway, <laughs> so I had to redo it. Yeah, oh, oh you've redone it, you've not put the Oh no, 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 I've redone it, yes. But you can blame her, it's her fault. She bought the wine. No. <laughs> she did actually. Yeah, I see. It's very nice. So we're just cutting out. And then this saves you from, from cutting out twice. Yes. Did you stay in Harrogate? Yeah, uh, well, just outside in Killing, Killingworth, is it? Yeah. In an Airbnb place. They're so it's big. Really nice. The thing is, they're so big, those. Um, because I used to do the bridal show at uh, Harrogate, and it's such a huge space. It goes on for room after room after room, it's doesn't it? It's quite easy to get lost in it, isn't well, it? Yeah, and also everyone needs to find a hotel room in Harrogate. It's not that big. Yeah, we've got our own special little Airbnb place. Oh, uh, yeah, very nice. Well, it's just a bit outside, so yeah. you need to... Well, no, no, because as I was saying, I was staying in uh, Weatherby, because I was filming pavers at the same time, and they were all, the hotel was... It's a huge hotel as well, and it was packed. Was it? Every single room was booked out, and I said, "Why is it so busy this month?" And they said, "Oh, we've got the Harrogate." They called it the Gift and Card Show, but it was obviously the same, same thing, wasn't it? It was. So yes, so we've nearly cut this piece That's out. That's right, don't mind. So all these are just this is this is rubbish, isn't it? Yeah, and you can keep well, you know, you could just chuck them on the floor, but people want you can keep them for other projects, the scraps. Oh right. But people use do tiny Liberty scrap projects. Oh right. Absolutely gorgeous things. So we've cut it out. Right. And then we're going to use a pin. Right. Oh, now you're taking the bond web off the back. Yeah. yeah. How do we know where to put it? So what I would recommend is that you, <coughs> that you sort of place it. No, you haven't got one. When you're at home, you won't have one behind you to look at. No, but you've got the pattern. So it's so number, you've got what's the that number 15 you've just yeah, done? Yeah, so you cut out your, your size. Would you cut all of them out? I would cut all of them out and I would make sure you place your tree correctly, your two trees. So you've got the branch at the Why top. Why are you putting it down there? It's not number 15 you just cut out. Uh, oh no, hang on, Nico. What was it? So. Seven. Oh, seven. My bad. Have I done that right? No, yeah, you're all right. Whew. 
Why do I think you've got number 15? Anyway, 15 so number there. seven is down there. Oh, number seven. Oh, yeah. I see, because it's overlapping So it's the really tree. important to get your... Tr so this place, obviously this is part of the quilt. This isn't the whole thing. Yes, yes, just, yes. Otherwise it gets too big to work on in, you know, in the studio. But you've got another branch at the top there. So you've got to make sure you place them correctly. Of course, So yes. that, it, that you don't have too big a gap in between the sort of... There's three sections, I think, to this quilt. You've yeah. got this... Bit the here, the big bit, and then you've got these lovely sort of falling leaves, and then you've got the bra the bird and the branch up there. And what you don't want to happen is to have too big a gap here, or too small a gap, or too small a gap, and then your branch just fits, stops in midair. Yes, but if you cut it at the size, you know, in the instructions, yeah, 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 yeah. and then you sort of have a play around, and you might, as you say, you might like things in different places. Mm. But, but, but it is a good idea. No, you don't necessarily have to have all the hundreds of flowers cut out, but I would have the tree. <laughs> and the birds and that, and maybe one of those cut out, just so you can get the balance right. And yeah. then once you've got those in place, you can then start placing all the others, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. yes, I mean, the essential bit is the tree and the birds, yeah. really. Yeah. Well, I'd say the tree and the branch, the two is, obviously we haven't got it on this one, the branch are the essential ones, because then you can yes. base all the rest around that, can't you? Great. So this is number eight, which is, goes at the bottom yeah. here. And I've put a few bits on, but I haven't applied. No, 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 on. don't worry, because it's only the idea of, of how we're doing it and things. And you do need a fair amount of bonder web. Yeah, so well, that's five metres on that roll, so that'd be plenty, at, yeah. So as you can see, I've got it behind me. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll be looking at the one at, on your, your yeah. chart at home. So, yeah, that the right way up? a bit higher. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Great, and then we iron those on. All right. Beep, beep. Yeah, I'm just checking. Oh, have I got it right? He's checking my work. Yeah. He's very strict. I trained to be a school teacher, you see. <laughs> Did you? English indeed? and drama, yeah. Did you? So you want a medium iron for this? this is oh, that's cool. quite... Is it right? Yeah, it's fine. Make sure you get it right to the edges. Yeah. <coughs> Right, and then we start raw edge appliqueing. So if you're not familiar with this technique, you can hand sew it, Right. as we said. Mm -hmm. um, it's much faster to, to, to use on the machine. Um, you don't have to have a special foot. I've got an open toe quilting foot here, but you don't have to use one of those. I have actually, the, the sort of straighter edges are very easy to oh, use with so a standard foot. Oh, so you're going foot. to be doing free motion. Free motion. That's Whereas if you, if you just have a normal foot on it, you can still do it with a normal foot, but it's a different actually, technique. Actually, I've, I've, I've made a f a, quite a few of these and the Tree of Life. And actually, I would recommend that you you'd use a normal standard foot for the actual tree because there's so many straight lines. Yes, yes, yes. It doesn't really, it doesn't really need a, a free mm. motion quilter's foot. But when you start going around these little leaves, then it's better it, to. It is yeah. better to. Um, but you can use a standard foot if you want to. Just yeah, to no, keep no. turning yeah, it around. Most machines now come with some, a darning foot or, an, or, yeah. or a, or a um, quilting, a free motion quilting foot. Yes. Use, don't and you need to drop the feed dog yeah. on them. No, and then down. off we go. They are. So off we go. So which bit are you doing? Those two bits you just stuck on. Yeah, or do you want me to do the bird? No, 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 no. Yeah? No. So, it's better to use needle down. Yeah. On this, is needle down. Is needle it? down. Is it? It should be already on needle down. It should, it be should already needle. be on needle down. It should be default needle down. We'll soon see. Great. Right. We've got a pedal. <laughs> yes. Sorry. All right, no, no, no. Right underneath. Right, and then this machine's quite good because it comes with the hair and the tortoise. Yes. So, uh, this is really good for this because you want to practice yes. to start off with and then don't go too fast. Okay, so what are you on? I'm on I'm on midway between a hare and a tortoise. Okay. What's that? Half speed. Half <laughs> <laughs> what animal does that equate to? Uh, oh, I don't know. A, a Christopher. <laughs> and you sort of grab the bits here and then because yeah. you are in control of both the direction and the stitch length. Yeah. Go on, you're right. Just beeping. There you go. So and the whole point of when you do free motion quilting like this is you don't turn the fabric, you move the fabric to either the left or the right or forwards and backwards. And however fast you go yeah. determines the size of the stitch. Exactly. Which is why it's quite good to grab it. Yes. 
and actually it's quite difficult to see the edges on some of this so you sometimes you just need to lift the yeah because it's some of the edges of the fabric are cream yeah and so but also this is the kind of thing where it doesn't matter if you miss you can go back and do it again you don't need to unpick it because you, all you're doing is highlighting the edge of it really aren't you you're just holding the edge of the fabric down and just highlighting around the edge of the fabric well and making sure it's stitched in place so it yeah. doesn't fray but it's quite a it's it's uh you need to practice it's a tricky technique yes. to, to, to oh, learn the first time i did it i couldn't get it at all because as a sewer I was turning the fabric around all the time, not moving. So basically, if you could, what you can see Anna's doing is, I'll just show you if here, if that's right. You're moving the fabric around like this. So if you need to go to the stitches to the left, the stitches right, you're moving the fabric around. You're not twisting it around like you would do if you were sewing a seam. You're literally moving the fabric to the side if you need to go to the side, or forwards and backwards if you need to go like that. And then just stop, you know, as and when. And yes, it's important to have needle down. Yeah. So if you've got the needle down facility on your machine, click it on. Got another email for you here. Oh, look, this is my work in progress. Oh, where's it gone? It is. This is my work oh, in progress. Lovely. From Diane. Gorgeous. How lovely is that, Diane? That's very beautiful. You haven't got very far, Diane, with it. And you'll want to change your, your fabric shade at the top because there are some lighter pieces. So you, want I don't know what you, you want to change your fabric shade at the top on some of the lighter pieces. So, for example, these pieces. You mean, the, you mean your thread? Your thread, yes. Yeah, thread. Your thread shade, not yeah, your fabric, not your fabric. shade. Sorry. What's she on about? What's, now, what am I talking about? <laughs> change your fabric. <laughs> Sorry. You know me, John. I like to make it up. Yeah. I can't believe you're not going to be at Festival of Quilts. I thought I was coming oh, I'm doing you. the setup day, I know. That's one day I'm not doing. I'm here all day, the setup day. I know I'm a bit sad not to be going. Yeah, you're going to have to go on holiday, though. Well, I'm not going on holiday quite then. Just <laughs> Don't be really letting her you say that. <laughs> I did offer my. I did say I would do it. You're too expensive, that's what it is. <laughs> So you can see I'm going quite slowly. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> you are so cheeky to me. Nearly done one bit. She's enjoying herself, isn't it? <laughs> so um, once you've put all of the um, pieces on, all, yep. all the Abondo web pieces on, yep. do you then quilt it? Oh, yes, this one's quilted. The one yes. that's quilted. So you could, again, choose a pattern for quilting. I don't want to be rude to Lulu. Yeah. Right. I think there's too much quilting on there. Do you? For me. Is there? It's only for me. I really love it. No, no, I, the adore, it needs... I, I you know how much I love this. I'd absolutely adore this quilt. But I kind of want, all my, I want my liberty to be more the star than the quilting. Yeah. So I'd keep, I would, keep, this is me personally. I mean, I'm not saying anything, I'm think not that right makes, or wrong. Do you think that makes the I liberty? Think, do you I think I would think make it makes my it... background more like stipply. Just very oh. simple stipples. Well, the thing is... You can choose whatever you oh, want. Oh, no, can't completely. You? That's what I'm saying. I'm not nobody's right or wrong or anything. Uh, but for me, I think what I want is the, is the fabrics to be the star and, yeah. then, and then just have the, the lovely quilting at the back. It's very, very simple, that's all. Well, I guess, you know, it, that's for people to, yeah. to choose. Did you and... design that one then? Have I just offended you? No, 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 I didn't. No, no. Okay. What we do is we send it away to Lulu and say, Oh no, Chris, you can say Christopher loves it, so you're fine. <laughs> John didn't hate it. John hated it. Christopher loves it. No, I don't hate it. I absolutely love it. So, so once you put all your pieces on, because yeah. we're going to move us along now. Yeah, sure. Um, are all the fabrics for the borders 
included in that yes. everything you need is the in the binding and the two borders because i was going to say i just noticed there's two borders aren't there's there? two it's a double border it's nice isn't it lovely you've got the double border and then you've got the binding and do you put do you make a wide do you make two strips together for the border and then send them on or would you do the first border and then do a second border you sew the first border on and then the second border okay on. that's fine and it's then, a long time and then ago since I no i don't know <laughs> what yeah, how did i make it I so, think yeah. just the touches like that are lovely because it gives that gorgeous frame to the whole picture. It is it? framed. And it was really inspired by what well, you were saying, wasn't it? Like it reminded you of Delftware. Yes. And it is that blue willow yes. pottery. Oh, well, no, yes, my nan in my, my nan's day, that was your Sunday best yeah. plates and cups and saucers yeah. then with the blue with the, with the willow and there was a little bridge and all that. And I think it was stuff. inspired by Alice bought a few um of those massive beautiful platters at, at an antiques yes. um, thing one time and you know, so I'll, that's amazing and yeah. it would just be beautiful in Liberty fabric and Liberty do do blue so well. They do do. They do do. They do do. And then you just want to, every time you finish it off, I mean I would just carry on going around the bird. Yes, yes, yes. But um, every time you want to finish it off, you just need to finish it off with a, with a, with a back stitch. Am I carrying no, on sewing? No, you can finish now. Cause Great. Because we're going to move on to the next project Brilliant. in a second. I just think it's lovely. And it's 21, well, not 21, 20 pounds and a penny off the price today. So instead, it, it is normally 120 pounds. It's 99 pounds. I don't know how long it'll stay at 99.99, but it is 99.99 now. So isn't it lovely? I think it's gorgeous. Oh, what's the finished size? What's the size? We haven't finished it. Yeah, 48. 48. 48 by 40. Uh, oh, no, hang on. Is that 48 by 48? No, the batting's 48 by 48, but we normally cut that big. Not there, got on the, we'll have it on the front. Oh, on the front. That's yeah. not the front. 44 inch square, I'm being told now. 44 inch square. It's Brilliant. Done. Right. So it's a lovely project that you can pick up and put down. You know, it's just, it's gorgeous. It says in the graphics. There's me scrambling around looking for some of the graphics. <laughs> It's not my job. Anyway, right, you pack that away. I'm Brilliant. going to do a recap because we're going to move on to a little rucksack now. Aren't Great. We? I'll take this one. Oh, no. Laura's not going to be very happy. There we go. So, that was that lovely uh, bundle there. I'll just go through everything that's... Oh, can I do the fat quarters again first before I do the, the bag? The what, what? I, I knew they'd be popular. This one here, I'll start with the, the pretty pastels. Uh, these are exclusive Alice Caroline colourways. Liberty Tarnalorn. You get five fat quarters in there. £30.99. That so all is equally as popular as each other. They're lovely, aren't they? Tarnalorn, beautiful fat quarters. £30.99. They are Alice Caroline exclusives, though. So they are Liberty Prints coloured in by Alice Caroline. Then there's this one here, which is your pretty pastel. No, 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 no. This is peaches and cream. Peaches and cream. I love that paisley on the front there. Uh, peach and cream. And then, yes, you've got that geometry on the back there, which you wouldn't even imagine was a Liberty print, would you? The one in the middle on the still there. Looks like sweeties, doesn't it? That's £30.99. And then I've got the Rouge A Deep, deep Blue. Trying to do it French there for you. Rouge and Deep Blue. £30.99 again, five fat quarters. There's that Paisley one with the hearts on again. Now, I have got some other, I have got some other pre cuts here very quickly that I can show you. I have got mm -hmm. six inch squares, pink. These are just like a charm pack, six inch squares. £18.99. All tarn alone. Uh, how many are in there? 16. So it doesn't say that on the graphics, does it? 16 you get in there for 18 99 Aren't they beautiful? Oh, now, if you're going to make something else, if you're going to make that wall hanging and think, oh, I just have a little cushion or a little throw or something. Not a throw, but um, something to put on the table. How brilliant would this be? These are six inch squares, 16 of them, in all the blues. Indigo. There they all are. I can see Strawberry, strawberry Thief in there. Urgh. And then, if you want a lovely... This is going to be a lovely present, this one. If you want a lovely little taste, these are two and a half inch squares, these. Thirty-six of those. 
10.99, lovely little present that for someone. For somebody who's doing EPP, lovely little um, hexes and things like that. Now, what we're moving on to now is this rucksack. Now, it's, it can either be a cat or a mouse. It, within the packet, you get enough to make one and you can choose. So the instructions have got both the instructions for the... So this is a brand new today. This is uh, blue and red. This is it done as the mouse. But you can do it as a cat if you want to. There you go. It's the one on the left there. So that, and, and the cat design, so if you, if you um, want to make the cat, the cat design is in the package as well, but in this fabric, $35.99. The one that Anna's going to demonstrate is exactly the same, but in blue and yellow. Obviously, I haven't got a finish on that because Alice is going to finish it during the hour. In the 24 minutes she's got. She'll have made most of it at home anyway. Right, and then this one here. Now, I don't know how many of these there are left, right? This is the cat. I mean, obviously in this one, you can make the cat or the mouse again. This is one we launched last time uh, with a different fabric. But there literally is a handful of these. £35.99. There it is. So the choice is yours, really. You can make a mouse or you can make a cat out. I'll, I'll take one pa pa bag over with me so you can see what you get in, in your bag. Oh, I've got the same one that you've got there. Yes. Okay, so you get your fab. Oh, now this, this isn't tarn along, this is quilting weight. This is quilting it? weight, yeah. This, this is quilting weight fabric, Which is great don't worry for about a bag. that. Then you've got your Wiltshire Shadow, Wiltshire Shade there. Then you've got cream. That That's lining. lining. That's the lining. lining. That's good quality for lining. Mm, yeah, nice. Uh, then you get this. That's, that's must be the nose. That's your nose and your eyes. Right. Bit of cardboard. Photograph. Lovely webbing for your straps. Yep. And then, you see, you don't, you don't stint, do you, Alice Caroline? You know what no. I mean? No. Because so what you've got in here are the two different, how you lay out your pattern pieces. Yep. Whether you do a cat. So it's basically the same for a mouse or a cat, but it's just a different face and a different ears, yes. isn't it? Look, there you go. Exactly. But look how it full. These instructions so these, are. I need to say that these were written and this bag was designed by Laura in our studio, not by Alice. <gasps> so this was the first project that we've had. I hope she's on commission, Laura. <laughs> the lovely, Laura, lovely watching? Laura. I'll sort it for you at Festival of Quilts. <laughs> the lovely, lovely Laura designed oh. this. She's will she be at um, Festival of Quilts then? She will be, yes. You'll see the lovely Laura. Oh. She's Australian. She's, Blimey, look. She's coming she's, to work. Look, she's, everything you need yes. is all in here, They're really are super thorough, the instructions. Very They're brilliant. Thorough. Um, yeah, and so Laura designed... That's uh, such a cute bag, isn't it? Okay. Lovely for a little so, granddaughter. Oh, she's what? I said lovely for a little granddaughter. Yeah, this. granddaughter, daughter. Oh, well, yeah, look yeah, at Victoria's yeah. kids. Love I them, know. aren't they? We had to grab them off them before they left <laughs> yeah, the building earlier. Right, okay, so what so, did we do first? So on the 23rd of March, we yes. did this, we appliqued this face. Oh, okay. So if I just, I could just chat it through. Yeah, yeah, we don't so, need to. And then you can go and, you can go yeah. and have a look. So... You can, you can hand applique this if you want to, but right. this one's machine applique. Yeah. And you draw the face on using the, using the wipeable marker. Yes, you can yes, see yeah. it there, can't you? Uh, and then you, um, you... What do you put on behind? It's this. So it's just a bit of wadding. So if you're machine embroidering, yes. you just need some wadding to stabilise the to stabilise the fabric okay, in it, yes. otherwise it slips around all yes, over the place. Because yes, yes. it's so fine. So this is set to a three width. Right. And then a 0.5 three length right so it's okay. really close together and on my my machine at home it, it did get stuck every now and again so okay. i had to just keep you know yeah, yeah, yeah. edging it yeah, through yeah, yeah. and so that's what that's for so you you, you get your fabric you there's stabilizing fabric in the back and then you um you have some to supply that we don't we don't yeah. we don't supply that yeah. yeah it's only a tiny bit though i mean yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. it's that amount could you use um could you stitch and tear or is that not enough does it need to be thicker than stitch and tear it it needs to be a bit thicker yeah. really okay um and as you can see it's yeah, you just used about yeah. three or four layers of, of a wadding. Yeah, and so that's the that's the face, and then the eyes using this. I'm just black wondering fabric. the H640 might be quite good for that as well. That's a bag you might not know. That's a bag making um, 
Oh, right. Fusible fleece, that's oh, it. Oh, right. Mm. Oh, great. Oh, even, what's the, what's the, no, maybe the, 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 the other one's too, the spongy one. Fusible could be an issue because you, yes. cut, you cut, what you do is you start sewing with a foam. big... Sewing foam, I'm thinking of sewing foam, yeah. You start with a big bit on yes. the back of it like that yeah, and then the, you the, cut the it away. Yeah, the fusible might not work, but the sewing foam might Well, do. you'd have to, it wouldn't, yeah. it would have to stay on there, yeah. wouldn't it? Okay, right. So then, so I'm going to make an ear. Oh, I am. I'm going to make an ear. Area. And, area. So you're doing a cat or you're doing a mouse? I'm doing a cat. Okay. And, you know, Is you the can, face different then? The face is... No, it's no, the same. No, the face is the same. Uh, no, it's got a little round nose, hasn't it? Oh, on the, yes, on yes, the mouse. Yes. On the mouse, and the cat's got a pointy nose. Yes, okay. that's the only difference I think I can look yeah, Those whiskers you. look shorter than the um, mouse whiskers, but I'm sure they're not. Uh, there they are. Oh, yeah, look there. Sweet. Oh, thanks, Victoria, for bringing your children to yes, model them. Yes, especially some <laughs> That was very handy, wasn't it? Was it was so sweet <laughs> at like quarter past six, that's when the doorbell went, and I went to the door. And all I could see, because it said we've got a frosty glass door, and all I could see these two, like, and I was like, who? And, and then I thought, oh, it's Victoria. Right. So all we're doing is we've cut out our, cut out our ears, and we're going to use fusible interfacing. Oh, okay, so you need to get some fusible interfacing. Yes. It's 2.99 on the website, medium um, strength. Brilliant. Just on that side. So do that on both ears. So the fusible uh, interfacing is slightly smaller than the actual yeah. ear. So yes, it's cut out without the seam allowance. Right. So I'm going to do this bit while I'm here. Mm. And then this is your contrast fabric. Right, which is the Wiltshire shade or shadow, whatever it's called. Yep. And that's got bonder web on the back. Oh, okay. It's come off quite nice and easily. And then on one side of your ear, after you've put your fusible interface. Oh, on, yes, you're only making one ear here. You do this, do this twice. You would you? do it twice. Yeah. Yes, you would put your, put that on that map. Right, so it matches at the bottom. Yep. You'd fuse that on. Shade, yeah. And then we're going to sew those together right side. Oh, we're going to no, pk that on first, actually. Yeah, hmm? well, you're not turning them together yet. No, I'm not, you're right. <laughs> so how are you, going to, how are you stitching that on? I'm going to um, use a zigzag. So zigzag. And on this machine, so I've done it three widths and a 0 0.8 stitch length. Oh, like a satin stitch, very yeah. close together, yeah. So. Now, you're doing it in white. I'm doing this in or cream. What, this. The stitching. The stitching is in pink on the top. Oh, pink, okay. Oh, I'm on. I can't see the top. I'm still on snail from earlier. Yeah, so it's just a... I'd be tempted to do it in black. Would you? Yeah. But then that's me. I'd know somebody do it in black and then go, oh, we shouldn't have done it in black. Yeah. Yeah, of course, black is so strong, isn't it? Yeah. So once that's appliqued on, we can sew our ear together. Trim that down. There we go. Mm -hmm. Just appliqued that on there, and then we're going to sew our ear together. What? No, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just about me here, isn't it, today? It is just as well you're there. I'm always doing things like that. You didn't notice. So you put your right sides together. Yeah. And you're going to sew round the two sides, but leave the yeah. bottom open. And yes. Yeah. And this is your um, seam allowance on yeah. here, so. So you just follow the edge of your um, interfacing. Yep. Now, do you think people will bear with me if I keep pinking at the top? If you do what? If I keep the pink thread in at the top yeah, while I'm threading fine. the machine. No one's going to see it. Do you not turn it on zigzag? Or? No. <laughs> yep. Okay. So we're back onto straight stitch. Not turn over pins, the pins are away from the needles in case you want to do it. 
yeah, I keep them, I keep them back, and then yeah. it, they can just whip them all out at the end. So then we're going to turn this right side out. Do you need to snip anywhere into it, or is it fine? Can you you do. So you need to grade this bit out at the, the top. From the point at the top. Yeah. And then so, and then cut little notches. Notches, about every centimetre. Mm -hmm. I have to be careful that my tongue doesn't stick out. I'm dreadful. What? When I'm concentrating. Oh, I mean, yeah, I do that as well. <laughs> Sorry. I wonder why we don't. Wonder why we do it. I wonder why people put their tongue out when they. I wonder the, the, there must be something in caveman time that makes us. Yeah. Anyway. So then we're going to turn it right side out, and it's quite stiff. And the, the stiffness in it is to keep the ears. Yes. Up. Right when the bag's finished. So I've got a little. I mean, you can use your. What are you using? I'm just using a paintbrush. Oh, okay. But you can use anything with a sort of a... You don't want to use anything too sharp because it will... No. Punch through the, you've got I that got special the thing. I keep these stays in the drawer all the time. I keep forgetting to bring them in. See, I, 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 I rely on you having him, but so, I've got, got my yeah. trusty brain. Well, we went through a phase of using Jesse's chopstick from upstairs and I had just a couple of days off and I came back and it had gone. <laughs> so then we're going to press that. There we are. And at this point, we're going to place it on. So I've made one here already. And yes. You, and you, you put them right side down. Mm -hmm. So the front of the ear down, so that when it flaps back up, it's like that. Yeah. About six millimetres. Are there notches where to put there it? There are notches. Yeah. Well, uh, not on this, actually. You need to cut six millimetres down from oh, there. Oh, six millimetres. There are notches on all of the rest of it. OK. I'm just going to go down. I just need to make sure that they're evenly. Yeah. Is that a watch you're wearing? A watch? This, what's this? It's a Fitbit. It's a watch. Other brands are available. Oh, it's just working out how many steps you've done? Not telling you the time or anything? No, it's a swimming, a swimming one and a... Oh, okay. It's telling me how fit I am. Oh. Not very fit. <laughs> well, I don't need one of those now. I've got a personal trainer. <coughs> Have you? Yeah. How's that going? Oh, he's working me so hard. I love Isn't it. He? I hate it at the time. Yeah. And then I've kind of got a little bit addicted and want to go back afterwards. But what? at the time, I'm, I'm swearing <coughs> at him and, and it's a really posh gym. <laughs> <laughs> and then he has to say to all the people, I do apologise. I'm doing a session with John now. So the language could be, I kept saying to him, my head's going to explode. My heart's going to stop. And he's like, no, it won't. Just keep going. What's he got you doing then? Oh, ev everything. Arms, <coughs> chest, legs, <coughs> proper, proper, full on weights and everything. Oh, that sounds a bit too uh, heavy for me. Oh no, because you get your face kicked in doing the big, don't you? <laughs> oh, don't you? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to play with it, it's cold outside. <laughs> <clears throat> so, that's one here. I've got the other here. And then you've got these little <coughs> bag loops that, oh, for yes, the straps. Oh, yes, see, like tabs, yeah. Yes. So um, the way that you make those are you right sides together. No, there's no interfacing in those? Or, or no. No, no. So just right sides together, straight down. <coughs> are you going across the end or are you just going down the side? Just straight down the sides. Okay. Oh, 
There we are. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've got, I saw a marvellous thing on here the other day when you were turning things inside oh, out. Oh yes, the prim turny tool. It's brilliant. Yeah, that's what you, you need You don't kind of that. it now. No. It's in the warehouse, you have to do it. Is with, it? Yeah. I've got to watch me fumble over this myself. I'll say. Isn't that one already made? Where's your yeah, thingy? Yeah, there's one already where's made. Your, where's your thingy? I'll push it through for you, front. There you go. We'll just show it up like oh, that. Oh, there you go, you can do it. You can just keep going with it. I did have one already made. Yeah, but you need two. You yeah. need two, yeah. yeah. It's actually it's not time. that we have to go home at one o'clock. What time? Oh, my word, look at the time. <laughs> yeah. I like, I always How many have we got, Andrew? In, on what? So, demo. Right, and then we press this. Oh, sorry, I'll put that away. No, it's fine. How many? Six. Six, Six minutes. minutes. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> well, I won't finish it, but I never... When have you I never ever finish fin anything. When so. have I ever finished a project, John? <laughs> <laughs> I've got this drawer of sewing quarters oh, completely no, half, half made. finished things. Uh, and then you fold it. Is that not true of every demonstration? Doesn't everyone yes, have half we don't, made we don't try. We, when we first launched, we you tried, tried to get everything finished. I still have that in my head. Yeah, Somebody saying to me. Yeah, and horrible. So now we do, we just say, what's the most, you know, just cover the bits you can cover. And you can see I've just snip, nipped into Two the notches, notches there. Yeah. Oh, so you're not, I always thought that you still expected everything yeah, we still to be tell finished. You, we still tell you we have to have everything finished. <laughs> what are you doing now it's then? Like just sewing those into the, oh, okay, the into seam. the seam. And actually you might want to go over it two or three times to... Is that taking the weight of the bag then? Though? Yes. It's not that you ever have anything too heavy in it. But... No, I hope I can get onto the pocket. All right, then, come on. I want to try and get onto the pocket because the pocket's cute. I didn't know I'd even have the pocket in it. Come here. No, don't look at me. I'm oh, it's a... the pocket on the inside or the outside? On the inside. Okay. <laughs> you got it. Open the thing. There you go. You got. <laughs> Shall I take the stuffing yeah, out? Yeah, check on the floor. <laughs> nothing to see here. No, there's nothing to see. <laughs> so here's the pocket. There you go. You do that. I want to. You won't. It might not be to see. Look, there's a little pocket in there. In the lining. Can you see there? Yeah. So this is the pocket, and you sew the pocket onto one side of the lining. Right. Um, so you just fold over one centimetre and then one centimetre again and press. Mm -hmm. And at this juncture, imagine I've changed the thread to a, a cream oh, at the yes. top. As if you were going to have time to change the thread. I've changed the thread once already, didn't have I? You? Yeah. And I am sewing over the pins, but very gently. <laughs> Trying not to break a needle. Okay. <clears throat> and then you would. You left that pin in for a reason. It's halfway point. Okay. So I've left it in to save time of yeah, measuring yeah. the. Um, seeing as I've got about. Two and a half minutes. Yeah, you have to do now. I don't know. <laughs> Just so, and then we're going to sew this pocket onto here, and it's and you sew down the middle at that point there. Right. And that gives you two little pockets of a really handy size. Yeah. So you can fit an A6 little booklet in it, or a phone, or you know, a cute lip gloss. Have your children got phones? My daughter gloss. has got a phone and lip gloss, yeah, she's mm. a bit old. She's, oh, old she's secondary school now. No! I know. I was thinking that, well, I, th I thought for some reason I think you only had one. So you got a boy and a girl. A boy and a girl, well, yeah. I feel awful now because we haven't talked, we've never talked about the little boy. Well, I think we have. Have we? I don't remember. Oh, anyway. Ethan. He's very sweet. He won't be watching. He's not so into fabric, he's more into sport. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're sewing this. Oh. Ooh, I was going to say we're doing so well, you haven't broken a machine this time. 
You shouldn't, just don't say that right now. <laughs> That's a recipe for disaster, isn't it? Well, wouldn't it? We'll go home in a minute, it's fine. We'll go to someone else. <laughs> do you finish at one? Yeah, well, no, we have to do our prep for tomorrow, but oh. we go off air at one. And then... Up so the down the middle? Yep. At this point, I'll mark the bottom as well, so that we're in a straight line. Oh. <coughs> so I've just got a straight edge on the top. Okay. There, at my middle point. And here. One minute. I mean, you can mark that with a washable marker yeah. if you wish. And then, do you make up the, because we're going to run out of time, do you we make are. up the bag and make up the lining? Do you want me to what? explain yeah, the, yeah, do you mind, the bag? Yeah, yeah, you mind. No, we, I we don't. We can do that one. Um, so, yes, you would sew right sides together yeah. on the bag from this point here. Right. From a centimetre in on this point here. Yeah. Right the way round, same on the lining. Yeah. And then this is your, your top bit, is your foldable down bit for the Case. for here, foldable your casing. Case. Foldable, casing, is yes. what you call it. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, so you then fold this back and sew. Yes, and so you've same got, on so the you've lining. Got the, yeah, so you've got, yeah. And then you fold it down. Yeah. You attach the, insert the lining into the bag. And then you would fold them down to make your casing. Yeah, and perfect. And then you, you feed your, your lovely webbing in. And they get, that's what those are for at the bottom there. So you've actually stitched yes. your webbing into those at Stitch the bottom. Stitch those in, yeah, obviously with... Oh, I see, that's, that's why it had to be open. Yes. It, yeah, got it. And then there's, it's being reinforced with a cross. Yeah. There. Can you see that there? When are you back then, did you say? Two 14th months, of September. Oh, we're not seeing you before that to do something else then? No. No. <laughs> Have a lovely holiday. Thank you very much. Have a great time at the Festival of Quilts. I will do. Don't you worry. All right, then. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh, bye. Oh, please, oh, oh. Right, OK. Is Oh, the yellow blue cat. Hang on. That one over there. <laughs> Most popular thing in the hour. See, it's worth it. Cat, mouse, yellow and blue. Most popular thing of the hour. The thing you just demonstrated. See? Uh, I haven't got it. I've just got that. But this. No. Still. Thirty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. Are you going to make a cat or are you going to make a mouse out of it? Is pastel fat quarters in second place? These are Alice Caroline exclusives for Liberty. All the fat quarters are really, really popular in Sally. All tarn alone. Thirty pounds and ninety-nine pence. Then this. Beautiful uh, blue, uh, well, it's not blue bird, is it? What do we call it? Blue willow, that's it, blue willow. Just wave it. That was me waving. She's going, she's leaving the building now. Um, £120, no. 99 £20 and a penny off. There's so many of those in baskets. Please be careful. Please be careful if you're missing that. It's 44 inches squared, the finished thing. It's lovely, isn't it? And then the other fat quarters are here. This is the peaches and cream. Thirty pounds and ninety-nine pence. There's the still. And we've got the rouge et bleu. Rouge and deep blue. Don't know what deep is in French actually. No that, no, that word escapes me. Thirty pounds and ninety-nine pence. Beautiful. There's the still. And then I've got the other cat cat mouse one here, which is the blue and red one. This is brand new today as well. So that's the mouse version, and then pointy ears are the cat the cat version. I'd do, well, obviously, I'd do the cat. I can't see you carrying this, Christopher, somehow. You see Christopher coming to work with his biscuits in here. And his uh, McDonald's, what is it you have? Your that fried-up thing, hash brown. 
and a coffee. He spilled, he arrived this morning in a bad mood, just spilled his coffee, which set him off for the day. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at tomorrow's menu. It's me tomorrow again, I do apologise. Uh, and Chris, and Laura, um, are you in Tom? Yeah, we're all in tomorrow. Eight o'clock, Creative Inspiration Hour. No idea what that is. Nine o'clock, Jane Alcock's Top Tools Hour. She was rushing that last week, getting that ready. Ten o'clock, Fabulous Fabric Collections. No idea. Well, apart from it's going to be fabulous in their fabrics. Eleven o'clock, the Paris Star, Lone Star. Can they say star in more times? Paris Star, Lone Star quilt by Jane Alcock. Uh, by Jane Alcock, our star. And then 12 noon. Oh, now, 12 noon tomorrow, I've got a sewing machine now. I've got all sorts of sewing machines. And they've all got, um, oh, have they? Most of them, lots of them, few of them have got free gifts with them. Oh, all of them. They've all got free gifts with them tomorrow. I've got Faf, I've got Husqvarna, I've got Elna, got all sorts of things like that. Anyway, thanks for your company today. Make sure you check out your baskets. Um, I've got to go now and read what I'm doing tomorrow and learn all about tomorrow's things. So thank you very much indeed. Make sure you check out your baskets. Enjoy the replay. I'll see you tomorrow at eight. Don't be late. In the run-up to our second instalment of Christmas in July, we have a few non-Christmassy treats for you. On Monday the 22nd of July, Fiona Hesford is sharing her tips and tricks for making our new and exclusive carpet bag. Fiona will also be sharing her expertise for making her brand new tunic design. Anna Alicia is with us on Tuesday with her new book, Bags, so 18 stylish bags for every occasion. Then on Wednesday, Debbie Shaw is back with her hints and tips for window dressing from a half yard sewing book, as well as a technique based show on skills like piping and zip insertion for your soft furnishing makes. Catch all of this from Monday the 22nd to Wednesday the 24th of July on Freeview Channel 73, Sky Channel 687 or online at www.sewingquarter.com. Travel to far off lands from the comfort of your home with Sewing Quarter for Around the World event. Starting on Wednesday the 31st of July, we have nine days packed full of international makes with top industry experts from all over the globe, such as Lynette Anderson, Kay Fassett, Jill Rep, Joe Avery and Gail Pan. We have makes from the Far East with Susan Briscoe's Sashko panels. We'll also have the Riley Blake Arrows quilt and so much more. Stay tuned for details and watch the Around the World Week from Wednesday the 31st to Thursday the 8th of August.